Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone no, is having a lot of damage. <laughs> Thank you for the damage. I hope everyone is having a nice morning. Welcome on in. It's been a few days. I hope everyone had a really good weekend. Welcome on in, Go. I hope you're doing well. And Zomboti, good morning. And Clue, good morning. I hope everyone's doing well. Zomboti, I hope your trip is going well. Otherwise, I hope everyone had a really nice weekend. I had a heckin' lovely weekend. I will say I am exhausted. <laughs> I am a very sleep bean, but I had a really good weekend. Everything was really good. Oh uh, dear. And Vile, good morning. Welcome on in. And Scott, good morning. Oh my god. Heckin' Borda. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good for 20 months. Jesus Christ. It's been a heckin' minute. Wait, I should probably change screens, shouldn't I? Jeez. Heckin', thank you so much, Goat. Welcome on in. I hope everyone is doing well. And welcome on in, Scott. And you had to haven't stopped working. Are you doing all right, Vile? Is everything okay? Oh, it's been going great so far. The week's gonna be really busy. I'm not surprised. I feel like whenever you're away, it, you do just you're just really busy because you're doing everything you can't normally do. Shifty, good morning. Nice honk honk. Very nice honk honk. And Schleeves, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Doing well, thank you. Started like a boy doing it. Oh, exciting! I hope you have a good time with it. Ah, oh, the nice. Mmm. I saw you made a clown one as a as a as a clown enthusiast. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have any clown emotes. I appreciate it. <coughs> I always need more clowns. Add a shadow. Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. I'm doing well. Thanks. I hope you have a good weekend too. I did. I have a lot of things to talk about that we did this weekend. I also. I uh, apologize for being very unpresent on social media this weekend. I think because I was quite busy with a lot of things that I enjoyed. Uh, whenever I wasn't out, I was just having a migraine. So I was like, my days were packed. <laughs> it was either I'm out having an amazing time or I'm in bed and then I go out again and then I'm in bed again. <laughs> but you know what, it's fine because I got to do everything I wanted to do, which I was worried I wouldn't be able to. So I was, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, dear. Today I'm going to visit a lot of friends and tomorrow 31 oh, minutos a museum and on Saturday to National Zoologic. Oh my god, that's so fun though! Hell yeah! Oh, they're trying so hard to make home, but oh, you've got till the end of April, right? Ooh, I, I guess yeah, it's getting close. Close to deadline day. I am uh, awake. I am trying to convince myself to fix breakfast. Well, can I tell you, I had a custard slice for breakfast this morning and while it was delicious, I don't think I was ready for that much sugar so early in the morning and I do feel a little like, whoa, now. <laughs> I, it was delicious, but I think I've made a mistake. Bulk of hell, yeah. How are you doing, Shifty? Shit, I will say, I'm sorry. I'm <coughs> for the first time in a very long time, I completely missed your stream yesterday. I think it's because I was twiddling with things in OBS, so I didn't get the the Discord ping that I normally would because I was, you know, streamer mode because I was in OBS. But yeah, I then realized afterwards, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> Shifty streamed. <laughs> I just completely missed it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh dear, I'm getting nervous that I won't make the deadline because I've done so much good work already. I'm, I'm hoping, Vile, even if you didn't get everything you wanted to do, you'd still submit it, right? Because you've done so much. Yay for fun weekends! Hell yeah! I spend my weekend hanging out and studying for next Sunday! Uh, more of that to follow this week, that's fair, that's fair. And good luck with the studying, I hope that it goes well. Also, I got some co- Oh, I got Copic markers. I've heard so many good things about them. Brain punishing you for having fun. It was, it was being a real butt. But uh, it's okay, because I still did everything I wanted. You know, there's always a fear that it's going to last too long and then I'm not going to be able to do the next thing, but it worked out very well, so I, I still managed to do everything. No custard slice noted. They're delicious. Delicious custard slices, but first thing in the morning, oh, <laughs> I've, it was a lot of sugar. <laughs> custard slices squares are the meaning of life. It's true. It is true. No, you're not wrong, Scott. I can't disagree with that. You're all good. No worries. Yeah, sorry about that, though. <laughs> I literally 3D printed multiple items since I woke up and I 3D printed all this and I got like 8 minutes left on someone like 30 minutes ago, oh my god, file! But heckin' productive though! Also, Cthulhu, good morning, welcome on in, how are you doing? Oh dear, I see that you have been making quick and- Yeah, when when you were like, initially- we, Sorry, I was on Cthulhu stream the other day, chilling, like, watching, watching the stream and I asked Cthulhu how long it had taken them so far and they were like, oh yeah, it's been like a few months and then they were like, wait a minute, no it's not, it's been like two weeks and it's- So whenever you see how much stuff Cthulhu's done, do- do remember that it's only taken them two weeks <laughs> Not several months, my god, speaking of productive, Jesus uh, Maggie, hi, good morning. Thank you for the hydrate and the positive check. I, I, I picked it up to take a sip and it's just very hot. 
needs to be a hundred percent completed to enter the category once it's been ah damn it good luck vile yeah good luck vile ahoy ahoy good news light and easy took my money so after weeks of begging them to take my money they finally did and i should get free for those one. yay hell yeah welcome on in jason i hope you're doing well welcome welcome uh today what we're going to be doing is because i'm a bit of a i'm a bit of a silly and i i just it it was in my brain but not in like the right part of my brain you know uh where i i need to make the bit that the, the, the arms attached to in the jacket the bit in the center so over the weekend uh I, this was a mistake by the way i'm so glad that it worked out because i nearly did it wrong uh, when i was like having one of my migraines i was like you know what's gonna help me math <laughs> doing some math is gonna make me feel so much better and so on sunday <laughs> i made this this monstrosity ignore the crosses in it so i remade the jacket part uh for context this is the bit that goes across here i think you can kind of see the vibes uh, and you need two of them and it clasps in the middle of this bit where i'm going to make quite a large clasp for it but this is smocked and i didn't want to waste more fabric than i needed so i wanted the piece that i cut out to be this perfectly but for smocking so each of these boxes has to have eight around them uh and the ones at the top all have to have three and trying to do the maths to get this to just expand out, I mistakes were made, but I did do it. And that's what we're doing this week. We're gonna be doing all that smocking because it's quite a big piece. I think it's this piece, yeah. Biggest piece of smocking that I would have done so far uh, because this is, ignore the wobbly edges. This is the size <laughs> that it is when it is unsmocked. <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit silly, uh, but it will end up being just this size. So yeah, and I cut it basically exactly to the size you can see the grid on it there's x's on it i've done i've done the whole thing it's ready to go uh, and that's what we're going to be doing today yes i did feel good to realize i don't even a few weeks yeah it's been so quick are you an expert of all hallmarks now they are yeah they've always been an expert what do you mean they're always an expert i'm glad you've had a good weekend yeah we had a really good weekend so on sunday we had a really really fancy lunch which was really nice uh, it was actually uh, I'll tell you now that it's happened. Uh, we were tasting all of our wedding food. And so it was all really fancy food and we were trying lots of stuff. And it was really, really nice. <laughs> I, I would have like, oh my God, I've never had such a, like, it's so fancy. <laughs> So we got trying all of that um, and, you know, making some choices about that. And I was so nervous because we were technically meant to do it a couple of weeks ago. And then the person like our coordinators had a emergency, so we couldn't go do it. So I was like, oh, God. And then we all got pushed back. I mean, we still got loads of time, to be honest. I just wanted to get it done because it's nice to get the menus out to family and stuff. We have a lot of family of a lot of uh, different allergies. Uh, some of them are celiacs, halal. Um, so it's like there's a lot of uh, vegan, <laughs> vegan celiacs, <laughs> vegan halal. <laughs> well, actually, that one kind of was much easier to be honest. But yeah, it's like is it easy? It made it was something that I was nervous about because I wanted to make sure that everyone could eat. Um, and it was also a lot of older people who you know are not going to want to eat certain things. And so because mainly family, it's mainly a little family thing. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that everyone could eat, but it ended up being really, really good. We could try lots of stuff, and it was really, really nice. And yeah, it was it was just a good a good old day. It took a few hours, but it was really fun. It was really nice, and it was all really fancy and all really tasty. And yeah, it was just I had a really nice time. <laughs> Would a hundred percent do it again, even though we don't need to anymore. <laughs> Ah, uh, again, I'd like to buy the special book. Oh, fair, fair. And boy, you're going slow, but quite relaxing with some surprises getting poked a few times. Yeah, you do. I mean, I still get poked all the time, clues, and I do embroidery all the time. But like, I think for me, it's not that I'm poking myself more less. It's just that I've cared less. <laughs> like, I don't feel it anywhere near as much as I used to. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, though. <laughs> I still hit myself with the needle all the time. So, May, welcome on in. Hello. I hope you're doing well. I've woken up with a headache, so, oh, sleeves. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope, I do hope that, yeah, painkillers make it go away or goes away on its own nice. It, get, it gets, gets booted, get out of here. Oh, excited, yeah, no, it was really nice. Oh, so, Anonymous, welcome on in. 
I hope you're having a good week. I hope you had a good weekend as well. Oh, uh, look, yeah. <laughs> look at you guys. Thank you for shouting out Zomboti, a very talented artist. Zom Sonne is also a very talented artist. Thank you for shouting out Schleeves, a very talented uh, cross stitcher. Hell yeah, there you go, Sonne. I always call them Somne, which makes it difficult, but it is Somne. Uh, Sonne. Diary notice get bigger needles. Yeah, if you get bigger needles, they can't go in your hand. You updated stuff on the Discord for anything to break? Hell yeah! Uh, we need. Uh, we need to. Uh, I have a few things to show you as well, so I'll probably do a Discord break off the bat today, because also it's been three days since I streamed, so I probably have some stuff to catch up on. Hell yeah, and Cthulhu who's been making a really, really big, a really, really big, uh, a really big, what do you call it? Cape with snowflakes on it. Oh, I was going to ask, are you actually going to, you know on your Mila note, the one you post in the Discord, are you actually going to put the the phallic objects in them? Or no, 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 that's just an example. I, I was like, I don't want to bring it up on your stream in case other people haven't seen it and they're like, what are you talking about, Jelly? Why are you bringing phallic objects into this? I don't want to be the sus one. I'm not the sus one. Um, but yeah, are you actually putting the phallic objects in the, in the, in the, in the, in the snowflakes? <laughs> I must know. A lot of heck of time. I know. We're really blessed with the people that pop by. I had a great weekend. Went to the zoo and saw my favorite animals. Which one are your favorite animals? Which one? Oh, is it all of them? You just like all of them. Schmifty. Yeah, Schmifty. Ah, oh, dear. Heck, thank you. Yeah, I will I'd show the drawing. I don't finish. I'll probably put it in the next Discord check. That's fair. That's fair. No, it was just an idea. Okay, just an idea for Christmas. I don't want to bring it up in your stream in case people are like, what? George, welcome in on the YouTube. And also welcome on in on Twitch. I hope you're doing well. Well, George's one isn't George. It's actually exclamation mark SOG. Um, speaking of, uh, I also met up with my mum yesterday. We had a nice day out and she took me to... She took me to the south like south wales she took me around some of the coast which was really really nice we went to a castle which was really lovely and quiet we went to the beach which was really really nice ah oh, excuse me it was just really good and then we went out for a nice lunch together and it, it was nice as well because having it the day after all the food tasted i could catch her up on everything which was nice and yeah, I just had a really nice time. And then I had a migraine. <laughs> but it was okay. I did a lot of walking, so I, I kind of saw it coming. But it was really, really nice. And so yeah, I just had a really, really nice time. Really, really nice time. Oh, come on in, Crochet. I hope you're doing well. Wasn't it cold yesterday? It was windy, but not too cold. But then, it, it's not. it's been very mild for us this year, to be honest. Like a very mild year. Not how you think about the build. There are no secrets, honestly. They want to steal my ideas. They can do, and will, uh, and they'll do it differently. Yeah. Well, it's such a big project as well. That's kind of the vibes with this one. It's like I don't think anyone's going to copy everything that I'm doing, like step for step. But you know, if you see something you like, feel free to go and do it. <laughs> but like, I can't, I can't imagine anyone doing them all at the same time, <laughs> unless you want to have several years free. Oh dear. I'm glad I did a great time. Your mum did. I did. It was really nice to see her. Um, so I, I, it's been a minute. We don't live super, super close, so we don't see each other so often, but every now and again, we either go to them or they come to us, so we have a nice time. It's three, oh yeah, yours is much colder then. So sunny and people everywhere, but it's really cold. Okay, much colder than you. It's currently 12 here. Yeah, we're really mild, honestly. And the welcome on in crochet. I hope you're doing well. Ah, oh, dear, good morning. We are, yeah, we've we've had a, a good heckin' weekend. I'm excited. I'm excited for the stuff that's happening this week as well. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, this is a... I mean, this is the thing that I wanted to show you. So a lot of people in this community was like, Jelly, you need to start working on a Mila note. Well, they don't were the, they weren't saying that I needed to, but they were recommending me to, I guess. Uh, where the hell did I save the Mila note? Oh, no. <laughs> is it this one? No. Oh dear, have I hacked myself? I did delete a lot of stuff the other day. Oh no, there it is, I found it. <laughs> oh, oh, I did it just assume that I must have hacked myself because I've deleted so many things. So people were recommending me to do it to keep track of stuff and I'll be honest, uh, it has made me feel better about the things that I've done because, wait a minute, I, I can actually take this one off. Um, because yeah, no, I've done a lot more this month than I thought I had. If I actually bake it as like a checklist, I've done quite a bit. So that was really nice. Because sometimes it feels like you're not getting very much done, especially when you're working on big projects. <laughs> so, which I'm okay with. Like, I'm quite used to that. I'll, I'll switch screens, hello. Back to the other screen. Um, I'm quite used to that because I've worked on big projects for a while. But yeah, no, I thought, I thought it would be nice to give it a go. All right, if I go to this, I think this is going to show you my whole plans. 
Uh, and then this has changed a little bit, actually, because I was going to originally work on the sunset panels and that's, oh God, no, put it down, put it down, put it down. There we go. <laughs> but that's not what you're going to get anymore. So that you, actually also you're kind of weirdly zoomed in. It's because this is the Discord share. But if I go into here, yeah, I got all my jacket stuff. I got my, it's bigger than you can see, unfortunately, but you can kind of see the, the stuff I did and the, the arms and the designs. Because what I realized was I'm not taking enough progress pictures of in-betweeny bits. And also like a lot of people don't know why I've done, I, I, I kind of realized I've just been jumping into things. I'll, I'll remove these guys at least, there you go. That I've just been jumping into things without actually explaining why I'm doing them. Uh, what I might want to do actually is if I, um, if I, Copy, paste. Where'd it go? It went all the way to the top. There you go. What I'm going to do is uh, just quickly. So I'm going to be a really professional streamer and just fix this a little bit because it's a bit broken. <laughs> um, if I get this one and then it's hard because I don't lock anything on my screen. Uh, if I just dunk, dink, donk, dink. Okay. And then, yeah, so hello. <laughs> Make it a bit smaller, right? And then a little smaller. And then, oh, yeah, I can see all my tabs. <laughs> that you might have to deal with it at this size, but at least I can scroll along. You can see more of it, right? Yeah, 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 that's a little better. Because, uh, yeah, there's also, if you... There's more over there. There's more over there. There's a little bit more over there. Uh, but yeah, no, I've been working on getting that together, and then if I uh, go back to here, I've got like all of the reference images and such for the trousers in here, and like some of the work in progress so far. But again, like I need, I need to be recording more. That's the problem. I'm, and then the the top and the headpiece I have nothing for. I have my weekly schedule. I've started planning stuff that I need to do forward. I've actually been really good on my own stuff. I've done a lot of my own stuff, uh, but I need to do more of the stream stuff. <laughs> but like of the own stuff, I'm doing really, really good. So yeah, it was nice. It was nice to feel like I'm actually doing something, to be honest. Because yeah, often often I think it's easy to forget that I've been working pretty hard. Hell yeah. All right, let me catch up on chat real quick. Sorry about that. There are three cats in my glass today, but I put it on the Discord in the week. We're literally about to check the Discord. It was chilly last night. I'd feel an extra layer for the first time in months. I guess, yeah, for you, it's starting to switch, shift to the other time of the year. Looking very cool. Yeah, we're getting there. I have been slowly, I'll be honest, not chipped away at it that much because I've not been so well, but I've been trying to chip away at it. I did it with all the Oh, good luck. I hope it goes well, Corner. Take care. Take care of yourself. G good luck. GG's. <laughs> Is in a minute. Did the timer break? No, I'm literally just starting stream. <laughs> I I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been live for all of like what 10, 15, oh no, 20 minutes actually. <laughs> I tell a lie. I have literally just started. We're having a nice introduction at the beginning of stream. Ah, oh, the impressive. <laughs> I don't think it's on right now. I literally just started stream. <laughs> Teresa, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. And thank you. Very organized. We're trying. Mainly though, what it's really made me realize is that uh, is that I'm not taking enough progress pictures. I'm so because it's such a slow project, it's easy to forget. It's easy to forget that like you have to take progress shots because yeah, it, it I work at it so slowly. I always feel like I have that time because like, oh yeah, I'm still working on it. I still have time to take progress shots. I don't need to do it right now. Uh, but what I am now getting to a stage is that I've nearly finished certain parts and I have like one progress shot and that's not great. So uh, hopefully Mila Note will force me to keep trying to take more pictures and also like get my sketches in easier to read ways because I obviously have my own plans that I'm working on. But like for you guys, you don't see that. You don't like you didn't know that I had these arm pictures. I didn't have a lot of these arm pictures. I've been kind of trying to redraw like the arms so that there's a way that it's better to explain it. And then when you look at the arms, why have I designed them like that? Well, um, the, there is reason. <laughs> um, specifically, I've tried to take a very strong mix of male and female fashion from the 16th century because the collector is non-binary. And so, you know, to keep to that theme, it means certain elements because non-binary wasn't so much of a, a style in, in the higher echelons of society back in the 16th century. What I've done is taken elements that are very, very feminine and mixed them with elements that are very, very masculine. And that's how we're doing it. So if the sleeves, for instance, are, are specifically very, very feminine. Um, so the way that these go, because 
uh, these are all movements that you would have seen on sleeves. Like the sleeve within a sleeve, it was really, really popular for a while in the 16th century. So that's what I've done for this lower part here. Um, the poofs are a little bit more both because both of these, it could be men or women. You would see them on women's clothing as well. You would also see them on men's clothing. Um, so the, these ones are a bit more, could be both, but the bottom half of the sleeve specifically, very, very feminine leading. So uh, yeah, we're kind of like, mixing it up a little bit the thing is i wanted to add feminine on the sleeves because trousers are so masculine in the 16th century so it's like i have to have something feminine higher up so the sleeves are what we've lent on oh my god oh small wow. small wait two seconds i hope you're doing well welcome on in oh dear something i don't quite wow. see oh nice i'm wow. enjoying making your island you're good you're good yeah oh thank you welcome on in i hope you're doing good let me let me do you a little shout out and such i hope you had a good stream what did you get up to today uh, uh, so i always call you small it's not small is it it's small it's Royal! Yeah, I forget, I'm so sorry. I learned my lesson a while ago. I hope you do any more folks. I think you love to drink and traffic lights are burning. So if you like to party, come on and move your body. Welcome on in. So we have small, of course, Arcadia. Thank you for the Arcadia for the, the party. And then we have Moonfire. And then we have Shin. And then Ian. Ian? Yen streams, welcome on in, Olian, and then we have Yuri, welcome on in. I hope everyone is doing well. Yeah, that is that is a song we made using only snippets of my own voice. So there's like 50 of me in here. <laughs> whenever we play that, oh dear. Uh, one thing to add to feminine pants is pockets. Well, we're talking of this about the 16th century here, crochet. So while that's a great idea for modern stuff, it's not quite so accurate when we're doing a competition piece. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be careful, but don't worry. For what we lack in pockets, we will make up with our porter hootie, which is our backpack. <laughs> so we may not have pockets, but we will 100% have a backpack. Oh dear. But where will you hold your prize? I'm not gonna win. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go and fight in the ring, but I don't think I'll win. I don't think, when you win, I don't think I'll win the <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, we're working on a stick ready to finish up and then making something silly for the one year sub badge. Oh, that's heckin' lovely though, small. Very heckin' nice. Well, there you go. If anyone here is looking for... Well, actually, we have a lot of people that are sticker appreciators, right? Because there's a lot of people in this community that do journaling or do... Uh, let me switch back to this again. They do journaling or do... Uh, what do you call it? scrapbooking stuff like that all of the kind of like the like the, the diary making the physical ones all very relaxing things i like what I, I live vicariously for you because i cannot afford to have another hobby well i can afford it but i can't afford the space <laughs> i can't afford the space to take up a new hobby but we have a lot of people that are big sticker enthusiasts here so if someone making stickers i feel like would be a really really cool thing to watch so if you haven't checked out small before heck and go check out their links go send them some love and also small if you need to go look after yourself post stream if you need to go eat something if you need to go sleep uh please do as much as you are super super welcome here if you need to go look after yourself please do and for anyone who's raided in with small hello hi you came into the middle of a bit of a cosplay discussion uh, my name is jelly i'm a cosplayer based in the uk we make big old cosplays like this uh, at the moment we're working on the collector from the owl house it's our biggest costume to date but this is the last big costume we made and we have a really big focus on bead sequins and embroidery so everything beaded sequin and embroidery shut up blaffle <laughs> How are you doing? Good morning. I hope you had a good weekend. And Queena, good morning. And so good morning. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I have been learning to make stickers over the past year. We've also been learning to make stickers. We've all that's a that's a that's one we've been doing too. We are probably not as far along as you. <laughs> but I've been I've been trying. I've been trying. Because I you know, I like the vibes. Oh, that's so pretty. Thank you. Thank you for sharing up Blapple. Love you, Jelly. How you doing, Blapple? Oh wait, no, Blapple! Massive congratulations on the fundraising. You absolutely smashed it. Blew it out the water. Do you wanna do you wanna boast a little bit and tell everyone how much you raised for charity? Do you wanna tell everyone here how much you raised for charity? And boast a little bit? Give us the big number. Oh, did I look really angry? <laughs> Sorry. My face is <laughs> We're trying our best. I thought I was in trouble. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sending you mixed signals. <laughs> Level, you want to post a little bit about how much you raised for charity? In my defense, it's really early and I've had a lot of sugar. So <laughs> I'm still catching up. <laughs> oh, dear. 
that is on with hooks and really good. I'm not that bad. I'm not. But I know you raised a lot of money. I can't, to be honest, I can't remember the exact amount, but I know it was in a, I know it was in the, the, whatchamacallit? The, the heckin' was it? Oh, wait, how many digits would you call it? Four digits? It was big. It was big, big. It was big, 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 big. Big. Oh no, did I look really angry? <laughs> Damn it, shiny. Yeah, I had a I had a custard slice for breakfast. I want to see my face. Oh dear. Oh god, I did look angry. I'm sorry, I'm not angry at you. <laughs> I'm just high on sugar. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh dear. Gonna be lucky. No, you're fine. Thank you so much, Snow, for the rain. I really, really appreciate it. Go look after yourself. Go get some rest. And same goes to anyone who's popped in with Snow. If you need to go look after yourself, get yourself a drink, get yourself some food, please do. We literally just started our stream, so we're just having a little bit of a catch up. Oh dear. Uh, I thought you'd let you know the photo of the cat I put in the Discord was my classroom because I'm in an animal cat. Aww, so the teachers bring their pets in. Heckin' lovely. And you're gonna head to bed. No, you're fine. Get some good sleeps. Look after yourself. Ah, oh, dear. And Mystic, good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Are uh, you gonna head to bed? Good. You're all fine. You're all fine. Anyone who needs to go get some Z's, you go get some Z's. I raised 2,000, uh, 3,200. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, when I say Blaffle raised a lot of money, Blaffle, I remember, I was like, it's definitely four digits. I can't remember if it was 2,300 or 3,200, but regardless, it was a big heckin' amount. Uh, so yeah, Blaffle, Blaffle raised, I would assume dollars, $3,200 for charity. Uh, Blaffle always works so hard for charity. Honestly, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly deserved. Well hecking done very generous people of course but also your hard work of bringing everyone together to actually raise money for charity so yeah like don't don't sell yourself short you brought everyone together to do it yeah without that you wouldn't have done you wouldn't have you wouldn't have raised the money also you got 39 endings for slay the princess oh my god are you enjoying it have you have you got a favorite so far so far my the razor was my favorite but i need to go back and play a few others as well i am flawed never raised that much in a girl but like so so impressive so impressive as Lagoon, yeah. I, I thought it might be Lagoon because you didn't pop in as a new viewer. Twitch was out and you, Mystic. Where because if you were a new viewer, then you would have had the little box around you. But because you didn't have the box around you, I knew you were returning. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it's not you though. It's Twitch. It's Twitch refusing to let people be sneaky with name changes anymore. It used to be when people have a name change, you'd be completely flabbergasted. But these days, Twitch is like, no. No, I'm gonna do the same person. No, you know, no surprises for you. Oh dear. That's really good. Yeah, no, Blaffle works really hard. Really, really hard for charity. They do so many of the Starlight streams. They are the person, uh, D uh, Blaffle and DJ both together run Stream Stars, which is a, a team on Twitch that has raised hundreds of thousands for the Starlight Foundation at this point, I believe. Um, so Blaffle works really, really hard for working for Starlight. And yeah, no, they, they raised a lot of hacking money this time. And just by themselves, by the way, that's not the team total, that's just Blaffle's total. Um, so yes, it was very heckin' impressive. Blaffle is so good. They are so good. Oh dear, I'm going to go to sleep space. We'll, oh no, you're fine. Anonymous, get some good sleep. So it was lovely to see you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a good one. Oh dear, shut up about me. I can't, I refuse. <laughs> Not a favorite so far, but I got an option where it sassed me. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I wait here in a long, a quiet. So it's, uh, it closed the game and then sass me when I opened it to make. Oh, I, I didn't get that. Oh my god, amazing DJ. DJ. Yeah, DJ. We don't have a DJ command though. I don't. I think DJ's on a different time zone, so I don't really see them so often. I probably should make one though. Ah, uh, uh, I also. Uh, but say the person's maybe will stream it because that's why I changed my name to fit more for the channel. That's fair. That's very fair. I also well, I didn't change my name before I started streaming because I have no patience. But I changed my name like a month into streaming because I had to wait to change it. Um, at the time, I don't know how, why, but I had to. So like, I changed my name after one month of streaming, I believe. But that was just, I, I was always intending to change it, but I couldn't change it to the name that I wanted. So the name that I have, a crafty jellyfish, was not my first, was not my first, uh, my first one. What do you call it? Uh, my first choice. It was going I wanted something else, but I can't actually remember. It's been so many years, I've forgotten what I wanted. <laughs> and now I don't want to change it. Oh, damn. Oh my god, welcome on in! Thank you so much for 18 months! How are you doing?
doing? I hope you're doing good. Good morning. I like to cosplay. It's really good. I haven't cosplayed in so long and I miss it. No, I get you. I get you. Don't worry. I love cosplay and I love embroidery and love sequin. And speaking of, we have Amazonia, who is the previous world champion of cosplay, who has just popped in. <laughs> if you like cosplay. <laughs> Ah, uh, is this George's completely different time zone? It was a tentacles McGee. <laughs> oh, my friend just moved there. You didn't get the who jammer flangle? What, what did I not get? Oh, what's a who? I don't know what a who jammer flangle is. I'm sorry. There we go. I've accidentally had the razor chapter a few times. Also, I was like, else, and I forgot what I've done otherwise. I, I feel like that's what's going to happen to me as well. Like, I got the same one a couple times too. Ah, oh, dear. I did manage to get changed to the wall. Oh, you did? I still haven't managed to get changed to the wall. <laughs> No, I hate cosplaying. Oh, is is it? Is it? You may notice I fully- Oh yeah, you do! And not just Amazonia cos! And you have the capitalization as well! Oh, nice! Fancy. Fancy, speaking of name changes, fancy name. Uh, they're gonna mute. Good luck with the homework! Oh my god, fancy? Oh, the whole Amazonia cosplay? Oh my god, we have to change the shout out. What the heck? A heck of imposter! Alright, do you want to do our Discord art check? Because- Ah, oh, we got a few things to get through. I make V- You make V2? Me too! But I, do, I only really do chibis. Uh, and I, I'll be honest, these days I'm kind of having to take a break with it because I've got so many else things to do. But me too! Yeah, I, I make VTuber models. I, I have my own. I've made some really horrible ones. Uh, as for, Like, when I say horrible, like, purposefully horrible. Uh, like, really scary. Oh my god, Grey Ma oh, Jesus, we have been blessed with friends today. Anime, good morning as well. I hope you're doing well. Gotta, gotta, gotta... <laughs> <laughs> my brain needs to go faster. It's a good job that I maybe did have all the sugar that I had this morning because maybe it's helping me uh, keep up today. Jesus, we have been blessed with friends. Welcome on in, Grey Mouse. How was your stream? I hope you had a really good one. Welcome on in. Oh dear. The Instagram account finally did after eight years, no posts. I'm happy so you get it everywhere. Yee! Oh dear, what kind of stuff? You make 3D? <gasps> Nice. 3D is hard. I, I've always been interested in making 3D models and such, but not so much for VTubing for other bits and bobs. But yeah, it makes me, makes me, whew, whew, gotta, fi gotta fix it. <laughs> fix everything. Cursed VTubers here. Yeah, we do cursed ones. Uh, it's easy to bring up the Jello tuber. Yeah, I mean, I can probably do it. Uh, let me, let me hide for a sec. I'll just have to, I need to deactivate my camera while I do it. Oh, actually, wait, two seconds. <laughs> I can't deactivate it there. Uh, two seconds. Let me just, uh, how do I? Yeah, there I go. Goodbye, everyone. I'm definitely still here. Def definitely. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't think about it too much. I'm definitely not just hiding in the void. Uh, if I bring this in. Uh, Grey Mouse, welcome on in. How are you doing? Really? Because I saw the Somne in chat. Was it Somne that brought you across? Uh, well, a recommendation from Somne. That's solid, that is. All right, we need to go have a look. We need to go have a look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. How is your goblins? Some 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 name recommendations. Hi hi hi. Oh yeah, perfect. Um, can you already capture me? Okay, I'm gonna. Sorry, Grey Mouse, because you really, you really, you really don't deserve this. And uh, it you've come in at a weird time, you know. One one of those moments where you've come in at a time, and I don't think you've seen this before. Uh, can I? If I get so, I've lost my chat. Where have you guys gone? Where have you guys gone? How is your goblins going? For anyone who doesn't know Grey Mouse, by the way, Grey Mouse does absolutely amazing goblins. They're making a gro goblin webcomic, I believe. Uh, or it might just be a standard comic. But they are with goblins, and they are so cute, and they draw goblins so good. So if you like goblins, uh, you will you will love Grey Mouse. <laughs> and you will love their goblins, and you, they are precious. <laughs> All right. How can I show you this? Um, am I here? Yeah, I am here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like two seconds. <laughs> I, I can't remember the controls. How do I pilot this ship? Hey, there we go. <laughs> I'm a little large though. Also, what is that pile of steam just in the corner? Why is it there? Two seconds. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't need this. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, so we have this one. Yeah. I took a picture of my face and I rigged it like a, like a VTuber model. <laughs> so it's just a photo of my face. Uh, when my hair was a bit greener and then I, I took a picture and then we rigged it and I, I took some pictures of my hands And so I could make little extra handy things and stuff like that and yeah, I look like a Bethesda model. It was very fun <laughs> It's not my it's not the one I would normally use though uh, if we were going like proper 
if I was actually- I've got so many, god help me. Oh, I'm flipped. Why am I flipped? Wait, why am I flipped? What the heck? Two seconds. Why am I flipped? Was I flipped this whole time? That's better. I was flipped this whole time. <laughs> oh my god. That doesn't make it any better. Right, well, there we go. Good introduction. I do make VTuber models, but mainly it's just for myself. <laughs> Oh dear. These days, sometimes I make them for friends. I did take commissions for a while, but then I got really busy. Yeah, can you stop flipping everything? Oh god, I need to catch up on chat. Oh god, I need to stop growing. Uh, two seconds. What have I missed? All right, average jelly stream. True. You didn't mean to derail me. You can always derail. I'll always get derailed by by Brapple. That's okay. Jelly is gone. It's okay. I'm back. Now I'm physical Jello. Was drawing all the goblin expressions? Uh, I do have a link for the so I can show the goblins. Okay, if you do post it, let me know because I'll need to copy and paste it into the chat because we have no links. I deserve this. This is a curse one. It's my favorite YouTube ever. I'm glad. I like that one too. Uh, Q is going to be doing lots of goblin emotes. Hell yeah. I love goblins. I'm so... I <laughs> like my favorite. They're so good. Not this. Not this. I love how they say goblins. Yeah, goblins. <laughs> goblin, goblin. Oh dear. You hadn't seen it, Blaffle? Oh my god, yeah, no, I took a picture of my face and I rigged it like a VTuber. For funsies. <laughs> Just for fun. You know, uh, legit, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Biblically accurate, yeah. Be not afraid of that, that particular model. Uh, yeah, you flipped everything earlier, I don't know why. Oh dear. So maybe we get for friends. Yeah, I do models for myself usually. That's how I started. And then I did a few commissions and I really loved doing VTuber commissions, to be honest. But mainly I just got busy with everything else in life. So I didn't have time to keep doing them. It is what it is. We live. <laughs> Chat, stop growing. Yeah, stop growing, please. Oh dear, 69. Yeah, stay at 69 forever. Post the link, thank you. And then I can copy and paste it. Bless you, Grey Mouse. Uh, thank you, thank you. I will. So I'm just gonna get real uncomfortably close to you now. Uh, I can copy and paste it, and then I can. There you go. That's that's the link from Grey Mouth. Though. That's not my art. I can't claim that, unfortunately. <laughs> that is from Grey Mouth. Thank you for the piss donation. I appreciate it. I know a few Goblin VTubers. We are actually working on a Goblin VTuber, but it's very behind the scenes right now because we're embroidering it. I, if I, so I'm gonna have to deactivate my camera again. So let me just go to here. Uh, and fix this up, and then if I go back to here, here, oh no, not here, here, and then uh, activate, eh, we're back, okay. Um, we are actually working on a goblin VTuber, uh, but we have to uh, embroider all of the layers, so here's the eye, here's the noses, you know, stuff like that, so it's a really slow behind the scenes kind of process because it takes a while to embroider everything, especially because some of them need to be quite large. So it's what is. We're getting through it. It's it. Maybe it'll be finished by the end of the year. We'll see. May I request you say the word pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. I can. <laughs> I missed a trick here. I ended up as a mouse VTuber. But there's nothing wrong with that. Like a little mouse making goblins. That's nice. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's cute. <laughs> I should say as well, sorry, I never said because we got so into distractions. Uh, Grey Mouse, if you need to go look after yourself post stream, if you need to eat anything, if you need to sleep, if you need to go to sort out your art, save your stuff, please do. As much as you're super welcome here, if you need to go look after yourself, please go do that. You're all good. Peter Dag to Louie. Yeah, exactly. Peter Dag to Louie. <laughs> never change shirt, <laughs> never change. The <laughs> D print is done. Picks it up. Should we get ready for bed? Oh my god, yes, only it's only 2.36. Weren't you asleep at like 5 the other night? Get closer, sorry, I can just get a little closer to you on my full forehead. Uh, I will lurk a little bit, you'll be here. No, you're fine. Have a lovely lurk. Ah, uh, Dan, have a lovely lurk as well, George. Thank you so much for lurking the YouTube. I think it is time we do a little Discord art share because I know a couple people have been waiting and I apologize, I've gotten very distracted. Uh, so let me switch to here, uh, move my T out of where I'm immediately gonna hit it and then let's pick up from the Discord. So if I was to go into uh i think did we have some i think we had people posting while i wasn't here um but i think we'll stay yeah if we start here also i would like to show you this piece anyway so i know Val's posted a couple things we'll start here uh and that is to go oof 
Oh yeah, I might need to remove those. That's okay though. I want to show this. So like, look, do you guys recognize this? This is from Vile Mods. Vile Mods is making uh, a nerf blaster using uh, pieces from other nerf blasters. So it's like a merged piece and it's for a competition called Merge Masters. That being said, this doesn't look like it's from a, 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 a nerf blaster. This looks like it's from the, like the bottom of a sewing machine, the bit underneath the needle. This looks like the feed. This looks like the feed dogs for a... For a, for a sewing machine. Am I right, Vile? Oh dear. Full forehead, worth all, all the time. She's trying to access it. Yeah, I've got little forehead boobies, a little forehead butt. And she had the proper way to say pterodactyl to doodle and she thought it was pronounced with the P silent also. It, it, it is meant to be, I think. Also, Goat, when I met up with Mama Jelly yesterday, Mama Jelly was like, I still watch uh, that music streamer, you, uh, you know, in the mornings when it's like first thing in the morning, I get up and instead of watching the news, I watch the music streamer. It's, she's talking about doodle. <laughs> my mum, my mum, I think, watches more doodle than I do at this point because she's, I'm always asleep when doodle's on. But because my mum has earlier mornings, she gets to watch doodle. So she tells me all about what doodle's doing. And <laughs> because she's awake and I am not. Oh dear. There we are. So this is, this is from Vile Mods. Uh, they have got some sewing machine parts now as a part of their blaster, which is very hecking cool. Distracted? Yeah. Also two seconds. I'm sorry. Uh, this, this is not anything to do with what Vile's posted. This is to do with my music hacking up. Please keep playing. But if I switch while in the Discord, then uh, terrible, terrible things happen. I.e. Uh, you get pinged. <laughs> you don't need to get pinged. Oh dear, my bad. God was just weapons of... <laughs> <laughs> merging my mods, yeah, all of the merging mods. Like all the, the out of sewing machine. It is, yeah, like a really old one. I, it's very hacking cool. I saw it when you bought it onto stream. It was very hacking cool. Uh, and then going on from that, uh, model this cap early uh, yesterday morning, printed it and epoxied, epoxied it on the blaster. You can all see other attempts on the desk, and I lined the inside of another one with easy, easy foam to make it easy. Oh, That's so cool! Wow! This is so cool! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it's it's so nifty. It looks so cool. Oh dear. More jelly tuber. No more jelly tuber. You've had your jelly tuber for the day. And power, good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Ah oh, dear, peridactyl. Yeah, peridactyl. Oh dear. <laughs> I think George doesn't know how to say peridactyl completely. <laughs> Sorry, it's peridactyl. <laughs> <laughs> oh the free video is cool i wish i could val's very good at it sometimes they show on stream when they're modeling live so you can see their process of making 3d prints which is really really cool uh, and then sometimes you'll just see them the fully printed piece that they've worked on at night which both is good they make a lot of pieces and a lot of them are really, really detailed uh, do they have the is it from no this because this is general crafts it might be in 3d modeling yeah, I was gonna say, Val sometimes shows us the pieces they model. I was, I was, this is what I was looking for. Stuff like this. Ah, oh dear, which is really, really cool. Oh, sorry, yeah, peri peridactyl, peridactyl. I could do the electronic stuff. That's really cool as well, but still learning 3D printing and having just one, I just don't have the time to learn. It's really cool if you can do the electronic stuff though. I mean, that's a pretty big step. Jelly's a goober, Blapple's a goober. Blap, oh wait, I never, wait two seconds. I am a bit of a goober because you know what I didn't do? I didn't emote and that is important. Let me go back. Okay, there we go. Uh, and also, the claps. And then also stars. And then, done. Oh my god, I'm so looking forward to seeing this done, Val. It's gonna be so hacking cool. I'm sitting like a little gremlin making stuff out of wood. Nothing wrong with that. I wonder how to stream from OBS. Oh, you have? Hell yeah! There's an OBS plugin. <coughs> I use Restream because it's good for your CPU. But I know that there are plugins you can use well, but then the thing is I don't pay for Restream, I just use the free version. But uh, yes, there's there's a few options. When it comes to streaming to other platforms, options have been a while, around for a while, because most other things don't, like, it's just Twitch that always cared if you stream to more than one platform, but most other platforms did not care. But uh, yeah, no, Twitch has always been a bit funny about it. Oh, dear. that being said, I need the assistance with my CPU, because otherwise my computer just, oh, kadoosh. <laughs> oh, dear. Like the platypus, <laughs> shower pipe, live emote reacts, love to see it. Chat, she's coming for me, I am coming for you. Very appropriate for a super soaker. Thank you, I really hope we can finish in time. I hope so too, this is Nerf. Oh yeah, this is Nerf. Uh, it's for a Nerf competition called Merge Masters. I know it's free. Oh yeah, yeah, Restream is free as long as you're only streaming to two platforms. You only have to pay for it if you're streaming to more than two platforms. 
Uh, but yeah, it's specifically the reason I use Restream is because of the benefits for the CPU usage, but that's because that's an issue that I've had in the past. Not everyone else has that same issue. So for me, it's good because for right now, I'm streaming to two platforms and I'm only using 3%, which is really, really good because before I was using more and that was just streaming to one. So it's been really, really good for that. But uh, obviously everyone has different things they need. And so, yeah. Ah, oh, dear. Is that a rock? It is. Yeah. Yes, this is this is this is the rock. Yeah, he's a he's a stream mascot. We love him. We love him. Look at him. He's supportive. Ah oh dear. Oh, that's the gritty. My one grit sandpaper art rock. We love him. We love him. He he is our a, a, a emotional support rock. He is the rock of this stream. He's holding everything together. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm gonna just go through all the categories. Oh no, we did see that last time on stream. Just to make sure I haven't missed anything because I'm. Oh yeah, because for instance, Saki posted this where when we were offline, but I still think it deserves a, a little look in because Saki's getting really, really good at this kind of text. It's so pretty, and like again, this is much harder than people give it credit for. But yeah, no, this is this is just incredibly neat and incredibly well done and very satisfying to look like. And I, I challenge anyone here who thinks this is easy to go give it a go. Go give it a go right now, because this is really hard stuff. And uh, they've done they've done a really, really good job. So they posted that. I had already seen that. However, we have a whip from Somne. Oh my god, is this potentially a little skeleton? Is this a little skeleton? Is this his little skelebob neck? I love him. I know, I know he is not the main focus, but I love him. Look at his little, 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 little neck lumpies. <laughs> Look at the little lumpy necks. It's a bone scaffolding face. A little bone scaffolding face. Oh my god. So cute. So cute. I love him. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew him well. Uh, this Somni. This is Somni's art. Yeah, can't claim this is Somni's art. Very heckin' nice. A lovely whip. I look forward to seeing that when it's done. It's really, it's very hacking nice. Very hacking nice. Oh dear. There's a sticker. Oh my God, there's a sticker. I must see that. And then we've got, oh wait, this is, so Zomboti mentioned that they got Copic markers for the first time. So they're doing some Copic marking testing. And this is really, really cool. So Zomboti, just to, for anyone who's newer here, is already a very talented artist. They already have like, they're very, very good. We, we've all seen their work before and it, it is very, very good. They're very good at art and they've got a very consistent, very nice art style. Uh, so it's interesting seeing them experiment with like different materials because like, yeah, they've never used Copic before. And I think they've done a really hacking good job. I think it looks really hacking nice. Ah, oh, did the glow effect is awesome? It is! <laughs> yeah, you can use the head as a whip. And also, I never said, but Yuri, thank you for the follow and thank you for the horn as well. I'm so sorry. I am very, very, very whoop today. <laughs> you had a whole custard slice. It was too much sugar. <laughs> oh dear. So no, very hecky nice. Have I, boom, boom, there you go, get some hearts on there. And then we have a little art dump from anime. Uh, the last one's a redraw of an older piece. I see this. I love this, actually. This, th th I think this is really good. <laughs> I, I love the whole shape of this piece. I love the flop. I, yeah, this is, I, th I like the colors as well. I, th th this is very everything that I like in a piece. It's got like pastel pink and pastel blue, which are like my favorites. And then like soft shapes. I like, I like everything about this. <laughs> I like I love this very much and the little pink nose and the little pink on the ear gives me big smiles That's one on print. I see. Ah, okay. Oh, and no worries. Thank you. I appreciate it I love the the fr uh, red fringe. Yeah, no, I like that too. There's a really cool character design from Zombo. I think that's somebody a friend of us uh, Brain move faster than mouth can compute. I've got, yeah, I have too much sugar <laughs> help I wish I had more colours, but it is what it is, because these are the first ones I get. And if you enjoy using them, I'm assuming you can just add to your collection over time, right? Jelly, turn off your collectors. No, they're, look, they're introducing things. They're being like, here, look, a thingy, a thing, look at this thing, here. <laughs> oh, dear. all right. Then we've got, oh, <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Hell yeah, I mean, I am very, I love slime. I, I'm, if you couldn't tell by the fact that my VTuber is made of slime, I am a very, I am a very slime forward kind of lady. I love slime. But we can't see the previews, good. This is, uh, it's so, we, we, they're, they're covering the spoilers. They're covering spoilers. We haven't looked at that in yet. <laughs> spoilers. Also, I will say that you can always just go in the Discord and have a look, but they're spoilers. We don't want to see them. You don't want to see them before we look at them, right? 
Oh, the compute. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. Good old seahorsey. It's a friend of mine. So I the colors I don't match their color character quite, but that's all right. Yeah, and again, like it's like you could add on to with time. I love this too. It also has pink and blue in it. I'm very happy. I also really like slime. <laughs> I, mean, I like this. I like this. And there's like a heart. This almost looks like it could be a moat. It's very hecking cool. And then we've got. Oh. <laughs> These are really good anime. Oh my god. These are so good. Oh, I, I love I, I'm loving these and this is the one where you said it's a remake This is the old piece of art is it and this is the remake of the old piece of art I mean, You've always been goddamn good at drawing ponies. How dare I guess it's practice, but how dare Oh dear. No, these are these are really really cool anime very hecking <laughs> I love this. Let me finish on the anime first. These are really, really cool anime. Thank you so much for sharing them with us. They are amazing. I saw Shifty had made this. I So people know that I like like clown and jester, but I am very much more of a clown lady. I like clowns. I like I like clowns. I like clown aesthetics. That's why I've made so many jesters and clowns. That's why I've done so much clown art in the past. I'm just a fan of clowns, generally. So Shifty made a clown emote. Uh, no, nothing to do with that separately from me, but it gives me good vibes. I like this very much. Um, I w I, yeah, and more, any more of these? And I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan, listen. <laughs> oh dear, let me get a little heart on there. And then uh, that said, uh, the art, I said I would finish in an hour. Oh, Zomboti! This is another one by Zomboti again. Really, really nice. Again, Zomboti has a very, very, like, I, there's a very recognizable art style there, and it's really, really nice. You can, you can tell when it's a Zomboti piece. I look forward to seeing how you color them in, though. The yeah, art was back in 2017. Damn, it's been a minute anime, but you've improved so much as well. Hell yeah, I hope you're really proud of it. I hope you're really proud. But do you like clownfish? I do love clownfish. I think they're very cute. Ah, uh, them damn hands, yeah, the damn hands. Zomboti's really, really good at hands and his uh, damn hands. Oh, the expression is great. I hope I don't mess it up too much. I forget that feeling. Whenever you like have to color a piece in and you're worried that it's gonna mess it up. Also some more art, uh, found out with Zomboti, yee! So you have like another another pony piece, which again, we all know that anime is very good at drawing ponies. We, we know, we've seen. <laughs> we can all be quietly jealous in the background. We know they're good at this. And then, I this is your this is your what you call it right? This is your cadet for Chroma this year. Hell yeah! I really the eyes of Posture's Brody does. Yeah, they're really good. Make a clown clownfish. I would like that. Uh, so this is this is uh, the cadet I believe that uh, anime has made for or anime is making like putting more work into. I'm sure over the next few months for Chroma Core. So this is their new Chroma Core cadet. Uh, and then. This is, wait, did, is this, did you draw this anime? It, because this is Zomboti's character. For anyone who's not met Zomboti, th this is their like avatar character. Did you draw this for Zomboti? Does Zomboti know? <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. Hell yeah. Mech pony, yeah, mech transformers pony. A uh, little booby clown nose and a clownfish would be too, it would be so cute. So hecking cute. Uh, was it Chroma Core time already? Chroma Core is in a couple months, but uh, some people, like myself included, were like planning in advance a little bit. So we are, we're prepping, we're prepping for it, getting some ideas on paper early. That's cute, that is cute. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, so these are also bits and bobs, I think, that were posted. Uh, yes, yeah, so we, ha we have, of course, Schleaves' is mega, mega piece. Uh, if you don't know Schleaves, exclamation mark Schleaves, they've been working on this on stream. If you want to watch them put in another Pokemon and then another one and then another one, it is incredibly th therapeutic to watch and it's huge. Uh, so Schleaves have been working on that. I think we did see that last stream though, but uh, if the bits that we didn't see last stream, thank you for shouting out Schleaves. Uh, we had Cabonose who took some really, really beautiful pictures of like their beads up close and they're just, they're just very aesthetically pleasing. I don't know how else to put it. They're just, it's just nice. It's just nice. It's good vibes. I like it very much. They were like, I thought you might appreciate some macro lens color porn. And it's like, I do appreciate it, actually. Uh, yeah, this is really, really pretty. And then we also had Sia, who was doing a red panda cushion quilt topper. Look how cute. Speaking of oh, red pandas, we have Somne here. Somne loves red pandas. Sia is making a red panda piece. But like using quilting and such. And it's, it's very, very hecking cool. I like it very much. I can thank Val for that name. He recommended it. Hell yeah. 
Oh dear. I love Red Panda, so cute. Yeah, and Ambrose, good morning. Welcome on in. We're just catching up. We're just catching up on a, on a Discord stuff that's been posted. And then we have going into cosplay and embroidery. Uh, Cthulhu, <laughs> this is going to make some of your heads spin a little bit. Uh, this is quilted. All of this is quilted. There's, these, there, there's all the individual pieces and how they, like, all the connections for the quilt. This is a quilt. Uh, what was it, like two or three weeks max that they've been working on this so far? And they have done, this is huge. I don't, I don't know if this is giving the scale of just how much that Cthulhu has done. Uh, they say that it's 224 out of 1,679, which with that kind of calculation, if that's in three weeks, then it's only going to take you a month and a half if you keep going at that speed for the whole piece, pretty much. <laughs> which it's kind of, kind of mad. Oh dear. But yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. I love seeing the stripes. Yee! I love the found the red panda. Yeah, I like that as well. I, I see it's doing a really good job with it, to be honest. It's very recognizable and very heckin' cute. This is intensive. Yeah, three weeks. You messed up your up. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah, another good point. Cthulhu's been making this with a fractured elbow. Sorry, sorry, was it not extreme enough? Let me just make it a little bit more extreme. Yeah, no, Cthulhu's been making this with a, a fractured elbow. <laughs> Call this out. <laughs> and their elbows healing really nicely as well. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Not only are they making this with a fractured elbow, their elbow is also healing. It's all it's all very unfair, you know? Oh dear, I realized it was now possible for me to finish this piece in time. Hell yeah. I quit, I quit. I know. It's under such power, what can you do? It's terrifying. I realize it's not possible we'd finish this piece on time, which is very exciting. Also, Queena, hand embroidered the patch for the beret, but I will... Oh yeah, so they're making this costume. Uh, and you, when you hand embroidered that, Queena, that's so good. Oh my God, you've, you've, you've knocked out the park. That's fantastic. On such a small space as well. Uh, there's no link below, but if you exclamation mark Discord, Yuri, you'll get, you'll get the link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to exclamation mark. You have to type in chat. This is... In, in very, very heckin' impressive. You're all making it sound really rough. I didn't have to move my arm to so. I feel like you attract all the- I exist to spite. I do, we're a very spiteful community. <laughs> you tell me that I can't do it, I do it. Do not compare your work to others, just compare to yourself. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, we, we don't- we compare out of jokes. We all joke because we like joking about how everyone here is insane. Because they are more insane than me. And that is the only comparison that I will allow. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't seriously compare. Everyone's worked very hard to get the skills that they do have. And we all have our ups and downs in crafting. Like I couldn't do quilting right now because I have literally no, no experience with it. <laughs> but to give me embroidery now, that I can do. Oh dear. Take the love. Also, Chucky, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Uh, would you like to see one of my food bottles? Yeah, pop them in. If you want to share them, you can. Do. Oh dear. But only if you want to. It's uh, only if you want to. It's slightly wobbly and I need to make three more some because I didn't do machine versions, but I don't own the machine. I see. I, I think you... Maybe it's because I don't know, like, I, I'm looking at it from an outside perspective. Like, I don't know the character so well or anything. But from my point of view, it looks really, really good. It looks pretty perfect. I, 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 personally, I think it looks great. But if you would prefer to do it on a machine, that's very fair. It's just whatever makes you happy, I suppose. And you go down and then you can show it off too. Exactly! Oh dear. This is this isn't cosplay. We're in cosplay right now, but we do have a 3D modeling channel if you want to put well, your 3D modeling in that, you know? I send you one, I see how I end up with four, like a crafter. <laughs> I'm taking the compliments, hell yeah. Oh, I don't want to come across a self-promo. Well, we literally have these as yeah, yeah, pop in 3D modeling. Like, we literally have these so people can show off to each other. Because like, here's the thing. When it comes to quilting, I, I only know how intense this is because I get to watch. But like in a situation where I might not get to watch, I might not know because I don't do quilting. So it's nice to share this with everybody else, and especially people that might appreciate it even more than I do. Because I appreciate it for being very, very pretty, but there are people here that do quilting that can appreciate it for the amount of hours that go into it. So yeah, it's it's nice. We we like that. We have we have all these channels specifically so people can post it. Also, new fabrics have arrived! They're the, oh my god, they're so big! They're so big and so pretty! I love them. I love them! A full embroidery machines? Uh, yes, take it like take it like a crafter. Take it like a crafter. Hell yeah. Wait, did I did I sorry, did I react? I didn't. My bad. Let me let me go back. First of all, stars. Very important. Claps. And uh, let's put a little heart. Little, little heart eyes. Alright. Very important break. Very, very important. Uh 
There is a cat on this chair. <laughs> Very important break, everyone. Uh, there is a there is a cat here. <gasps> oh, second very very important break. Uh, so has a baby dash hound. So has a, a so in, who was in chat earlier has a, a baby dash hound. A puppy. You could even say a very small dog. <laughs> and they are they are so small. Look look at how small this is. <laughs> They po they didn't post this today, but I do think it's important to share share the news. There is a new baby, a subwoofer, if you will. <laughs> it's so small. Look how tiny this is. Oh my god. You all, you, I saw it, and now you all need to see it. It's very important. Oh dear. And yeah, here they are being a sleepy pupper now at home with a big old penguin from the looks of it. Very hecking cute. Uh, I need to put hearts. I, I, well, I actually want to put sleepies. Is there a ZZZ? -Z -Z? Yeah, very important. ZZZ -Z -Z, um, and cute. And then, of course, I will also react cute because they are cute. And then also hot. There you go. There you go. Hecking bless. Hecking bless. <laughs> also, Brandy, good morning. We have a new community. Like, this is not my puppy. This is So's, but they posted it in my Discord, and I will now show you how proud. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, I can see we have a couple more things posted. This will be last call then, uh, and then we're actually going to do some work today because I would like to get some crafts done. But we have a mini jumper for the pup, so you're making a jumper for the dash hound. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And then last, but by no means least. <gasps> oh, you do like the full, oh my god, the full people models? Jesus, this is hard. Now, okay, this is something that I can appreciate as someone who does rigging as well. Um, this is this is hard. <laughs> this is hard work. <laughs> this takes a lot of practice and a lot of specialist skill. Very happy, impressive. Or oh, like it's something that I've looked into before, but not something that I've ever done because. I just haven't had the time. I just haven't had the time to dedicate to it. But it is very hecking impressive. All right, what that means is it is time to set my alarm and also to talk a little bit about what we're doing today. It is time to to get cracking on some work, I think. You off to bed? No, you're fine. My work here is done of not making you start stream for now. It's just one of those mornings. We got very, two very, very lovely raids and then we had a lot of stuff because I've taken three days off streaming. We have like some stuff piled up that we need to go look at in the Discord. And uh, no, it's just, just been one of those days, but like not in a bad way, in a good way. Oh dear. All right, let's set the timer because I'm going to start working. Now, next Discord art share will be in one hour. If you want to be in that, you can post it in the next hour and we'll be checking in one hour's time. There we go. Also, Vile, get some good sleeps. Look after yourself. Thank you for putting, popping by. <laughs> I like the abstract touches on the VT one. I do too. You've got those shoes. We'll see it next time. Don't worry. We will still look. I want to talk a little bit about this and, uh, and what I've been doing behind the streams. Uh, behind the streams? Well, I guess also behind the streams, but what I've been kind of working at. So you know how we've been doing the panels for the smocking. Uh, we've been working on these arm panels for a while. They kind of end up looking like this once they're done. Um, what I wanted to do is have these on the jacket as well. The way that the jacket works in particular is it's mismatched. So uh, even though my right arm is the one that's light purple, the left side is, left, is light purple on the jacket and then backwards it's backwards it's to match the main body so we keep the colors in the same place as the reference um but it needs to be smocked and it needs to be smocked in the same way as this and i didn't want to waste a lot of fabric so what i did was whoa, on the other side of the fabric and flipping this over i've made a massive grid uh, you can see all the little X's in the grid, you can see all the marks. This took a thousand percent of my brain to try and work out because it's basically expanding it from a center point and then keeping boxes around all of them. Now I haven't done it perfectly. Uh, there's a bit at the bottom where I misjudged it and it's really, really small. I don't know if you can see, there you go. Like I should have had a full box there and I haven't, but that's so far in the corner that it's going to be kind of covered by the edging anyway. So I think it's okay, uh, but mostly this is fine. Every single one of these little squares, all these tiny little squares, they all need to be smocked. And there are this many. I don't know if you, there's some extra ones on the sides for where like, again, there's edges and such. There's a lot. 
So this is gonna take a minute and we have to do it on two times and then we also have to do the back. I genuinely, until I started working through the Mila note, completely forgot that I had to do more smocking that wasn't on the arms because I've been so focused on the arms for so long. Yeah, yeah, like literally. Ah oh dear. What's the next thing next to the timer? What, the little jelly? That's my little jelly friend. Ah oh dear. Uh, I'll be passing out in the charging station one hour. I'm glad you like, no, you're fine. You need to go get some Z's. You get some hecking Z's. Brandy! Oh, wait, is Brandy one of uh, a friend of yours? Hell yeah. I think I actually made the bird go mad. Chose a different option to make Nightmare Chapter. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Shaleem, well, let me know how that goes. Let me know if you get some good voice acting. Uh, would be the benefit of this to say just, uh... What would be the benefit of this, say, just smocking a bunch and then cutting the panel? Saving fabric. Uh, because if I smocked the whole square, I would be smocking like up all this as well. So it saves me a lot of time if I only smock the bits where I need it to be done. But also it saves me a lot of fabric because smocking, it's double the size. In this case, it's just a little over double the size of the piece that it ends up being. If I did it as a huge square, there isn't any more of this smocking on the costume except for the back. So two big pieces left. If I had, say, smaller pieces of smocking that I needed elsewhere of this, then it would make a lot of sense. But because I don't, uh, it would just be a waste and I'd be smocking stuff that I don't have a use for anymore. So that's why. That's why. Oh dear. If I'd done things in a different order, then it might be different. Uh, sorry, Jenny. Yeah, yeah, I have the one that I just showed. This, It is the same smocking as this one. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. And you say Cthulhu is mad. Cthulhu is mad! <laughs> <laughs> that is much harder to do. You'd also have to cut through the smocking threads. Also that, yeah. So it would be a waste of fabric, a waste of time, and a bit difficult. Tricky. A little tricky now. <laughs> oh dear. Cthulhu is doing mad. Exactly. Cthulhu is still mad. <laughs> Just in case you can't math. Yeah, no, unfortunately I needed to do the math. I shouldn't have done it when I had a full migraine, but I did have to do it. <laughs> At some point. Uh, but all, yeah, all that one. Holy... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same one, but without the edging, like, exactly the same. It's obviously a bit of a bit different shape. It will eventually be this shape. <laughs> one day. <laughs> Soon, hopefully. By the end of the week, that'd be good. We're all mad here. Exactly! I really love this mocking. Me too! I really like it. And so I'm happy to do a bit more of it. I just forgot, to be honest. Genuinely, just forgot that that's probably something that I need to think about and I need to get it done at some point. So that's what we're doing today. But hopefully this explains. Again, this is a panel. This will be my left side. Uh, I have got one cut for the right side. I just haven't drawn the grid on it. Goes up to here, goes under the arm and it, I've not got this done very well, but it like meets in the middle somewhere. This, I have tried it on. I have tested this pattern, I promise. <laughs> It does work. It, it just trust, you know, trust the process kind of vibes. I promise it works. It's a little difficult to show it though. This is modeled on me when I'm binding and I am not randomly binding right now. So it doesn't fit me very well. <laughs> but it, it will fit me when I'm binding. That's the important bit. That's all it needs to fit in. So yeah, welcome to a stream where we are just going around and around and around and around in circles for a long time. The jacket is smocked too, then this is going to be explosion of texture. Yeah, it is. Um, the, the jacket is smocked. The the undershirt, what's it called? Doublet. The doublet is uh, is also got some smocking panels on it, but it's a different smocking. It's one of the ones that's similar to the one on the hat, which is a bit more lines rather than squares. And there's a lot of smocking. <laughs> there's three different types and they're all touching at points. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But again, the, the, the inspiration is if a child made a costume and could do whatever they wanted, an all-powerful child, what would they make? And it's, uh, yeah, here it is. An all-powerful child costume. I actually, yeah, when I was making the Mila note, I went back because I, I have a lot of thoughts in my head, but I haven't been writing a whole lot of them out, to be honest, which is my problem. That is my fault. Um, but I went back and I was like, have I, have I really considered this correctly? Like what I'm thinking of for this costume? So I went back and watched some clips of the collector in the show and it's like, no, 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 no. I remember why I made these creative decisions. It was like a year ago, but I remember now because they are very, they want everything. They want everything everywhere. Cthulhu is an eldritch horror of mad. Exactly. I had age up to download my pupils today and everything was so bright. <gasps> no, probably not the best time to smoke, but probably a great time to take weird selfies. Hell yeah. Chosen drink at the matching edging, I'm sorry. Uh, you'll hear it a lot because we uh, we do a lot of, well, we've done a lot of edging recently, but we're gonna do a lot of backing soon because we've almost finished the edging. We're doing really well, honestly. I will say like things are going good. 
Like, I couldn't even read SMS for a couple of hours. Oh, no. I'm programmed to hear puns. Nice. Good programming. You're going to go to the YouTube. Thank you so much for liking the YouTube, uh, Maggie. I really appreciate it. It's very hecking kind of you. Oh, dear. There we go. That's good exercise. It was. <laughs> There's a lot. Actually, yeah, I have. I have... I finished, I, I didn't mention this actually, I finished all of the embroidery edging on all of the gold bits, I just have to do the beading on top and like the little neatening stitches, but the main stitches for the gold is all done and so we can nearly, I don't know if we'll do that this this week because obviously we're now working on this jacket and we, you know, things, priorities have changed a little bit once I realised that it's not just arms, but um, yeah, at some point we can actually do like a backing stream now because we have enough ready to go that we, we could do this. Also, my thread is so twisty twisty. Like, excuse me, this is the first one. Why are you so twisted? Why are you so angry? What what happened? Also, the, I haven't worked with such a big piece of fabric for a while. It's so weird having it just like falling off the desk as I'm working on it, because this is a very slippery fabric. It is just lining fabric. Oh dear. Gina, good morning. And Malice, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Everyone's gushing over edging right now. Come on, we've been edging things for... <laughs> For months! Come on! Come on! We've been like, oh, I could show you to be fair, but I, I kind of want to get a little bit done. Also, uh, if you've not seen this smocking technique before, it looks really messy for a while. Don't worry about it. But we're going to be making lots of little poofs on the other side like this. Before we go back and neaten it up, it's, it's going to look weird. And that's okay. That's okay. I have also taken a picture of this uh, before smocking. So I've, I did it. I remembered. I remembered to take a picture. Oh dear Jesus. I know, I know. What will we do with all of you? What will we do with all of you, huh? Oh dear. Put you in the bonk corner. <laughs> Were you beating a sequin it too? I will be, yeah, of course. I'll be I'll be matching it to what's on the rest of the arms. Since it, the arms go directly into it, it should be all matchy matchy. Oh dear. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. But I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see it come together. I'm excited to wear it with an entirely normal piece, like, you know, like my regular stream wear, um, have this on over the top and feel incredibly fancy for a while. I'm very, you know, it's been a very long time now since I've made a piece of cosplay and also been able to try it on. So it'll be nice to have a little try on, make sure everything fits, make sure I'm happy with how it fits. Yeah, the jacket is... Oh, the, actually, wait, wait, wait. I did have a thought. Um, so I've done a slight design alteration. It won't... It's not the design, I guess, so much, but, like, how I'm doing it is different. I was originally going to print these really big 3D printed beads for the arms, and I have changed my mind. And the reason I have changed my mind is because the thought process is, if I print these really, really big beads and attach them to, like, the flimsy bit of the arm, they're just going to fall. Like, not fall, but, like, they're going to weigh the fabric down annoyingly, and I don't want the fabric to feel too weighed down. So instead... Uh, I have been doing a little bit of research, and you know how we were talking about getting gold work on it? This would be really, really fun. I think that's going to be the vibe. So I think instead of doing the big bead in the middle, we're going to do some gold work on where the suns and moons are on the arm. Uh, or I could actually bring up the Mila note, couldn't I? I could actually show you the design. Or I could just have the design on stream, but I don't. <laughs> uh, dear, let me, let me, wait, I deleted all of my tabs. Where did I put stuff? Where is it gone? It's disappeared. Uh, oh, where did I put it? Is it here? Um. Uh, yup, yup, yup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so where the sun's on this arm and the moon's on this arm, instead of having them as really big beads, what I'm gonna have them instead is this gold work. Uh, and I found some gold work in these colours. Uh, very, very similar to these colours. So we should be able to do it. Because that was kind of my fear, to be honest, was that we wouldn't find the matchy-matchy colours. And I have. So yes. Yes. <whistles> excuse me. <laughs> Please excuse the very loud hick that I did in <laughs> did not turn my head away for. Ah, uh, did there is another mode that's a part of the last one to contain my excitement. <laughs> Hell yeah. If you have time for a crown, I too will be beating in sequin and yee! Hell yeah, I, I can't wait. I, I'm sure it, making all the snow look nice and sparkly would be so nice. That would be so nice. Where am I? There I am. Ah, oh dear. Oh, yes, gold work. Let's go. Yeah, I wanted to have it somewhere and it feels like it fits well there. So you're saying you don't want to draw those lines for our entertainment? I, mean, I can draw lines for your entertainment if you like. 
I mean, I still need to draw the lines for the back and the other sides. So I've got lines to draw. That was especially high pitched. Yeah, that one I didn't turn away from either. And I'm very sorry. <laughs> I was I was in the middle of talking, so I was still facing the mic. That's a that's a my bad right there. Oh dear. Goldwork is a good idea. Maybe we could be quite, but it could be quite heavy depending on how thick it is. Yeah, we're gonna have to go uh, like be a little careful with it. I will probably also be backing the fabric, so it won't be like completely thin like there will be some level of interfacing i just think big resin beads are a bad call because that's what i would have done i would have done resin printing and i think it would have been a bit too hefty and it would have made it hang weirdly so if i interface it instead make it a little more thick and then yeah what materials have you bought? I haven't actually bought them yet. No, 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 I haven't bought them. I don't, I'm normally quite uh, methodical when it comes to buying cosplay stuff. So I don't, I don't just think of something and buy it, but I found them. I, I found them in the right colors. I just haven't purchased them yet. Um, so that I can get the best deal possible, but also it's like finding them. Then can I find them anywhere else? Can I get a cheaper price? Uh, how much would I need? What, how can I get the minimum amount I need kind of thing? Uh, all that all that kind of stuff. I, I, I don't like finding something and immediately buying it. I find something and then I plan for a while. Just because I am still on a budget with this costume. It's not as tight as the budget with uh, the Mateus one where we were like 20 quid a month. But I, I am still budgeting and there are other things I also need to budget for for this costume coming up. So I'm kind of having to like make some decisions about which bit I want to get first and like what takes priority. I think probably the gold work does take priority in this particular case, but yes, we will. I'm gonna have a little thinky, a little think on it. All right, also yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's, it's gonna look really weird for a while. Budgeting, why are you laughing at my budgeting? You let me budget. <laughs> very important, very important. So what kind of materials do you think of using for it? I've seen flat model of pearl shards look amazing, very iridescent. So I already have the design in mind. I was already, at, but I'll be honest, I probably won't be using anything like that. So I love mother of pearl. I love beetle wings. I love all those kind of things. The problem with those are that adds up very quickly and I have a lot of stuff in the house. So we're probably going to be doing a little bit of a, a make, what would you call it? Make do with the stuff that we already have in the house. <laughs> so I'm going to raid my stuff. Uh, pearl is the one thing that I will need. Yeah, I will have to pick up pearl in the correct colors. But the rest of it, I am I am of the belief, and I hope that I'm right, that if I raid the house, I might have a lot of the stuff just lying around that I can use. Uh, sequins is going to be a big one, though. Again, this if I was going like really, really fancy, really formal, then, uh, you know, again, shards, beautiful other bits and bobs you can sew in would be a really good option. This is a child. Uh, so I was thinking, yeah more kid kind of vibes because even though we are going heavy into the 16th century the collector is so childish so so childish they, they there's a reason i'm kind of like leaning into jesterish vibes as well because they are like a, they're a trickster they're like a tiny little child trickster kind of vibe you know so we're gonna be going into some stuff that might be a bit more childish uh, i am tempted honestly to this um, is amazonia still here can i get away with talking about this because i feel like she's gonna hate it <laughs> two seconds let me let me just double check am i safe i'm not safe <laughs> oh dear um, <laughs> okay, <I won't> mention... <laughs> oh dear i have some very silly ideas for stuff that i want to add to it uh i have it on my own it only works because the areas are flat and stiff yeah yeah, it's beautiful though. It does look really, really nice. I don't think it fits the vibes for this costume though. Go ahead and see what you want. Get judged for it. So I was thinking uh, instead of sewing in like pretty beads and stuff like that, I have uh, and I kind of want to make a few more for myself um, instead using like toy adjacent shapes and I could make some of them myself like if I wanted to make some very tiny custom beads I can do so I can just mold them make a little what do you call it make them out of resin so make a what's it called silicon mold use it for resin make some little toys make some little games I have numbers I have letters uh, I have things like that so instead of decorating I want them to look like 
a little overspilling toy box almost on the arm, but from a distance it will look like suns and moons. The closer you get in, it looks like a mess. <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I want. I want tiny little child messes on the arms. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you'd call them. Little mess thingies. But from a distance, I want them to look like suns and moons. So the shape is still quite important. But like, it, when you get close in... So I am thinking to raid a lot of the stuff that I have lying around because I do have a lot of random stuff. But then I would also consider making some of my own stuff. Like, again, instead of 3D, 3D printing those beads, I'd probably just make them into molds or something. So it's very small and very flat. And then, yeah, make a little resin pour mold so that I can I can make them myself kind of thing. And also then I can have them in the perfect colours as well, which would be nice. And I already have stuff for making resin, so I don't have to worry about more. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna try it smocking. Uh, like, what's the happy medium between buying the best things and the worst things? Uh, oh, wait, 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 to do it with? I just, I, I'm using a lining fabric and honestly, it's nice and thin, so you get the shapes really nice and easily. You don't have to fight it. But that's just me. I mean, there's plenty. You could smock probably pretty much any fabric, but I feel like with thinner fabrics, it's a bit easier. <clears throat> Backseat and recommend Mugger Oh, no, no, no. I also think it's really cool. I just don't think it works with this costume because it's too, it's too pretty and too nice. <laughs> I just, it's a weird thing to say, but like, it's just, it's just too nice for this costume, I'm afraid. We are a child. We're, we're cosplaying as a, well, yeah. Yeah, a mess. <laughs> Even, uh, 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 even, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, make their own beads sometimes, they have, oh, how, House of the Dragon season two costume with beads they put, made from Millipot, oh, that's very cool, and I 3D printed beads for Rihanna, yeah, we will just spray paint the crap you have, yeah, I have crap everywhere, <laughs> by mess, as long as it's, like, actually planned out and cohesive, should be fine in a contest, I like the idea, though, yeah, like, I probably would have them matchy-matchy, like, they wouldn't all be different, per se, but yeah, like, I want them to look like little little messes, little tiny messes. Does the thread matter? I use, like, I'm not using it right now because I had stuff on this needle, but generally, this is a cheap one that I bought from a charity shop. It's, like, pretty fluffy. Like, it's not, like, a very good thread, but it was, I, I bought it all cheap, and I use that because you never see that thread on this side. Like, the, whatever I thread I use on this side, you'll never see it, which is why, like, I randomly change color and stuff like that, because you don't see it with this particular one. So yeah, just use my regular. The thing with smocking that, that, that I've been like kind of yelling about from the rooftops is it's really good because you don't have to buy a lot of new stuff. You need a big piece of fabric because it does get a bit smaller when you smock it. But other than that, all you need is a needle and thread and, and, and a pen maybe to draw a grid on. <laughs> Makes it a bit easier. So it's like really, really good for... I guess, I guess you don't have to buy a lot of new materials to give it a go. You can just use whatever you have. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Kind of similar vibe to Mazivson Plan. From far away, I wanted to like a lot of texture then build up and then there's lots of details and colors and textures. Yeah. Yeah, I want it. It's important to me that they all kind of fit the same vibe. So like, for instance, they'll all be the same color, but the closer you look up at them, the more you see the individual shapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, I did have designs and I cannot remember where I've put them. Uh, this has been, the, honestly, the, the song of the weekend is, I've done this before and I don't remember where I've saved it or I don't remember where I've put it, uh, but I have done designs for the arms, I think? I don't have the new designs. I have, oh god, excuse me two seconds, I have to just... <laughs> I've got them on there right now, which is not a good place. Also, Timothy, I'm just going to move you up there real quick because the build book's underneath. I think I have the original designs in here, but I don't think I have the new ones. Yeah, yeah. So this is the original ones where I was using the big bead in the middle. Um, and then these would have been the spaces outside. And then the same with the moon. But uh, I need... I, I First of all, I want to change... I've changed the moon because I don't like how square it is. It just doesn't feel right. When the, the sun is much more circular, and I like that, I want that with the moon as well. So we're changing that a little bit. Uh, but originally that was going to be but where they were going to be. And then I've just changed it a little bit because originally I was also going to use my, uh, what do you call it, embroidery machine, but that's changed. So, yeah, I just need to fix things around a little bit, but they will be in the general colors. They're also not black and white. I made that mistake. That was not correct. They're not black and white. They are dark purple and light purple. Ooh, there you go. <coughs> <Ooh. coughs> Excuse me. 
Always so happy to look into the final mirror that- Oh, chapter arc did end with a number of them! Nice! Hell yeah, I'm glad they're playing ball. They're playing along. Very nice. Seeing the budget, I need to put some grey thread for mending and a uh, two one thousand was going to be nine pounds, but the store had ten for oh ten for ten sale. Hecking nice, hecking nice. We love a good sale. I don't have the patience lying around the house, so I might need to search a fresh store for that. That's fair. It is a slow work. It's slow chipping away, but it's nice, right? Why don't we banjo a fancy collar was walking? You should. Yeah, it'd be really fun. And it'd be so small as well, so it wouldn't take nearly so long. It'd be so fancy. Fancy banjo collar. Nude designs? Hi, Grobbit. How you doing? I hope you had a good weekend. Welcome on in. I had a good weekend. It was good. And Bumbling Bee, good morning. Welcome in. I also hope you had a good weekend. We are working on a massive piece of smocking. It's going to look like a mess for a really long time, to be honest. You will come on into I'm making a mess, but it's going to look great. <laughs> are you going to be playing more on Thursday or a different game? I don't know if I'm going to be playing a game this Thursday. Just because... Uh, how to how to phrase so i want to do this week kind of similar to what i did last week which is tuesday wednesday thursday friday just because i didn't stream on on monday but i've just had a bit of bad luck on thursdays recently uh with with having really quite bad migraines which i think is because i'm looking at a screen for a long time so i'm maybe gonna take this thursday off just like and do crafting instead just to see if it makes a difference uh so i i don't know i don't know if we're playing a game this week we're just gonna see how it goes because i love playing horror games but i might need to find a slightly different way of approaching it if that's the case yeah just been yeah sorry the, the reason i took a minute to talk because i don't want to come across like it's been really bad it's not been really bad or anything but like it would be nice to find another way of maneuvering around that in the future so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do maybe not this week see what happens and then if everything is the same, then I'll, I'll pick it up next week because, you know, whatever. But if, if it's that that's causing it, we might have to approach it in a slightly different way. And that's okay. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Uh, fancy schmancy. Yeah, fancy schmancy. Oh, my V. Our friend is doing smoking and it's going to look pretty cool. Hell yeah. Oh, no. It doesn't matter. The last time I did a cosplay, I was super allergic to head. Oh, yeah. You have to be careful with stuff like that. Careful with your allergies. Don't make yourself sick. No, but thank you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. In that case, I hope this week is better for you. Oh, dear. If you have to have a bad weekend, then you, the, the world better have a good week for you. I feel like a kid would totally nod to and say, yes, they're toys. They're the sun and the moon. It's cooler that way. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Makes sense. You can get light sensitivity glasses. You can. And that's, that's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> you can get light sensitivity glasses, and they do work for some people. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> lucky, lucky people, huh? Oh <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not salty at all. <laughs> oh dear, inhuman noises. All right, on to next line. I had to shave all my beautiful hair off. If the hair was gonna go all my skin, yeah, you gotta be so careful. It's why they always tell you to do like a little tester square before. Cause yeah, if you have a really, really uh, it, uh like bad reaction to hair dye, unfortunately, yeah, it can make you lose your hair. I bet you looked great though. Listen, as someone who also used to shave their head, can be kind of liberating though. Can be kind of nice. Like, did I miss my hair sometimes? Yeah. But also, not having to brush my hair, not having to style my hair, not having to do anything with my hair, just getting up and being ready. It was alright. <laughs> I miss that now. <laughs> oh dear, I have never heard that sound in my life. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, I, you know what I blame it to? I blame it to the learning how to metal scream and having more range of weird noises than I used to. Oh dear. Jelly's brain is a spicy fun place. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. We have little parties. Uh, did I finish that row? I did. <laughs> you want to see a mess? You like it. Yeah, it's perfect, right? <laughs> you love my smocking? It's perfect, right? No one would say that it wasn't perfect. It's perfect. Exactly as intended. Oh dear. There we go. 
I remember suddenly, even if you've never had allergy, oh yeah, like you have to be so careful. I So you can't really tell right now because I've been letting my hair grow out. Uh, but before, about this time last year, I used to change my hair color like every few months. Uh, I would be like, I, I did stick around greens, blues a lot. I was purple. I've had pink and red on stream. I was yellow and pink at the same time. That was fun. I had like an ombre at one point, which was really, really nice. So I've had like, and, and green. Green was the one I started out and it was also the last one I did before I went back to normal hair colors. But uh, yeah, I would often dye my hair. I was, I'm very big into it. I'm letting my hair grow out so it can get a bit healthier and have like a little break at the moment. But normally I would have probably green, blue, purple hair. One of those. Those are like my favorites to go. They're the ones I've been the most often as well in my life. But yeah, no. So I've, I've had incidences. I have had incidences before where not not to the extent where I've had to shave my head because of that. I've had to shave because of other reasons. But um, <coughs> where I have, yes, had reactions. I actually had a reaction in a, in a hairdresser's before. And I remember being like, this feels like much worse. And they, were, and they were like telling me, they were like, this probably feels much better than you do when you have it at home. And I was like, what's kind of interesting is it actually hurts a lot right now. And I think they thought I was just saying that to be pedantic or something. But because like, I was like, yeah, I normally do it myself. But no, I, I had like a re allergic reaction to their one. And yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what was in their dye that's not in the dye that I normally use. But yep, it gave me a little reaction. Oh. But I was fine on the test. I was fine on the test. They did the test on me and it was okay. And then, yeah, when they put the whole thing on my head, it was like, whoa! <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm gonna have to cough two secs. You just have to be hidden. and I had to remove them for I am an angel and angels can't have demons in their lungs all right two secs let me just whoop, whoop, whoop. oh dear my picture looks odd I can't draw I'm sure that you can draw but like bear in mind we all have bad days as artists all artists have bad days I have days where I can't sew <laughs> I don't know why sometimes I just wake up and I'm like yeah no I, my brain isn't working today and I cannot sew and I have been sewing for like 20 years and sometimes I still wake up and I'm like, nah, can't do it. Can't do it. Not, not, not me. Oh, dear. It'd just be like that. You mostly like a Skeksy? Like, wait, we're from the Dark Crystal? I've, I, I've seen someone do like a really good Skeksy cosplay before and I, I wish. I wish. So sparkly. I love them. Uh, before you become corporate sellout. Yeah, before I come corporate sellout. I watched Barbie movie last night and this was a scene when at the beginning that Catherine's my brain on a regular basis. Barbie says for a fake smile, I'm dying to dance and then dances with the same smile. <laughs> oh God. Oh no. Don't judge us. You can judge me. I like being judged by Blapple, but don't tell them. Just Jelly used to have fun hair. I did. I did. You like this. Why am I at the bottom of my hair is so much lighter than the top of my hair because it's not from going out in the sun. I tell you that. <laughs> It's because this is the stuff that still has bleach in it, whereas this is my natural hair. Oh, you posted good Elijah, thank you! I'll have a look at that on break! Hell yeah! It's a skull on a shame and evil- Wait, that's already a very difficult thing to draw. To be fair, Power, you haven't exactly gone in easy. That's a lot of things to think about. I think most of us would struggle with that. Oh, so quiet. I didn't even own the aesthetic at the time because I was sad about losing it. That's the thing is that like, I was really lucky when I had so I, I had very patchy hair for a while because I wasn't very well. So I'd had big, big chunks where my hair was not growing anymore. And so it was getting really difficult to style it around that. So I was really lucky at the time because I had a hairdresser who treated me like a normal human being, didn't just pity me and gave me like genuine advice of what I could do to make it look better. And I went in and, you know, with these, I, I was aware that I had big patches in my hair because I would tie it up like this and it would be pretty hidden but then as soon as you'd brush through it there were these big gaps a lot of my hair was falling out 
And so, yeah, we went in and I explained what I was having, what was going wrong and what's happening. And they were like, right, well, you, we can cut it down a little bit. Cause I had probably hair about this length at the time. And they were like, well, cut it down a little bit, see how you feel. But my personal advice is gonna be, you've still got hair on the top of your head. Let's shave the back and sides where it's, it's not there anymore. And, and work with that, but we'll take it in steps. We're not gonna chop it all off at once. And we're gonna see like when, how, if you're happy with it at a point, we'll stop. But we're gonna go down until you're happy. So they, they cut it to about shoulder length and it did give me options uh, about like what I could do with my hair. And then I was like, it's good, but I, I still have these massive patches. Like I still couldn't comfortably wear my hair down kind of thing. They were like, all right, what do you wanna do next? And I was like, do you want to just shave it? And they were like, I do want to just shave it, to be honest. <laughs> and so what they did was they shaved my back and sides and then they they put some color because there was already like some bleach on it. So they put some color on the bit in the middle and they were like, what color do you want to go? And I was like, I'm kind of quite happy with this. So they basically bleached it white. So I had my natural hair color kind of when it grew in a little bit eventually. It, it was shaved all here and all across the back. And when it did grow in, my natural hair color is nearly black. So I had like black and white hair and it was really fun. And I really liked it. And because I'd had that person talk me through the process and be very normal with me, um, I didn't feel unconfident about it. If anything, I left feeling like 10 times more confident than I came in because I came in feeling self-conscious about my hair falling out. And I left feeling like I didn't look sick anymore. And it was really nice. And they gave me lots of tips and tricks and I went to them for years. Unfortunately, we've moved quite far away, so it would be a real trek to get back there now, but oh my God. And they also, <clears throat> after the first time I went in, because I was still having, like I wasn't well for a while, so I was still having issues, right? The next time I went in, they offered, because the hair had already been styled, we didn't have to do all that again, uh, they were like, do you want me to like go at your hair and like try some styles? And I was like, yeah, they gave me a mohawk. They gave me a faux hawk. I had a massive quiff once. It was really, really fun. So every time I went in, they'd show me like a different thing that I could do, even with like the small amount of hair that I had at the time. And it, again, it just made me really confident. It made me feel really, really nice. I ended up being like in a stage where I would do my makeup really nice before I went to the hairdressers because I'd know I'd leave feeling really, really good about myself. And I, yeah, it was really, really nice. I. I can't tell you, unfortunately, what hairdress I went to without kind of doxing myself a little bit. But I, I finding a hairdresser that, that really vibes with you is such a wonderful experience. And I'm looking for someone that I vibe with that hard. Like, I don't have the same issues as I used to, thankfully. Uh, I'm much better than I was. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> finding someone that, you know, you only every now and again find someone you vibe that hard with. And I was so lucky to find them when I did. They was chill. You're gonna go back to yellow later this year and I'm very excited. I love that. It's like such a fun way of self-expressing yourself is like colorful hair and stuff like that. I would like it to be a bit shorter than it is now, I will say. A bit long for me at this point, but yeah. Did you watch Jungle Run? I did and it gave me anxiety. Oh my God, they're getting trapped in like tight underground places. Very scary. Uh, I didn't even know my own study at the time because I was so, yeah, it's difficult. You want to you be confident at the time and it's hard to build that up when you're going through big changes. Uh, I want so bad to look like a fruit salad color. Hell yeah, power. Um, oh dear. I hate when hairdressers give lots of judgmental shaming comments. Like surely they want clients to be like, yeah, I just don't understand that either. You have long hair for it. Good morning. Welcome on in. Undercut, nice. Uh, it feels nice having an undercut. Is that what it's called? Because I think it was just called back and sides shaved. Basically, I don't know if it was an undercut because I only had a tiny bit of hair on top. It was only like an inch or so long. Um, yeah, that was a good hairdresser. They were, they were great. They were really, really good. And I did walk out feeling badass. I hate, uh, when was the last time you went to hairdressers? Like they see you in their like a low maintenance style. So you want to cut in a few layers, like, ugh. I, I, I don't like people judging as well. Like when was the last time we went to a hairdressers? That's, uh, they're expensive. Listen, even for, like, especially women's hairdressers are expensive. And I'm not saying they don't deserve to get paid, but like, it's not something that people can afford every single month. So like, come on, <laughs> leave me be. Get your hairdressers just you'd uh, undercut with a victory roll. Yeah. <laughs> they made me feel so good every time I went in. Also, Blaffle, take care. Thank you for popping by. I really appreciate it. Buff Demon Princess this time. <gasps> Buff Demon Princess? Hell yeah, I'd love that. Make me look like a buff demon princess. That'd be amazing. Oh wait, no, that's what you got from the, from the, sorry. That's what you got from saying the princess. 
Oh, short back and sides. Yeah, it was like shaved back and sides with a teeny tiny like inch of hair on top. Like again, I, I didn't have a lot of hair at the time. Like I'd lost quite a bit. So we didn't have like, we didn't have a whole lot to work with. So, so it was like, it was shaved from about here all the way back and all the way around. And then I had about an inch of hair on top. There's a, a lot, yeah. Cause even the hair that I still had felt like it was not growing super well. Yeah, I don't know what you'd call that just like kind of fluffier than it should have been. Like it was growing, but not, not fantastic. Uh, I wish my hair wasn't so thin. I'd love to have an undercut. I mean, I had it when my hair was very, very thin, but then I guess I didn't know well, why I didn't have an undercut though. Is the thing I had it completely shaved except for the top bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> You got my preferred haircut when you shave your back and sides. I love that, I love that. I normally go twice a year. I haven't been for like two years, to be honest. But that's because I've been trying to grow my hair. <laughs> uh, but I should, I should. Soon I will, I will, I am considering it. Not before my haircut last April, I haven't had a haircut for over six years, yeah. It's like, it's been a couple years for me. I, uh, I, u I usually, uh, when I ask for my birthday, is like a haircut. Nice. Hairdresser expensive, but my barber isn't. And he has no problem with me not being a man. Nice. I like that. Damaged? Yeah. Maybe? I didn't damage it though, because I hadn't really dyed it that much or anything. It was just growing in fluffy. Like, I, I guess maybe damaged from the root, but it, it was growing in fluffy. It wasn't like becoming fluffy. It was growing in fluffy. Just really thin and like wispy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, there's probably a name. I'm not a hairdresser, so I have no idea. Good afternoon, Pi, good morning. I had caught an undercut too, fair enough. Uh, we always just called it back and sides because back and sides were shaved and then we we would see how the top was doing. Oh dear, I have a side undercut for my age. Oh, Eva cosplay in 2020 and I'm tempted to redo it, hell yeah. You, could have, you always say that, Grobbit, and I don't want that. Oh dear, no, no. First of all though, I want it blue. <laughs> I want it blue again. That's the, that's the one that I really want. I want it blue. I mi I miss it being colorful. I love having colorful hair. <laughs> Although actually, do I want it blue? Or do I I, I kind of want it turquoisey blue. That's the one I always like. Turquoisey bluish greenish color. That's fun. Oh dear. I love me an undercut and a side cut. Yeah. But you're a squib. You're a squid. <laughs> Not a squib as I'm sorry. <laughs> but but if I'm a squib, you're a squib. <laughs> My hair looks like uh, someone's playing Jumanji uh, and this furball spawned on my head. <laughs> CJ, good morning. Well, good morning. I kind of like the idea of that though. A little, little furball just spoof on the head. Ah oh, dear. Are you dying at blue for the wedding? I am, yeah. I will be cutting it shorter because again, it's tied up, but it's, it's growing a little long for me. So I'm going to be cutting it a little shorter, getting rid of all of the old and then blue. Blue. I'm very excited. Uh, it's the opposite of a mudblood, not magic people. Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, yeah. Wib. Nah. I, I, I don't really do anything with Harry Potter anymore because I'll be honest, Harry Potter makes a lot of people uncomfortable these days. Uh, for fair reasons. So I haven't really done anything with Harry Potter like for years at this point. Because like, why would I? If I know that the, even the conversation topic could make people uncomfortable or feel not welcome, I just don't bring it up at this point. I might just ask people to do the same. Don't bring it up. It's, it, it, it gives a lot of people bad vibes. And yeah, I get why. There, there's a thing as well. I, there are times where it's like, it gives me bad vibes. It's like, yeah, but it's a topic we talk about. But I'm like, in this case, I kind of get it. <laughs> I kind of get why it can give people bad vibes. Oh dear, yeah, we believe in, in trans rights here. Trans rights, and... <laughs> well, the thing is though, do we know anyone here who I can genuinely beef with about trans wrongs? Because I don't know who you don't know, because all the people in this community that are trans are really genuinely very nice people, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone who is trans in this community that's a bit of a butt. We don't have any trans butts in this community yet. What's that about, trans community? <laughs> Excuse me. We only have trans rights here. <laughs> like, we have, like, like people like Blapple, who, as soon as I see Blapple, I can be like, ew, it's a Blapple. Gross. Disgusting. Wow. But we don't have anyone from the trans community here who's been, like, an actual butt. So, 
Yeah, can just your butt be trans? I don't think so. <laughs> I think the movements always have weight and acceptable to talk about it with the right people, but the authors, I don't know. Yeah, but this is the thing, like, you can't really talk about it on a public platform like Twitch without also having to state your opinion about it every single time. And it's like, if that's going to be the case, because I've been pretty clear about my opinions on it, I'd rather just not talk about it. I'd rather just not talk about it, to be honest. I'd rather just not give that series any extra recognition on my channel. Why would I? <laughs> That, that's always been my take though, is I don't want to talk, like, if I don't want to give something more recognition, I just don't talk about it. It's just not, I'm just not interested in talking about it at all, honestly. Not even a small bit. Not even as a reference. Not even as a meme. I'm just not interested. Oh dear. You know? It's one of those. Also, we need more trans bats in this community, excuse me. Oh dear. I want to have, oh, a top knot. Ooh! Thing is, though, if you don't, yeah, that'd be... I don't have to oh it's tricky tricky you could always grow it into a top knot see how you feel and whack it off if you don't like it but it'd be interesting to try i've never had that either oh as a kid but now i've got zero you know i have no incentive to do so trans wrongs yeah all the trans people in this community are really nice which is great and all like thanks for being nice and chill but <laughs> where's someone i can have beef with <laughs> there's, there's no one trans wrong beef wait you're trans i'm just looking for beef honestly I'm looking to beef with community members. Like, I beef with Grubbit. I beef with, uh, I beef with, what do you call it, Blapple. Cthulhu a little bit. <laughs> beef. No platforming, heck yeah. Yeah, I completely understand, you. Yeah. Oh, dear, that was a, uh, train I was cutting off and not supporting, but my trans, uh, then my trans are playing the game and doing a super excited about it, so now I'm convicted on what to do. You have to make your own choices. That's the thing. I don't think anyone should be forcing a decision down your throat. Make your own choices about things, how you support or do support. I am in a very particular position because I'm on Twitch and I'm streaming and everything I say is recorded. The way that I might handle myself is a little different to the way that you would have to handle yourself in that kind of situation. Uh, personally though, because I appreciate and like the trans people in this community and I don't want them to feel ostracized I don't want them to feel you know that they can't be safe here it is something that I will just keep out of this community altogether there are trans people who still engage with with uh, Harry Potter and that's their own decision that's completely up to them and you can't force that on anyone whether they do or don't and I don't like the idea that you could like that's that's an individual choice but personally, as a streamer, someone who has a space that they are trying to curate in a very specific way, which is that we agree with trans rights, um, it just doesn't make sense to bring it up in this community. Because why would you? Like, and why would I, you know, as the person in this community, outside of like setting my boundaries like this, go into a long communication about it? It just doesn't make sense. Um, so yeah, personally, if I don't like something, I just don't talk about it on my stream because the more that you talk about it, the more you're giving a platform for it. And especially with topics like uh, Harry Potter is a good example because it, it has unfortunately negatively impacted so many people. It's just, even if there are trans people in this community that are fine with it, I'm not gonna ignore the voices that aren't fine with it. But again, the way that I conduct myself is as a Twitch streamer creating a space. It doesn't necessarily mean that that is exactly how anyone else here is going to handle it. And I don't want the way that I handle it to be the only way that you can approach it with and be good. <laughs> like, no, no. A lot of people do a lot of different things and I don't, yeah. That's, that's, that's the vibe. I will, you know, in the same way that when, for instance, the, the game came out, I said to <clears throat> the people in this community, if you're playing it, that's your decision. Don't bring it up in this community. I don't want to hear about it and I'll just be deleting it because those comments could make other people feel in danger. You know, I'm not going to push my thoughts down anyone else's throat. You, you, you can come in here and make your own choices but I will ask that we keep it out of my space, personally, because it makes people feel unsafe. You know? But not maybe everyone, but some people. Yeah, I think, I think that's a fair, fair space, a f fair way of saying it. I'm honestly surprised my brain put so many words together this morning. I've had too much sugar for these kind of deep philosophical conversations. <laughs> it's a joke, I'm too nice, how dare. Yeah, get out, wow, beef. <laughs> I made some beef skewers today. Nice. But that is beef. How dare you? Get out. <laughs> Anyone is welcome to enjoy Series 5. Got the public privacy. It's very, very different. Yeah, it's when you're on a public platform in a recorded setting, it's you, the way that you handle yourself is going to be different because it's important that you you make your statement quite clear. Yeah. Well, at least for me, it is. 
Uh, would you like to see those? Put them in the food channel. Make us all jealous. My hair is getting longer too and I like it. Also turns out I have a tight- Oh, you have a wave in your hair? Nice. Does that mean that your hair also not seasonally or it, it, no? My hair sometimes gets a wave if I've been bleaching it a lot. <laughs> not good. Not good hair stuff, but sometimes it does. But then it also knots a lot. But then it, that's maybe because of the bleach. That actually might not be because of the hair wave. I might have conflated the two things. This might be different. What beef can you and I have then? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh dear. That's their prerogative. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it's also like a res uh, I always believe no matter what you're boycotting or not, you should uh, you shouldn't tell people whether they should or they shouldn't. Exactly. I can explain why I'm not, but that's my decision at the end of the day. Uh, that being said, I'm still gonna ask people not to bring it in. Like outside of this conversation, which I am gonna be ending now, to be honest. Um, because it's not a fun conversation and, and you know, it, this is the start of my week. I want to have a nice beginning to the week But outside of this conversation, let's just not bring it up There's just no reason to if it makes people feel unsafe from this point onwards If you bring it up, I can only assume you're doing it on purpose to make people feel unsafe and I will remove you I don't care how long you've been here uh, th There you go a boundary's been set and we now do not go over that boundary unless you want to leave in which case fair enough <laughs> Okay, I can kick you out anytime uh, dear. I, if the, I am like I don't spot it. My friend wants to play a new game. Just do it. Yeah. Ah oh dear. I got beef out. Sweet you are. <laughs> Sweet beef. <laughs> Sweet beef. Good. Keep it out of my space. Yeah. Also keep it out of my space. That's also important. I don't need people not to be so nice to her. She needs. I do need people to be nasty to me. It's very important. As a resident of Bio Traffic, I appreciate it. Also, Lemony, welcome on in. How you doing? I hope you had a good weekend. Hell yeah. Ah oh dear. Or just whack it off. Is that what I said? Oh no, that's not the- No, no way! I feel like even I would have noticed if I'd said something clearly that innuendo-y. I would have noticed that, surely! And yay, a boundary! Oh no, boundaries! We've got two different okay. people here! Thank you for the DJ C- uh, so the, Yeah, for the DJ CJ! <laughs> you had to get rid of me, make sure not to get that the wrong way around. I do get knots easily, but I always wore braids, so I didn't notice it that much. That's fair. It doesn't matter if you're mid-typing up, the topic's over. Ah, oh, shifty! Bless you, thank you. Oh dear, my brain would be super scared smocking something that big. I think I got it wrong. I'm kind of at a place, Malice, where even if I have got it wrong, as long as I enjoy it. CJ, thank you for the 100 biddies. You didn't have to do that. It's very kind of you. I will continue to try and get it the right way around with CJ and DJ. It's so easy to say thanks for the CJ, DJ. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits so CJ, very much appreciated, it's very heckin' kind of you. Does anyone use MySpace anymore? There is someone! Yes, definitely. There's gotta be someone who's found a way to still use MySpace. Are you team pineapple on pizza or no pineapple people? I had a pineapple pizza last night. <laughs> no, no joke. For the first time in a very long time, but I did have one last night. You said to a top notch, just, oh, just whack it off. Oh, okay, okay. Under those and I think it's fine. Or does it go e e e e e? Maybe. Uh, oh, look who it is! Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people meet each other in the chat. If it, who, who like know each other from elsewhere, like either CJ streams or, or maybe someone else's stream. It makes me happy. Uh, Tom. Tom still uses my face. Yeah. God damn it, Tom. <laughs> still using my space. Oh dear, just my space, Tom. And the good thing about super detail text combat is so easy to hide the mistakes. Can you teach me those ways? Because I'm not finding it easy. Or maybe it's easy to hide the mistakes, but it's not easy to unsee them. I have made mistakes on a couple of them, and I I can't stop seeing them. <laughs> but I don't I don't know if that's maybe they're not obvious to other people, but they're very obvious to me. Oh dear. But you're probably right. In the grand scheme of the whole costume, I'm sure you wouldn't see it. Oh wait, maybe I shouldn't have said there were mistakes on the costume while I'm on Oh, that's fine. No way the judges have watched this specific stream. And if Amazonia happens to be a judge at the time, you know you didn't hear anything. There's definitely no mistakes on this costume and it's 100% perfect. <laughs> oh dear. I'm also team pineapple on pizza, so they can't, that can't be our beef. Yeah, I like pineapple on pizza. It's great when you haven't got people telling you it's bad. I think it's lovely. But yeah, no. <laughs> but then the thing is, if you want to hate on pineapple on pizza, that's fine. More pizza for me. <laughs> that just means I get a whole pizza to myself. That just means I don't have to share. That's why I'm on pineapple and peace. MySpace was awesome because you always had a friend, no matter how much of a loner or loser you were. Uh, I, th I think it was a weird place. It was a start. It's influenced a lot of things, but I think these days it's probably a little outdated, right? 
Oh dear, I love pineapple on pizza. Me too. A true pineapple pizza would just be pineapple on pizza, lol. That's why. But no, I did have a pineapple pizza. No, no, no. Do not underestimate me, for I don't really eat a lot of meat, which means when we go to the pizza counter, it is, yeah, can I have a Hawaiian without the ham? <laughs> do, do not underestimate me, for yeah, when I say I had a pineapple pizza, I mean I had a pineapple pizza. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of meat, so uh, yeah, if I had lots of meat on it, I probably wouldn't be able to finish the pizza, so I just have a pineapple pizza. Oh dear. There we go. Oh, da, 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 da. let me, let me, let me, I'm, I'm missing things. All your pizzas are valid. Hell yeah. I hope the week gets better for you. I hope so too. Hell yeah. Thomas validated the weird me that I'm friendly enough to have a friend. Hell yeah. I'll never be a, I will, I will not ever be a judge for MCM because they don't like me. I'm going to try and change their mind. I'm going to go in with the Amazonia, um, what do you call it? <laughs> what would I call myself? Amazonia Reconnection Group. Uh, when I go and get my cosplay judged, I'm just going to be like, Amazonia cosplay. Oh, do you know Amazonia cosplay? <laughs> That's going to be really annoying. <laughs> I won't do that. I don't want them to actually hate me. <laughs> I'm sorry I hate pizza. That's fair. It's a lot of bread. If you don't like bread, or cheese or tomato sauce i can understand that pizza being like not for you i think as well if you're someone because pizzas especially if you get takeaway pizzas depending on where you go they can be quite oily if you're someone who struggles with oily food as well i can see it not being for you there's a lot of reasons why people might not like pizza and you that's fine best pizza topping is just basil and i will die on this hill i would eat your pizza i would eat most people's pizza though i the problem is i'm just not a fi i'm not a really a picky eater if you give me a pizza slice i will eat it if there's meat on it i'll eat less not because i don't like the meat but because i'm just not used to eating as much meat anymore and it fills me up really quickly but i'll still eat it <laughs> all right let's catch up if you like cheese and pineapple then that's <laughs> <laughs> that's raw with pineapple pizza yeah i love cheese and pineapple and i love cooked pineapple so that i think that helps in half ages but i never saw you it's good bumping into you yeah the eight top eight friends really matter with my sociality oh god yeah that was a thing i forgot that was a thing oh my god i don't like burgers salad sunday din oh it's now sunday dinners i do like sunday dinners but that's fair fish and chips oh god <laughs> pineapple my favorite fruit i don't know why i've never tried it on pizza it's not as tart as if you have it because it's cooked oh, of course it's cooked it's on the pizza you probably knew that but because it's cooked it's it's like a lot sweeter so i think that's why they pair it with something like ham to try and tone down that sweetness a little bit but it's really good ah oh, dear my outspace is outdated which means the kids don't use it myspace is for us oldies let's go reclaiming myspace but also I would, and no other good judge would ever uh, judge using information learned from social media or streaming. You're only being judged on what is shown. Honestly, that's very, very fair. I, I think that's it's good that it's like that as well. Because, yeah, no, otherwise it almost feels like it would be a disadvantage to stream the process. And as someone who strongly believes that it's very fun to watch people make costumes on Twitch, uh, I'd be sad if people didn't want to do it because of that. Pizza gate. Pizza gate. Oh yeah, followers doesn't work. But if you if you click your name, like, I can click your name bumbling. It says you've been following since the 15th of May 2023, which means it's nearly been a whole year. Oh, it's nearly been a year. Why don't they like you? I know. We don't know, but we know that MCM's a butt for not liking them. They're just wrong. <laughs> They're actually just wrong. I love Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii, but I'd love to go. People can eat whatever they want. If you like pineapple pizza, which I do, then fine. If you don't like it, that's fine. I don't like overly spicy. And yeah, like, people will slate you for not being able to eat spicy food. But like, at the end of the day... <laughs> I I think it is just because I am a, a glutton for food, but the mo uh, the whole thing is, if somebody else doesn't like the, the same food as you like, that's perfect, because you know what that means? More food for you. <laughs> the more people that don't like your, your uh, you know, either obscure tastes in food, or like, even if it's like really popular, if you're the only one that likes it, that's perfect, because you know what that means? It means you get the whole thing to yourself and you don't have to share, so... <laughs> If anything, it's best better to like those kind of things because then you get more food. There's bad blood between me and someone who's good friends with a cosplay team. Nah, nah. One of those. One of those. I like gammon and pineapple too. I do like gammon. It just fills me up really quickly, but it is nice. 
Gammon and eggs is really nice, but it also fills me up quickly. I can understand hating pizza if you're lactose intolerant. Vegan cheese is vile. Uh, most of the time, if they use vegan cheese on pizzas, it isn't the best. There are places that do, like we don't live near them anymore, unfortunately, but there was a place we used to go to back in the day that did a really good vegan cheese on a pizza and it, it was fantastic. Like it was really, really good. And it was popular because, you know, it was really good. But like, if you go to like Domino's or a lot of other places, they use the really cheap stuff and it's, I get why they use it, but it's just not the same. Ah, oh, dear. Jelly, can I trade you with the lack of being picky? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I am, I am very, very not picky. I just, I like food. I'm hungry. Feed. I'm not a picky eater. I just struggle health wise with salty carbs. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like a lot of people, it's a lot of bread and it's a lot of oil. And if you struggle with that sort of stuff, it could make you like get a lot of heartburn, feel quite ill. Uh, what are we calling our Twitch baby? You know, Sephiroth. Yeah, I can't say Sephiroth properly because of a uh, lisp, but I think Sephiroth is a very good strong name for a baby uh sephiroth yeah it'll be sephiroth when they are born <laughs> but said properly <laughs> i'll never be able to say my child's name <laughs> oh dear yes yes uh i like diabetes and they're great for vegans yeah there are some good ones around you just have to have somewhere close by that does it popular because it was edible well yeah that was the whole thing though yuki like genuinely popular because it tasted like a regular pizza like <laughs> The bar is low. I think I am lactose intolerant. I've been a little off dairy recently. There's an easy one to check if you want to give yourself a really rough day. Eat a lot of cheese. Make yourself a proper mac and cheese and something and then see if you're stuck in the toilet all day. And if you are, uh, <laughs> I might have some news for you. <laughs> oh dear. Just make sure you pick a day where you have like a couple days in a row to recover from it because, oh. <laughs> How's it bad? Good morning, welcome on in. I hope you're doing Hi, thank you for the horn. Ah, oh, I can't tell because we eat a lot of dairy recently. Yeah, I'm not allowed pizza, but it's also my favorite food. Oh, damn. How dare. Why are you folding the fabric? Uh, how are you folding the fabric of the pocket? As if it's a side of the square to one other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like two sides of the square and I'm just pinching them together and putting a little stitch and it just neatens the edge up nicely. Uh, I won't, you know, at this stage, you don't really notice what it's doing for the rest of it, but for the longevity, and at the end, I would have had to do this anyway. I'm just taking the like one corner of a square, moving it across, pinching it next to the other one, and sewing them together. Yeah. How do you even top the Sephiroth? Sephiroth. <laughs> Sef I'm trying. Sef probably, honestly, how Grobet typed it is how I'm saying it. I, I also can't say my own name properly. It's cool. It happens. But all these are frozen pizza, and you're making mac and cheese later. I love mac and cheese. So good. Thanks for entertaining me. Uh, I'm finally a mum. It's to Sephiroth. <coughs> Hell yeah. Oh, this. <laughs> oh, dear. Sephiroth. Oh, am I meant to be so together? I can't tell. I think it's fine. It looks really messy on this side right now. This is very much a trust in the process kind of thing. Because for now, it's going to look really messy until we start going back and neatening it. But I don't really feel the need to go back and neaten it until we've like at least got the the first bit in. So for now, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's gonna look really neat. Did anyone teach you fucking YouTube? Yeah, YouTube teaches me everything. Everything I've learned, I have learned from either another Twitch streamer or YouTube, like exclusively. I've never had any formal training. Also, the time has hit zero, which means it's time for a Discord art share. But you know, I've never. I've never had any formal training in sewing, not even an, an iota of formal training, which means everything I've ever learned of sewing, ever, 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 is YouTube, uh, or Twitch. <laughs> yeah, it's why I don't know the names of half the things I do, though. It's because I just learned from them, so I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> have you seen Harry Potter? I have seen Harry Potter. Yep, 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 yep. I, I don't always use their tutorials, but sometimes I look at them just for inspiration and such as well. It's fine, Jenny. We're in front of your speech impediment. Oi! <laughs> I also... None of us can pronounce Sephiroth. <laughs> we can call him Se Yeah, Squish. Are they AFAB or AM? AMAB? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Sephiroth, I feel like, transcends gender, to be honest. <laughs> Out of all the people that could transcend gender, I feel like Sephiroth 
uh, transcends gender. Transcends gender, God help. I wish that we were picking easier words. I wish I was picking easier words to say. Ah, oh, dear. Sephiroth is fine. Joys are so thorough. I love them too. Uh, Sephiroth is what it sounds like to me. Yeah, honestly, Sephiroth is about right. All right. It is time for some stretches for some catching up. We've only got a couple things to go over this time, so it should be a little quicker. And we will start where we actually left off last time, which was in the 3D- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> Don't worry about it, you didn't see anything. <laughs> we will start where we left off, which is in 3D modeling, where we have some very, very fancy shoes. I love them. I love the lights on them. Very good. Good. Love it. Very nice. I actually would love to have some pumps like this. Pumps often have less detail on them. I wouldn't mind having some little pumps like this with some little neon lights on them. I'd kind of love that, honestly. And then the Hades <gasps> semi cosplay model. Ooh, yeah, because you've kind of like made the cosplay for the 3D model, right? Hell yeah, that's just some text. Sure does go here. <laughs> that's really hecking cool. Really hecking cool. Can I drop stuff? You can drop stuff wherever you like. We're doing a little Discord. You have like only a couple minutes, I will say. But if you could get it in in the next couple minutes, then we can absolutely have a look. All right, I think it's beef skewer time. Beef. Yeah, see, we, since we all have beef, someone has very kindly, I think it's Yuri, has very kindly shown us their beef. So, <laughs> so now we all have beef. Unless you're halal, in which case, don't worry about it. Or doing Ramadan, in which case, don't worry about it. You don't need to have the beef. Well, we'll take that. Uh, can I share? Yes, you can share a buff princess. I can't show it on stream if yeah, because of spoilers, but you can share it and I can look at it after stream. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for your beef. I very much appreciate it. We always appreciate good beef here. It's pineapple in the sauce. Delicious. Oh, I think I see. I think I see CJ. Oh, I can't. Unfortunately, CJ, I can't. If I click this, it will just... Uh, it, you won't be able to see it. So you can see it from this picture, but I can't, I can't click it without it because it's not technically in Discord, but anyone can go into 3D modeling and they can click it and they can go see it. And I can do the same, but I just can't do it on here because it will freeze my Discord. It freeze my overlay. There we go. We'll do it like this. Oh dear. Because this is, a, I was going to say, it's just a whole video and it is a whole video. Oh my God, CJ. That's so good. Jesus, that's good. Oh, how long did this take you? Sorry, I'm I'm like skip. I want to see the scale of this because it's huge. It's if for anyone who's not clicked the link in the 3D modeling channel, big. This is is real. Oh, I should probably mute it in case of copyright. But um, oh my god, no, stay muted. God, that's huge. Oh my god, I hope you're I hope you're really proud of that. That's that's ridiculous. Oh the music is gonna be Oh bless you, thank you, thank you for considering us. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm always afraid when I hear music, so I'm like, oh, oh dear. They can have it after sunset. <laughs> Alright, let's let's nip back in again. There we go, we're back, we're back. Alright, we got more things to look at. We have the progress so far. Mess up too much. Did you? I was gonna say, if you have messed up, that looks so good. The skin shading looks fantastic, Zomboti. Again, for, for only just getting Copic markers for the first time, this is incredibly impressive. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be, it's impressive anyway. I guess that's what I mean. It's like, this is just, just actually really impressive. Uh, so the models are pre-owned. The music is copyright free for people. I see, got you, got you. You're gonna go have a look, gonna have a little sneaky look, sneaky peek. Oh, I love that. I love this too. It's really hecking good. Apparently they messed up some bits, but I don't see, I don't see any mess ups. This looks perfect to me. It's in the eye of the artist, I guess. All right, we've got, oh my God, a deadly seed. Ugh, hemlock, deadly seed. Oh my God. I love this. This is so good. It's that's so good. Anyone, any like a gift for a, a tabletop RPG friend whose name is Hemlock. Oh my god, what a lovely hacking gift. I can't imagine any person who plays tabletop RPGs not loving something like this. It is so cute. It's so hacking nice. Oh my god. And it's so very like the embroidery itself is also absolutely lovely. Like really, really neat. Really nice. Oh, hacking, hacking. Uh, but uh, uh, heart. 
I want the heart as well. I've seen those patterns attempted to get them. They're really pretty. Are they are. They are. Well, there you go. There's your, your maybe you should. If you needed like a smaller cross stitch uh, than what you're currently working on. <laughs> like a little intermittent piece. This is hecking lovely. And then I can see we've got a, the gaming one I will jump over. Don't worry, sleep. I will have a look at it off stream, but I will keep off it for now. And then we've got my most recent make it. It's progress, but it's only a couple of weeks till the next stage. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Is it work in progress? Are you growing something? Wait, Schlieves, what is this? Is- is- seeds? Oh, okay, so something is growing in that? Oh, That's so cool! <laughs> that's- that's so cool! Oh my god, lots of veg! Oh, oh my god, good luck! I hope they all grow really nice and strong and really big and really cool. Oh dear, also we have- wait, was this a really bad noise? What did I- what did I do? Can you not make this noise? <laughs> Wait, can other humans not make this noise? <laughs> I'm pretty... I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make this noise for all. <laughs> oh no. Thank you so much. Alright, what I'm going to do is... Uh, we're just going to... We'll, we'll, we'll whack you on this one. And we'll have a little... And I'm just going to do a couple of stretches really quickly. So I've just taken off my headset. And I'm going to do my first sets. Uh, for anyone who, who missed it, we are doing little exercises within sewing uh, because we've had some shoulder injuries and the basically the long-term cure for the shoulder injuries is just to get stronger shoulders. So we're doing some sets every time we go on break so that we basically over time slowly but surely in like a safe and like careful way uh, increase the shoulder strength so that I'm not like injuring myself anymore. So yee! That's part of the reason we do the Discord art share on the hour because I'm already taking a break. It means I'm more likely to actually do my stretches because <laughs> otherwise I just don't do them. Ugh, there we go. It just means you have me doing like workout grunts, but you can't see what I'm doing. It's a secret. Well, it's not really a secret. It's just so people don't clip me doing workout. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. It does mean as well for anyone who wants to post in the Discord, you probably have like a minute now if you want to share anything and then we'll do like another hour of craft. Hell yeah. Hell yeah to getting buff or just being healthy in general, yeah. It's like honestly I'm not against the idea of being really really buff. I've just never really had the time to put into working out and doing all that kind of stuff. So while I'm not against the idea, I didn't think that that would be something I would ever do. And then when I went to physio and they were like, yeah, you need to start working out your upper body if you want to keep doing that level of embroidery and sewing. I was like, okay, so this is, it was the push that I needed. So I don't think I'm going to be super buff, but I could be buffer, a buffer person. Okay, that was my record 10 done. We'll do another one in one hour. Nice. That one does get me poofed out though. It does get me poofed out. Oh wait, I have, I can see a post has appeared right underneath this. I started to add other colors and gradient for the red. Oh, I love the coral. Curious open is growing and it'll eventually be on a bodice. I love this. I love the texture. I love like how big it gets. I, I just, I just love it. It's not constructive feedback. It just looks really, really good. And I really, really love it. I mean, I guess if you were doing like coral under the sea, I, the only feedback I could really think of was like maybe you could add some some little beads in there that even match the coral or maybe even don't match it so they look like little bubbles that have got stuck because you know when something's under the ground it's got little bubbles stuck around it like you could have little bubbles stuck on it but only if you had some beads that would uh, that would match it for instance I don't think you need to because I think it looks great as it is <laughs> but if you wanted to oh very hecky pretty oh my god Oh, I, lo I love the texture you get into pieces. It's so good. It's so good. Hell yeah. I love it. I love it. All right, we need to put some, some heckin' hype. Some little... Is there a coral emote? Is that an emote that we have? Uh, how do you spell coral? Coral. Oh, there is a coral emote. Perfect. There we go. All right, I think... I think that's everything. I think we did it. Which means... Reset. Time to go for another- actually wait 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 I want to nip to the loo first. 
Wait, I'm gonna leave you guys looking at the coral for a sec. I'm just gonna take a very quick loo break. If anyone else wants to give any feedback, actually, wait, 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 go on to this one. There you go. If anyone wants to give any feedback, they can. I'm going to quickly nip to the loo. I'll be back in two secs. Sorry about that. I am back. I am back. Just nip, quick toilet break. All right, let me catch up on chat. Thank you so much for bearing with. Also, did my music... Oh, no, I was going to say, did my music give up as well? <laughs> oh, sorry, but I just left you in silence. Oh, dear. Uh, I went for a weight training kick a bit ago to try and beat my sister in arm wrestling. I remember that I hated weightlifting. Yeah, I have weights, but they're the really, really light ones. I have one kilogram and two kilogram downstairs, uh, which you're just meant to do it to, like, push your shoulders into a position with a bit of weight behind it. So it's not like it's building up a lot of muscle for me, but it's building up the strength in my back, hopefully, which is, again, more what the physiotherapist recommended to me personally. So yeah, that, that's what we did. Just did a hundred dumbbell lifts too, watching the stream. Oh my God. Heckin' impressive though. Very impressive. Left side is green and the right side is planned red. And oh, it's a good idea. Eventually blue sand stitch will cover the messy stitches, but the bubble idea is great. I just, I love little, I'm very, I like beads so, so I'm very biased, but like little bubbles. And Saki, good morning, welcome on in. I was actually showing off your, uh, your writing work earlier from the Discord because we all thought it was really, really nice. All right, we have just done a Discord art share, so we're doing our next one in, a, in an hour. Um, but yeah, no, we, we were looking at that early because we thought it was really lovely. Uh, since when did Stardew Valley- I know, right? They've got like a lot of different genres in the Stardew Valley OSD. And some very epic music- oh, did you? <laughs> Sorry. But Stardew- yeah, it has like a bit of a range. Only five kilogram ones, and some days are like, blah the effort. We have five kilogram ones downstairs, but we would- I would- like, at least I was told, don't do those ones yet. Like, if you get stronger, sure, but for now, one or two kilogram is all you get. So I'm- I'm only doing one or two. Yep. Yep. Stardew Valley music is so good. It is! It's really, really good. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Apparently I, I had some, some demons left in there. <laughs> it's alright. They're out now. They're gone. No more demons. Yes. Uh, no, the, the Stardew Valley OST has a lot of, different, uh, lot of different genres in it, but I like it a lot. I also just really like Stardew. I know Stardew had an update, and the but the only thing I saw on Twitter from the update was like a little snippet of it where it says you can now drink mayonnaise, which is on its own vibe kind of cursed. I mean, fair enough. Listen, you want to drink mayonnaise, you go ahead. But the only thing I know about the new Stardew update is that you can now drink mayonnaise. I don't know anything else about it. So going in as far as i'm concerned all this update hype has all been about drinking mayonnaise because like i haven't seen anything else no nothing that i've seen has said anything otherwise so i guess it's just the mayonnaise update sips on mayo in one glass that's what a possessed person would say yeah, me 
No, I've never been possessed. Never. Never in my whole heckin' life have I ever been possessed. And, I, and I'm not gonna start now. No. Then again, I guess, how would you know that you were possessed? Would you know? Would you know if, if you've been possessed by a ghost? Do you think you'd know about it? Or do you think... Do you think other people would notice, but you personally wouldn't notice? Or do you think they'd take the whole brain? Because I guess if they took the whole brain, you'd probably notice. I don't think I'd notice, to be honest. Then again, I've never been possessed, so... <laughs> I don't think I'd notice very quickly. I guess it depends. If I was possessed by someone who hated sewing, maybe I'd feel like, hmm, you know, this is definitely a little differently to how I normally feel. Maybe something's changed. But like, you know... Otherwise, I just, I don't know. The foul looks lovely, thank you. It is very much in the early stages of smocking, so right now it looks a little bit messy, but it will eventually be the same. It's the same technique that makes this. So like, I mean, I'll just leave that. <laughs> in a, trust the process on the side so that if I need to be like, don't worry, eventually it's gonna look like this. It's just the early stages. It's very much like you just have to like, trust it. Don't worry, it's gonna look great in the end. But uh. It just takes a while and we have a lot to do here like i we i will say have i been a little distracted today no definitely not but maybe a little bit um we've been going for a couple of hours and we have done a little bit we might not finish all the base smocking today today i can't i'm not gonna go longer than six hours six hours is kind of the time limit today which means we have four more hours so that's fine but uh tomorrow I should be able to go a little longer if I want to, and I'm not against going a little longer if it means getting things done. So we might do a little bit of a- it depends how I'm feeling, of course. If I wake up feeling like butt, then I, I won't, but if I don't wake up feeling like butt, I might maybe plan to go a little longer tomorrow and just get like a lot of stuff done. Because we have two sides to the front of the jacket and the back of the jacket to do, so like there is like enough of a chunk of things that I would like to get done that I'm kind of happy just to whiz through it because I'd rather this bit not take too much longer than a week since I kind of forgot that it was a thing in the first place. The other thing I might do is like off stream, uh, I might just, you know, chip away at it a little bit in the evening. Honestly, smoking, I, I know <laughs> I'm very biased and I do say it a lot, but it is so relaxing. It's such a relaxing little thing to do where you don't have to think about it too hard. Once you've got the grid drawn, you're just following the grid. So it's not that hard. You don't even have to stare at it for very long. Like you could do other things at the same time. So I might, uh, I might maybe do a little bit of it off stream as well. See, it's just like get through it. it. Looks like a little scrunchy right now, but it's gonna transform. Yeah, it is in its scrunchy mode right now. But eventually, it will, it will evolve like a beautiful butterfly, <laughs> and not be a little scrunchy anymore. But for now, it is. It is full scrunchy. It kind of reminds me like this process and like you're scrunching it all up. You know when people do, oh, what's it called? Tie dye. And they like tying the fabric in lots of different ways. It kind of reminds me of that kind of vibe where you're like, if you're prepping tie dye, that you're like just moving it in lots of ways and it looks really weird and scrunchy and then you start squirting colors on it. It's like, ah. But then after a minute, after you, like when you unfurl it, it's like, oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, Seuss, sorry. <laughs> Uh, apologies. I said like you can multitask doing this, but then I genuinely just forget. Uh, <laughs> there are other things I can do. Seuss, how was your stream? And what did you get up to today? And Sunkoi, good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Let me get let me get your shout outs in. Let me get those all in. How is your makers and crafting going? How was your stream? I hope you had a really good one for anyone who hasn't met Seuss before. They are a long time maker and crafter streamer. A very hecking sweet bean. If you haven't checked them out before and you're interested in makers and crafters, you should definitely give them a look in. How was your stream, Mars Bandit? Good morning. Welcome on in. Oh heck, I missed the chaos of tie-dye. Yeah, when you're like tying lots of little bands and strings around it, it looks like an absolute mess. And then at the end you unfurl it and it's beautiful. That's kind of smocking-ish. <laughs> oh dear. Hi, Seuss, welcome on in. And Temporary, welcome on in. Do you see yourself ever doing some patchwork? Surely you have plenty of scraps. I wanna do a crazy quilt one day. You stitch random scraps together and add decorative embroidery. I am not against it, but it, for some reason, it's never been one that I've been drawn towards was quilting and patchwork and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know why. I'm not sure because like, I get what you mean. Like, yeah, I have everything I could possibly need to want, like if I wanted to do that. But I don't know, it just never, it never really, I, I just never did it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how, to, it's one of those ones where I'm like, I'm not sure why I've never done it, but I just never have. But I'm not against it at all, to be honest. 
not, not, a, not even a small bit against it. I just need a project that makes me want to go and do it, you know? I, ne I haven't found the project for me yet. It was lovely. Did some macrame jewelry today. Oh, heck and lovely. Patchwork came a blanket that holds so many memories. <gasps> Have you seen? Uh, well, to be fair, it's not a it's not a memory one, but I don't know, Sack, if you've seen. Uh, sorry, I, I will break my oath just very quickly to show this because I think it explains a lot. Um, the, 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 the quilting thing, the quilting cape, cape that uh, Cthulhu is making. They're making like, it's meant to look like snow. So they're making lots of snowflakes and they're sewing it all in together. And they've got these little sparkly bits in there as well. So like when you see it on camera, it kind of shines and it's just beautiful, beautiful. And they're making a whole cape. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really, really cool. I'm, okay, I will stop breaking my rules now. I'm <laughs> breaking my own rules. Terrible, it's terrible. But yes, it's important. Oh dear. Uh, how's the project? Blue, welcome on in. Yeah, I should actually introduce what's going on here, but shouldn't I? My bad. So, hello, hi, and welcome. My name is Jelly. I'm a cosplay creator based in the UK, but I have a specific interest in sewing, embroidering, and sequining, and beading, and all that kind of good stuff, which means we tend to even make embroideries or cosplays. For this month, we made the dinosaurs embroidery, so here's our monthly embroidery done. Uh, but we also make cosplays and when we make cosplays we have a really big focus on bead sequins and hand stitching So this is what what we're making right now will eventually look like this So it's a, we're very much early stages where we're saying trust in the process It's a technique called smocking which is basically tying and bunching fabric to make really pretty patterns In this case we're making this kind of like checkered pattern with bows and then we add sequins and embroidery and edging So it looks really nice and finished and um, these take a very long time to make and we are working on a really big piece the biggest piece I've worked on so far. So at the moment it looks like a little scrunchy, but eventually when you go back and neaten it and add extra bits, it ends up looking really, really pretty and really, really neat. But it is very much a trust the process piece. And for cosplays that we've made previously, uh, here is Mateus, which we've debuted at TwitchCon, which was also a cosplay focusing mostly on beading, sequining, embroidery. On this particular cosplay, all of the gold that you see on it is beaded, sequined, and embroidered gold. So it is, <laughs> it was a labor of love. It had 160,000 beads, 20,000 sequins, and about 2,000 hours of work, which we did live on Twitch and then debuted at TwitchCon. <laughs> but no, it was a really, really big project. But this is kind of what we thrive on here. Massive, massive project that we can just chip away at for a few years and such. And in this case, that case, it was just one year, but this one's going to be several years. And yeah, just like enjoy the process. We have a nice time enjoying the process. Welcome on in. I hope everyone is doing well. And yes, Zeus, go look after yourself. You're all good. Get some good Z's, get some good feet. Uh, feeds? Not feeds. Feeds. And yes, thank you so much again for the raid. And thank you, Blue, for the follow. It's very heckin' kind of you. I love my YouTube. Hell yeah! Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, Mag Maggie is hiding out on YouTube. Thank you so much for liking on YouTube as well. And Kasume, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Thank you for shouting out Cthulhu. Yeah, Cthulhu's been making a mega, a mega cape. If you're someone who's interested in quilting and and cosplay as well cosplay and quilting this is a nice thing about cosplay right though whatever skills you have before whatever artistic skills you can take them and use them in cosplay because it's such an amalgamation of stuff and yeah cthulhu someone who is very very talented at quilting is using their quilting knowledge to make sewing it into a cosplay which is really really cool oh dear gotta run no you're good it was top tier shiny thank you i was very sparkly yeah, Sun Koi also debuted a cosplay at twitchcon amsterdam which was very heckin' cool to see uh, very cool, thank you. How many hours did that take you? So Mateus was about 2,000 hours, which we did over a year. Um, it was it was a lot of hours, but it's not... How to put it? It doesn't really... So Mateus was huge for me at the time, but it doesn't really touch on this cosplay because uh, anymore. Mateus was the biggest thing we made up to this point, but if I find a finished piece in here, which is going to be difficult because I've mushed everything together, you're screaming in me. You're screaming at me. Who was that? <gasps> Maggie, thank you for the bit. Ah, oh, dear. And thank you for screaming at me. So, um, this piece of smocking took 25 hours because it's the biggest one on this side. There are nine in different sizes per side and we've already done that. And this is just for the shoulder. This is just the shoulder piece. Has nine per side, which go between 15 and 25 hours. So even if we average that in the middle at 20 hours a piece, that is 180 hours on one shoulder. And it is 360 hours for both shoulders. Just the shoulders of this cosplay took 360 hours. 
just the top part of the shoulder as well, not including the second bit, just the top bit. So when we're looking at hours going into a cosplay, Mateus was 2000 hours for the whole cosplay. This is 360 hours just for shoulders, <laughs> which means we could very easily spend like, I'm gonna say on the arms and jacket alone, maybe like a thousand hours just for the jacket, not including the top, the trousers, the mask, the headpiece, the shoes, the backpack, the props. Uh, so yeah, Mateus was a really, really big costume for us at the time, but I, I have my sights bigger and that is what we're currently working on. We will not finish this cosplay this year. We might not finish this cosplay next year, but it, I will finish it. And I'm, I really enjoyed working on it. That's the thing. I think if you're working on a cosplay for like years, it has to be one that you really, really enjoy or it's just gonna be a pain in the ass every time you come back to it and you're gonna get a lot of resentment towards it. So this is a costume that is going to take me years, but I am loving every step of it so far. And I've just, you know, it's a redesign of the collector from the Owl House. So I've redesigned it in a way that I can enjoy every single step of it and have a good time from start to finish. So yeah, it's it's really, really nice. I'm having a really good time. Uh, did thank you for lurking on the YouTube sleeves. I see you there. And Taffy, good morning. How much mayo did you have to drink to make that? <sighs> well, I've only been allowed to drink mayo since a few days ago, so I'm pretty new into mayo drinking. Uh, you might have to ask me again at the end of the cosplay when, I, when I've been allowed to drink mayo for longer. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, insanely beautiful though. Thank you, Saki. Yeah, no, it's a slow labor of love. I have an odd evening. This is uh, for an odd feeling that this is going to be my most used to vote in your stream. Just like, why? Just over 41 solid days. <laughs> We started this costume about this time last year, by the way, and we haven't finished a single piece and I have been working at it. <laughs> I promise I've been working on it. It's just slow. It's just very slow, but I love it and I'm having such a nice time. So I almost don't want it to finish. Mayo drinking egg creams coming back. It's because you're allowed to drink mayo in Stardew Valley now. They've, they've changed their, their rules. You can now drink mayo. It's very important. Thank you for the hydrate. Drink mayo? Yeah, delicious. I'm so hyped about this cosplay, it's gonna be so cool. Also, where is the big smocking going? It's uh I made the remade the pattern piece. It's this. God, where sorry, it's really hard to do it in like a mirrored version, but it's this piece. So it's the top piece of the jacket which the sleeves go into. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like like so, like so. So we have it on both sides, of course, for that side and that side. And then there's a back piece as well that we'll also need. But that one's got a big emblem in the middle. So there's only a little bit of smocking around the edge, whereas the front pieces are a bit more coverage, I guess. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's this and this in different colors. Uh, so the opposite, so my left arm is dark, purple and the right side is dark purple the left side is light purple and the left uh, the right arm is light purple so it's like opposites yeah uh, and yeah this this whole shape on the back is just a really blown up version of that <laughs> it's a much bigger version of that pattern yeah Ah, oh, the panda, good morning, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Oh my God, even void mayo? I don't know actually, but I'm gonna assume yes. I make a lot of cosplays with lay cuff attachment or buckles, etc., so that they're adjustable, yeah. Very hacking smart, to be honest. Finally, I can finish off the condiments when I have no one for food, yeah. Ah, oh, I go into where? I go into here, here, like here, this bit. Wouldn't want you fainting in a cave and having a random stranger rifling for your pockets for loose change. Mayo keeps you safe. Exactly. We trust in Mayo. I also like Mayo because Elliot is my Stardew Valley husband and I, I love Elliot and it, I am head over heels for Elliot. Elliot is my only video game husband and I love them so much and I'm so attached to them and Elliot likes Mayo. So <laughs> my go-to for Stardew Valley is just to try and get chickens as soon as possible so I can start making Mayo so I can start giving it to Elliot so that Elliot will move in with me. <laughs> And that, that's how you flirt, I'm pretty sure. You just give them jars of mayonnaise until they move in with you. <laughs> Does Elliot like mayo? Elliot likes mayo, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Blesses in mayo, oh yeah. Elliot likes mayonnaise. He'll be very, he'll very be very chuffed. Drop the follow. Yeah, Amazonia is a really, really talented cosplayer and they don't stream right now, but they're planning to start streaming in May, I believe it was, when they're back in the country again. And they are not only the world champion of cosplay, they have been the world champion of cosplay, one of the best cosplayers in the world, just to make that really clear. Um, but they also show a lot of their, their styles and techniques on stream, which means you can actively watch people who are who are very, very, you know, how to put it, they're cemented in the world of cosplay. You can watch them make 
stuff and it's it's very it's very inspiring it's very easy to go chill and watch and be inspired for your own work whether that's cosplay or just general decorative work it's very hecking good very hecking good uh, I did cross stitch, but recently I had a sewing lesson. Got to feed himself sweet three white sauce to get the right. No, I didn't say it like that. But you know, oh, I like I like the heck in cross stitch. I hope you're having a good time with it. I do like a little embroidery every month, and it's just nice. It's just nice and relaxing. Elliot is top tier. I give him duck feathers. Hell yeah, he deserves them as well. Or in my case, as a penny lover, I just give her artifacts that I have no use for. That's a good one as well. Like once you've already filled in most of the uh, the museum, just giving them to Penny. Honestly, smart. <laughs> you know. Yeah, end of next month, early May, I'll be going back into Steam, which is very hecking exciting. It's nice that you've got all of your names on your socials before that as well. It's good hecking timing. Just as you're about to come back and like start doing more cosplay stuff. Really cool. Yeah, Amazonia is going to be working on a really big costume, I believe. I do cor correct me if I'm wrong at any point, because uh, I might be talking out my ass. But they're going to be working on a really big costume on stream, which I believe is going to be another competition piece. However, it focuses a lot more on cosplay armor, um, as well as, of course, having decoration. It's not like I think it's just armor, but yeah, there's going to be more armor on it than their previous pieces. And they've got this beautiful paint that they're planning to use, and it's it's so pretty. It's all just so pretty and aesthetically pleasing. And I think you'll all really like it there. Yeah. And Sun Koi as well. I know we had Sun Koi pop by. Sun Koi also making a... Well, Sun Koi is another one of our, our mad crafters at the moment, though, I'm afraid. Sorry, Sun Koi. You've been, you've been put into a little a mad crafter box. Because Sun Koi is also planning to enter Crown Champs this year with wings that move, potentially. Electrify... Uh, electronic wings um and also like a whole cosplay and also like a whole cosplay not just wings obviously but like a whole cosplay that goes with it the 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 qualifier is like how many months like 10 months away <laughs> so yeah yeah they've been added into our pile of mad crafters for the year mm-hmm mm-hmm <laughs> like yeah i miss the cool of the forge <laughs> Uh, it's a very large costume for a big competition big armor but it's got people also embroidered yeah like a little other bits and bobs as well a multi, a multi-talented piece. It is true that you are mad. Yes, they are both mad. Sleeves is also mad. Sleeves is planning to make their first cosplay, and they were like, "I'm gonna do something simple. I'm gonna do a small cosplay." And they're like, "What are you making? Like a corseted coat thing?" <laughs> simple, small, you know, built-in corsets. Nothing, nothing that intense. Yeah, for sure. Easy, <laughs> easy first cosplay. Uh, for anyone who's not picking up on it, I'm being very sarcastic. <laughs> but Sleeves already knows this. <laughs> oh dear, very sarcastic. Also, we got like a nice square pan. These will all disappear eventually because I'm going to be pushing it through. I'm going to be like moving stuff around. But we got we got a really nice square pan just appearing on this side, which is actually really nice because it kind of matches the pattern here where the squares should be. Except it's like double the amount of squares. But you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Shush, you can't make me. <laughs> you can't make me. I'm just a silly little VTuber. I found myself crowded by incredible craft people. Honestly, it's how I feel every day. I just come in here, make my silly little dinosaurs, or my silly little little crafting bits, and everyone's like, and I shall become the world champion. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everyone's so talented. Uh, do you need to make all the electrodes protect yourself? You don't always need to, but it is extra marks if you do. So, like, I guess the way that you could think of it is, like, there are some cosplay competitions where there is, like, a minimum amount that you have to have made yourself, but generally the more things that you do yourself, the more things you can list that you've done yourself, the more points you're gonna get. And the more points you get, the more prizes you get, hopefully. So, you're wanting to rack up as many points as possible with as many different techniques executed to a high level, if possible, as possible. So, yeah. You want more points than you do more. If you want less points than you do less. I guess it's kind of but also trying to do stuff that you feel like you can show and showcase really well like you know if you're not confident in electronics and you're making something that doesn't work then you're, you're just wasting your time where you're not going to get any extra points for something that doesn't work anyway kind of thing so yeah uh, planning lots of cosplay planning what you want to do for a competition i think yeah it depends on the contest some have higher requirements for what you have made than others yeah you don't have to uh, be mad to be a crafter it's not the law or anything it's just yeah it's just how it ends up you know 
Uh, Arduino is very popular these days, which takes out a lot of effort when it comes to electronics. I have heard of Arduino, yes. I have a couple of books downstairs for putting electronics into cosplay. I've just never had a cosplay where like I've wanted to put electronics into it, but I have the books that I can read that I could learn how to do it. I just, it, I don't know. It just hasn't happened yet. Thank you for shouting out Cthulhu again. I do appreciate it. All the room, all mad here kind of vibes. Yeah, for a competition, Roseanne St. Mericon Live in the UK has a lower level contest to win prizes. You have to make 70% yourself. Whereas with Crown, one of the highest uh, contests in the world. Yeah, so if you're doing Crown, which, which Cthulhu and Sunkoi are, it's Crown, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they're, all, they're potentially considering. I know that they might, they might enter into other things, but there's a cons- Oh! You can come in! Is it that? No. no. I'd love a bacon egg, yeah. Thank you. Hell yeah. Bacon egg? Oh my god, what a heckin' treat! A whole piece of meat in my sandwich? Delicious! Whoa! I know why we're having bacon egg, actually, because that was meant for something else, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm gonna have a delicious lunch today. You guys will be jealous of my bacon egg sandwich. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Poisy prizes, poisy prizes, yeah. You have to be 100% of everything yourself, yeah. I'm learning Arduino and it's really fun. Accidentally press enter instead of backspace there. Nah, you good, you good. I'm so happy I found the method I'm using for the next cosplay because I can't code for shit. Found a Bluetooth controller which you can use as a phone app to control LEDs. Oh, that's really cool. Hell yeah. I want to do more coding and hardware stuff on my channel. Yeah, that's like the nice thing about, again, if you're working on cosplay, you kind of interact with a lot of different groups. Also, thank you, Chris. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Ah, dear. It's a Christmas miracle. Bacon and egg. Yeah, we don't normally have meat in this house, but I know that we had it for something that we can't end up making. So I think we're just having bacon and egg because what we were going to make isn't possible because we don't have one of the main ingredients and we can't get it in any time quickly so i think we just bought bacon for no reason so we're just gonna have bacon and egg hell yeah so jealous yeah i haven't had a bacon and egg in years <laughs> i'm gonna be very full after this but that's okay i'm getting things set up for designing a computer from scratch oh really above and beyond for most cosplay oh for sure yeah that's, that's a lot further than you'd normally need for costuming oh dear also jods good morning welcome on in i hope you're doing well and kit welcome on in i hope you're doing well as well we're doing a really big piece of smocking right now so we're just slowly chipping away at it it's gonna take a while i'm okay with that ah uh, i met a woman who dyes her own embroidery threads she froze a whole bowl of silks of cotton and dyeing is pretty easy it's just over a rack on a sink and i might try that one day i know a couple people that do that with wool uh for felting i, I believe i believe it's felting wool where they dye it and it's very hecking cool i think it's like yeah, as long as you've got like a bucket, a sink, and some uh, some gloves. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's too difficult. Why not? And then, like, if it's fun, if it ends up being something you enjoy, it's nice to add those kind of crafts that you love to the roster. Why not? Ah, oh, dear. I'll be honest. I don't. I think it's because they were doing felt. Maybe that was the reason I wasn't as interested at the time. I don't like wet feeling things, uh, so I don't. I'm not so keen on dyeing stuff. I can. They're not. I'm not often as keen. But maybe one day, maybe one day we'll give it a go. Oh dear. To be honest, most electronic energy has never made anything, have uh, never made their own CPU, so it's a little extra in general. I just really like, yeah, like if that's what you enjoy and it gives you a lot of, if it gives you a lot of joy, why the hell not? Heck yeah. That's me with all of my crafting stuff. Is there any real reason to be doing this? I mean, it looks nice, but other than that, not really. But I have a really fun time with it, so here we are. I could have just bought a textured purple fabric, if we're being honest, I could have. I could have just bought textured purple fabric, but instead I decided to buy lining fabric and just spend hundreds of hours smocking it. And I don't regret it because I've had a really good time. <laughs> oh dear. Doing well, thanks. Just about done with packing, you'll leave it tomorrow. Oh my God, have such an amazing time, Dot. I'm sure you will, George. I'm sure you have an amazing time. Eat all of the good food. Uh, good luck, I hope planes and stuff are running on schedule. Good luck, I hope everything goes well. I'm sure it will. Bougie hand dyed threads can be expensive. Oh, for sure, of course, of course. Yeah, anything hand done, because it takes that extra time and effort. Yeah, for sure. As a practicality, it's better for me to use stuff that's pre made, but for me, I enjoy doing it myself, for sure. I appreciate the energy, it's very nice. I thought, no, you're fine, Blue, take care of yourself. It was lovely to meet you. Have a lovely rest of your day. We'll just be here, <laughs> slowly doing the same thing over and over again, <laughs> having an amazing time, just slowly doing this. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll come by and any something will be finished. Who knows? 
and make yourself a sun fun burns and all. Yeah, I love, I love the process of making it. That's why I don't mind if this cosplay takes me several years, because I'm not so much focused on uh, the competition as I am just having fun on all of the steps to make it. And you know, maybe nearer to the finishing date, I'll have to think about that a bit more. But right now, I'm just having a really nice time with each of the steps, yeah. Ah, uh, did you have an estimate on how long this costume's gonna take me to take? I actually don't, Ambrose, at all. And I'm kind of okay with that. I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna put any pressure on doing things at a certain speed or like, you know, trying to get things done for a certain date, per se, on this particular one. I do that with embroideries, I do that with other things, but with these in particular, yeah, no, I, I have no, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> how long this costume's gonna take. I can probably give an idea of how long certain pieces will take, but like, I haven't bothered to add it all together because I'm just not, I'm just not bothered by that bit in general. Yeah. It's like, it, it's finished when it's finished. Probably when I am around, I think, <laughs> when I've maybe done the majority of it, I'll be able to give a better idea of when it'll be finished for. But until then, I'm kind of okay. It's kind of all right, just, you know, chip away a little bit each week. I'm trying to work on on the cosplay at least uh, once a week. That's that's the thing. So obviously there's gonna be weeks like this week, for instance, we're gonna work on it a lot more than once a week, but the general goal is to at least once a week, pick it up, do a little bit on it, and then keep going. Although that's a lot of that's just for like generally my mental well-being because I find so much relaxation in doing this cosplay that it's like scheduling it in to do once a week is really good just for my brain. My brain likes that, so. Here we are. Oh yeah. I think my next project is gonna be a one-handed game controller. That would be really cool, Yuri. Yuri, that would be awesome. I love that. What a nice hacking project. Why not? What's this finishing a project you speak of? We don't all have 200 whips. Oh dear, oh my God, you and Schleeves. I don't know, uh, Kasamuse, if you know Schleeves. Schleeves is our like whip priestess here. They, uh, they have all of the whips. <laughs> But like, honestly, if that makes you happy, if you can pick up loads of projects, put it up, t put it down, take something up, put it up, take, take it down, like move stuff around, that's great. I can enjoy yourself. However you enjoy crafting, it's good on you. I love it when a hobby actually has a practical use in your life. Yeah, hell yeah. I always forget that my hobbies have practical uses in my life, to be honest. <laughs> it's really easy to forget. I do forget that I could technically use cosplay skills for like sewing and stuff. I have to remind myself sometimes that I can, you know, do other things with it. You forget, but, uh, or at least I forget. Maybe you don't forget, I forget. <laughs> Are you logging the hours? Uh, I am kind of logging the hours. So like, you know how I can say how long these have taken? So I've gone back now that those are done, like all of the smocking for those bits have done. I've gone back and I've, uh, I, cause I have all of the VODs. I generally work on them on stream. And then if I work on them off stream, I often record it. So I can kind of just go back and check. Uh, I normally, if I'm streaming it, I take like two or three hours off of it. So if I've streamed for say six hours, I'll say that I only worked on it for three hours because it's generally how it goes on streams. So yeah, I, I do cut those down a little bit, but yeah, that's how I've calculated how long we've worked on it so far. I've got all the streams of it. I've like minus two or three hours, depending on the length of the stream. Uh, <laughs> And then, yeah, any of the bits. I also have made at least one of each piece entirely off stream so that I have a really good idea if I'm working at full blast, how long it takes, because that also helps me a little bit. So I can't give you an 100%, but I know the biggest pieces take about 25 hours and the smallest pieces take 15, and that's if I'm working full pelt. So around 20 hours on average, and there's nine of them. So if we do, that's how I've got like the nine times 20 is 180 and then uh, the times two for both shoulders is 360, and that's how I've got about 360 hours. It might be more than that if we've had any particularly productive streams that I've not recorded, but generally I find uh, taking like two or three hours off is fair because I do work slower on stream even if I am working at full tilt. Like just going and going. I forgot all the time, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, right, let me, I, oh sorry, my brain just jumped like three topics, this is a pretty diverted topic, but did you know uh, the creative grooming is a thing for dogs? Really? I didn't, but that's really cool. Hell yeah. Practical usage, I wait for a mini loon to come to start by darning my socks. Hell yeah, that'd be nice. Useful crafting skills, everyone needs some bobbin lace in their baskets. Buddy, good morning. Another very talented cosplayer and crafter. How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome on in. We are slowly but surely chipping away at this. 
Ah, uh, dear, I need to turn up some so short. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, like taking things up. I used to need that a lot, but I, I still do sometimes. But these days, fashion trends have helped me. Like the, the trousers, because I have a really long body and short legs. So I often need to turn up the legs on my trousers as well. But like, yeah, these days, I just get the ones that are meant to be a bit shorter and then they just fit me perfectly. And it's like, ha ah! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm lucky that my legs are like that level of short that it's like, I've got plans. Awesome sunshine, I just finished. Oh, you finished it? Hell yeah. So yeah, like our collector costume is based on the world of the Boiling Isles and the collector in the third season, which is why it's got a bit more color in it than the, the main body would normally have. But I hope you enjoyed it. See, I just really loved it. I really loved the Owl House. So it's been really fun making something from it. Also, we got our little squares, so like little tiny cushions. It won't be like this because this is a uh, this is not how it's meant to look. But I, I will be checking it intermittently to make sure I haven't made any bad stitches or done anything that's going to be messing it up because I'd rather know now than when I keep working on it and then I'm working with like something that's been messed up. I want to know right now. Oh, there's, there you go, music. Keep going. We're still here. We're still crafting. I told you later. Take care, Maggie. Look after yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope it goes well. Not that you have to log and record the data, I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah, like I've been going back and getting it because I don't really know how long it's gonna take me. I, oh dear, so it's like going back and working it out. You know, the dog grooming competition, creative die dog. Oh, I see. Also temporary, thank you for the follow. It's very heckin' kind of you. What's bobbin lacing? Oh, bobbin lace is, is the one. You might've seen it on TikTok where there's like, like they're making lace and you have like, 50 of these like wooden dowels which have like a, a string wrapped around them and you're like Prrr. it's like the most intense plaiting you've ever seen but it's making lace and it's it's bobbin lace and it's very complicated but it looks stunning excuse me i'm five a four seven but built like an adult hell yeah ah uh, i'm good thank you have a stream later styling a wig i've spent so long ventilating oh good on you as well heckin impressive Ah, oh dear. I loved it. I felt many emotions. Yeah, I, I really like the Owl House. I'm really happy to make something from it, a show that I like so much. And Carrie, good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We are doing a really, really big piece of smocking, so it's a bit of a mess right now, but you said trust the process. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look great at the end. Ah, oh dear. So sad making it nice too. Oh, there's a woman I stitched who does that. Her work was phenomenal. She was the loveliest person. Yeah, it is witchcraft, but it's really, really cool. Ah, oh dear. I wanted to share work, but I need to ask permission when I see her again. Yeah, like if she's okay with you sharing it, I'd love to. I'd love to see it. But obviously, I know some people feel a bit uncomfortable having their stuff shared in places they don't know, and I get that. Ah, oh, also, Sunshine, thank you for the follow. It's very heckin' kind of you. This is gonna be, so every single square on this, of which there are many, I don't know how obvious they are to you, but there's like a lot of a lot of crosses through them. All of those need to be stitched. And, oh, actually, I can show you how many they are because I have them marked on the pattern. <laughs> we have this many to do. And we've just finished this line. And it's taken us to do just this bit at the top nearly three hours <laughs> we still have all of this <laughs> but that's okay that's okay because i'm enjoying the process and i'm okay with it taking a while but that's where we're at oh dear bomb lace is magical i don't get how they don't get tangled up it must just be one of those things where you're like you get so into a rhythm of it that you're just going. I, I can only assume it's not one that I've ever tried, to be honest. I did see on eBay recently a couple of bobbin lace kits with like all of the wooden dowels like going on sale, like pretty cheap, like people just getting rid of their old kits, I think. Um, so I guess if you wanted to pick stuff up for it, there might actually be some pretty cheap secondhand stuff if you were curious. Because yeah, no, I've seen on, on eBay like a couple times now, like the whole set's just going on sale pretty cheap. But yeah, no, I'm, I'll am i be honest, I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I have the space for starters to set that up, but <laughs> I'm also like, I just don't, I just don't know. It looks, it looks very tricky and I'm not sure I have the brain power right now. I like crocheting lace, but arguably it's a lot less, a lot less things to keep track of when you're crocheting lace. We actually are doing our, a custom crochet lace for this one. Oh, sorry, let me just move my weights again because they're all over the place. Um, we're doing this pattern back to back next to each other because it's meant to be when you'll see it sideways so it's meant to be like a sun and a moon um, the reason that I don't have the extra one is because that's where the moon kind of blends in so we, we do make 
embroidered, not, not embroidered lace, we, do, maybe we don't do bobbin lace, we do crocheted lace. But we will have this around the outside, so like little suns and little moons. I was tempted to do all moons on one side and all suns on the other, but I think I prefer it best when they're overlapping and it's just one sun, one moon, one sun, one moon. Uh, I need to write down the pattern for it though, because I, this one is inspired by like another one. So this is inspired by someone else's suns, but the moon is made entirely by me. Um, it might technically be inspired by something, but I haven't seen it. So I need to actually write down how I did this because I was looking for other people's patterns for suns and moons and I just couldn't find them. So I used this one, which is based roughly off a flower pattern of somebody else's. And then, yeah, a moon using some of the same sort of shapes. I need to, I need to write it down. I need to write it down because I haven't written it down, which means I'm just constantly looking at these tiny, tiny stitches and being like, what did I do again? <laughs> what? How did I do this? So I need to do that at some point. Well, then I can also share it with other people because it was something I was looking for. I wouldn't be surprised if other people were looking for it too. Oh dear. I love, I like that you do smocking. It's so interesting. Kind of makes me want to use it for like myself. It's really easy as well, like genuinely. Like, uh, I think it's a bit intimidating because it's a slightly slower craft, but smocking is one of those things that I genuinely believe if you've got like a needle and thread and some spare fabric, you can create a smocking panel in a few hours. Like it's very, very quick. Uh, if you're only doing a small amount of it and it, it's it's quick to get results to it as well Like it's not one of those ones where you're waiting a really long time to see if it works You know pretty much immediately if it's worked or not and again, it does take a long time But all you really need is like I have some of the simple ones here Because um, these are what I was originally using because I'm using two smocking patterns It's literally just a pattern like this where it's like two centimeter squares with crosses on them and those ones just wherever there's a cross sew all of the corners together and tie a knot and then move on to the next one keep doing that and then you'll end up with something that looks like this where it's squares for this particular pattern what you need to do is push those squares through like the, like the bits next to it so that they create like a little flap because yeah you need those on the other side i'm not doing that yet because i'm going to do that all at once but when you push the flaps through you can then just stitch the flaps together wherever you want to hold them nice and tight and it it sounds complicated because i'm really bad at explaining but it is really really easy it's really really easy it's just a bit slow uh i think i would my flat would be very grumpy if i took up another hobby yeah i have also a grumpy bean in the house if i take up too many more hobbies Ah oh dear. The piece looks beautiful. I love the fabric and the sun and the moon. I love sun and the moon. Yeah, because because uh, the, the collector is very celestial themed, but there's their color palette and the color palette and the world that they create, without trying to spoil the third season too much, is very sunrise, sunset. It's like pastel, blues, purples, green, uh, sorry, blues, purples, reds, pinks, yellows, and oranges. So it's like that kind of like sunset, sunrise vibe. So we're leaning into that a lot. I want to learn, but you do. You know what, Steve? So actually, I feel like you'd probably be quite good at it. You already do very small things, like, with a lot of dexterity and pattern and recognition. You probably would actually be quite good at bobbin lace making. Or, yeah, we have, we have some bits and bobs. I like crochet. I just don't normally do crochet on stream. So I'm making our own crochet lace because it's something that I already do off stream. So it's like, why not? We'll add that in. And then, yeah. At some point, I'll probably write up everything. I should anyway. It's all it's all just sitting in my brain, which is not a good place for it to be staying. There's the thing. So often crafting is not difficult, it just takes a while to do. Yeah. In this case, so at least with smocking, at least with this smocking, I can't speak for all other techniques of smocking because I only have been using a few. But um with this one in particular, like it's not it you you'll get a result very quickly and it's not that difficult. Like as far as like you can work it out. You, once you've done it a little bit, you'll get very into it. And it's really, it's a really good payoff for the amount of work that you put into it, if that makes sense. Because it looks like you see something like this and you're like, oh my God, so fancy. Like, wow, impossible, so difficult. But like reality, it's really not. Like you break it down into what the actual steps are. They're all really easy. <laughs> it's just, the smocking itself is really like easy. It's just draw a grid and stick to it done once you've done that going onto this side and adding the little beads around the bows so that you get some pretty bows in there i also painted my bows but i don't think you'd have to do that but i did um and then add sequins in the gaps add embroidery in the gaps put gold on the edge <laughs> they're just slow it's just slow and especially with hand stitching because it is all hand stitched of course hand stitching does take a while but it's not difficult it's just just slow but i like it I like it. Probably not a good technique to pick up if you're in a rush, 
I know Amazonia doesn't like smocking though. I, I don't, does Sun Koi like smocking? I can't remember. I think Sun Koi likes smocking. Whether you enjoy it or not is probably going to be a personal thing. <laughs> I personally love it, but obviously not everyone enjoys it. But I love it. I could do it all day, and I have. Often difficult things look easy, and easy things look extremely difficult. Yeah, like genuinely, it's 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 not difficult. And like I, we've had it before where people have like we found a video where people could do a very similar smocking, and they've watched the video, done it, and within a couple of hours have a smocked piece. And it's like there you are. Like if it really is that simple that you can watch a video one time and kind of get the idea of what you're meant to do and do it from there. And so. Yeah, if, if it's something that's gonna gel with you, it's, it's you'll know quite quickly. <laughs> I've been felting a mushroom thing and sorry how quickly it's coming together. Even though I pushed off starting it for a month. I mean, if you want to share it in the Discord, you can always exclamation mark Discord. We're gonna have a Discord art share in like 15 minutes. Or whenever I get a sandwich, one or the other. <laughs> you do like the smoking. Yeah, I thought you did. But then yeah, Amazonia, I hate it. I hate anything where I have to follow a strict pattern, yeah. It's not for everyone. Distracting that just doesn't mix. That's why I don't knit. That's fair. That's very fair. I like crochet, but I'm not very good at knitting, to be honest. I, I would I like the idea of being good at knitting. I'm just I'm just not. <laughs> I like the idea of having that skill. But at, at this stage in my life, nah. But crochet I can do. That one I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's using both of my hands, but crochet I'm like, oh hell yeah. Jump right in. Happy with that. And I, it's been my like relaxing skill for a long time. I just can't, can't get my head around knitting. I don't know why. Ah, uh, dear Chris, thank you so much for the lurk. Take care of yourself. Have a lovely lurk. Ah, oh, dear. Seconding the knitting. My knitting counting doesn't mix well either. I have beans and egg on toast. Oh, nice, delicious. You know, I would say I hope you enjoy it, but I know you'll enjoy it. That's heckin' good stuff right there. Have a lovely, have a lovely, lovely. Is it brunch or lunch? A brunchy, lunchy kind of vibes. Either or. All right. Just double checking, because that one felt a little weird when I was stitching it. Nah, it's fine. I did a slightly bigger stitch than I normally would, but you still won't see it. God, it looks so... <laughs> it looks so odd on the back. It looks very neat on this side, which is nice, but the back does look weird. Ah, uh, I was thinking about knitting chainmail, but after the last few tests, I just put it aside. I just can't do it. Uh, oh, no, I can do normal chainmail, but it is really heavy. I see. I see. Well, I don't think we're all going to mix with every single. Like, maybe knitting's just not for you. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Plus, if you're not having a good time with it, what's the point anyway? If, if it's a hobby, like, you know, if you're not enjoying it, eh. I don't know if I'm in your Discord. I don't know how to use it very well yet. If you ever want to get in, it's just exclamation mark Discord and anyone can join. Uh, we have every hour, you can see like a timer beneath my head. Every hour we go through the Discord for anything anyone's posted. If they want to post progress pictures, they can. There's no pressure to do it, I will say. You do not have to. Uh, but if you wanted to, and you wanted everyone to have a little look at what you've been working on, because everyone's kind of, not everyone here does craft alongs, but a lot of people here do, where we're all kind of crafting at the same time. And you can see my progress very obviously because I'm live streaming it, but if you want to put yours in there, I can show it. And then the hour we go through everyone's and we have a nice time checking everyone's art and seeing what people have been up to. And it's just generally a good vibe. And then I also do, I lift some weights for a little bit. <laughs> oh dear. There's two short banjo videos. Yeah, nice. Thanks, Ambrose. We also, you know, if you have pet pictures that you want to share, we, we are never say no to a pet picture or pet video. Oh, dear. I don't think it protects you very well, like knitted chain mail. I mean, you do bring up a very fair point on the safety side of things. Do you need chain mail for protection these days? I mean, depends what you're doing. Those pics are a requirement. <laughs> okay, that's very fair. That's very fair. A uh, bit of naughty, no brain cells banjo. Well, you can all look at it right now if you want, but or or you can wait and we can all look at it together. It's up to you. I can't stop you from looking at the Discord. I just stop myself so that I'm still productive. And also that I take proper breaks. <laughs> Mainly that one. Uh, what do you think is important? Yeah, no, no, no. So temporary, if you go have a little look for the Discord, we have one channel for like cosplay, but we have tons for other things as well. Because, you know, most of the crafters in this community are not cosplay specific crafters. If you go through, we have like, uh, we have ideas and inspiration as well as general crafts. We also have cosplay, embroidery and stitch work, art, knitting and crochet, 3D modeling, woodwork and metalwork, photography, body art and prosthetics, music, food and rigging. So we actually have like quite a few separations for art so that 
Basically, it means that people's stuff doesn't disappear immediately and everyone gets a little a little bit in the spotlight if you'd like it. But only if you want it. Again, there's no pressure. If you'd rather wait till after stream so the stuff don't get posted on stream, that's or that's completely fair. It's like to your own comfort level, because I'm the same. I, I sometimes feel a bit, despite streaming all of my work in progress, I sometimes feel a bit awkward about posting work in progress because I'm like, ah, oh, what if it doesn't look good? What if they're not gonna... Because because for me, a lot of my stuff looks kind of crappy until right at the end. <laughs> so it's like, ah, oh, dear. So I feel, I feel awkward about it sometimes myself, but I love seeing what other people are working on and I love seeing like what other things people are doing, whether it's like traditional or digital art, whether it is sewing and embroidery and cosplay, or maybe it's a little bit of metalworking. We have people that have been making jewelry, which is really, really cool. A bit of photography work. Maybe you got some like particularly good photos on your last photo shoot, all that kind of stuff. And food, because food is an art form and we always appreciate people sharing food. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll always appreciate that. You've had some crazy access, that's why you need chain mail. Currently landing on my workspace to find some electronics components for this controller build. Hell yeah! My security is that stuff doesn't look like it makes a lot of progress between photos. I, I feel that as well. Because I've been working on the same sort of thing for such a long time, like, does it even look like I've made progress? But I, I think it does. I think it does. When I put them all together, you can see that I've done a lot. And I, I am always in the beneficial position, I guess, of because I've live streamed it. A lot of people here know how long it takes because they've watched it take a long time. So that that helps. But I would say generally, like, we're not... The, the community is just happy to see other people's art, whether it's finished or not. It's one of those things of I hold myself to a different standard, which I shouldn't, and I need to get better at. But I'm generally just very happy to see other people's work in progress, see the things that people are working on or chipping away at. Or if you have recently finished something, see, seeing what that is, is very hacking cool. Or if you've made something that's relevant to a topic even, like say if we were talking about Digimon and you were like, I made a Digimon cosplay, let me, let me share that with you now. Or a Digimon plushie, let me share that with you now. Um, you know, it might have been something you made 10 years ago, but it, you know, you could still share it if you wanted to. I'm sure everyone would be very happy to see it. Oh dear. It's usually hard for me to get a good picture of my whip. That too. <laughs> but I, I, the, the cameras lie a lot about the colours and such, and it's just like, ah, whatever. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, I found two analog thumbsticks. I didn't even know I had those. Love it when that happened. Did you? Were you like rifling through the stash kind of thing? Nice. Ah, oh dear. I like between crafters. I think there's an understanding, but outside people don't. Yeah, I think though, because like we have a lot of people in this community that aren't crafters as well. I don't know how they found us, to be honest. <laughs> I'm very grateful that we did though, because a lot of the the like a lot of the really really nice people to talk to in this community have never picked up an arts or craft in their life, and they're not even they're not even interested in doing it. It's not their area of interest, but they're still really chill, and it's like. You sometimes get the best questions from people that have never even seen the craft before because it's stuff that I would never have thought about explaining but actually means that I then have to go into it a bit more in depth which means everyone learns a bit more about it and which means I can better explain my processes. So like I'm also very much appreciative of people that come in that never do crafts and like either ask questions or ask about a specific thing or point something out because again it's a different pair of eyes that I don't have and it's, it's useful. <laughs> it's very, very very useful, especially from a streaming perspective, because I'm so used to just going into things and being like, oh yeah, people will get it. People don't. Like, unless you do smocking, how are you meant to understand? And, oh god, sorry. <laughs> going on a rant again. You to be jealous or I have an egg and bacon sandwich made very deliciously by shiny um, I have a whole sandwich <laughs> I am gonna just put it on the floor very quickly because we are gonna do a discord art share before we we eat the sandwich however sandwich is here it could be from twitch raids also Walty, good morning I totally get and enjoy seeing whips I, I also enjoy seeing whips a lot 
Uh, did I share the bell? I know I did. Well, you've come in just in time, mages, because we are literally about to do a Discord art share. How are you doing? Good morning. I miss bacon. You cannot get proper bacon here. I haven't had bacon for a very long time because we, we don't normally buy meat for the house unless we have like something very specific planned, like a Christmas dinner or something. We don't buy meat. It's expensive, so we just don't bother. Uh, but we were going to make something and then we couldn't and bacon was part of it. So now we just have bacon in the house. So we're having bacon sandwiches, which is amazing. Uh, one who gets sandwiches. Which me! I am the one who gets a sandwich. All right. We will say that the timer is at zero. We'll just say that it is. We'll say that it's at zero, okay? We'll say it's at zero. It's fine. We'll put it back to there. And then if I go in here, we have a few things to go through. I'm going to go from the bottom. We'll start with food because someone else has a very delicious snack as well. And it's Claire. It's Cthulhu. We've got uh, courgette and bacon pasta. Never had it before and it tastes good. Hell yeah. <laughs> And it also looks really good. It looks very creamy. Very creamy and delicious. Oh. Ah, oh, I just bought more seeds. Oh, you're gonna have so many stuff growing though. Hell yeah. I'm always kind of surprised when I meet normal people who don't make cosplays at all and don't understand how I can make it. It's like from foam, and this is from foam, and that's from foam, and this is foam. <laughs> You probably oh don't worry clues clues will find it. Don't worry about it. We will we will spot it. Meanwhile though, hecking delicious. That looks delicious and lovely and creamy and I love it very much and I hope you really enjoy it, Cthulhu. In the knitting and crochet channel, I see, yeah, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Uh, don't worry about it, we can still see it. We have a beautiful embroidery from a day two old embroidery kit. Oh my god, oh my god. That looks hecking lo- I love the colours of it. Oh my god. I really, I, to be honest, I'm a big fan of like this sort of like turquoisey blue with yellows and pinks. I love that. I think it's really, really nice. I know it's a kit, but you look, you're chipping away for day two. Heckin' round of applause. Very hecking cool. You are zooming. So this was done by Clues in chat. There you go. We can see Clues, Clues has been working on this one. Very hecking beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, good for spring as well. In the art channel, oh, we have a couple of things. So we've got Mages who is doing another dress idea. I think the dress would be too plain in my opinion. Too many crosses and skulls. I see. Okay, okay. So we have some design work here where we have, oh, I see. Out of interest, what would you plan to make the crosses and the, the, the skulls out of? Because I feel like if you were making them out of, like if you were doing a lot of embroidery, beadwork, sequining around them, you could make them very detailed. If you were just painting them on, then they might, I guess, be a bit plainer. But if you wanted them to be detailed, it would just be like how you embellish them, right? Very hecking cool. Uh, we'll do a little, little, yeah, and like a little... A little sparkle, a little sparkle on there. The little dragonfly is so cute. You think it'd be painted? Ah, if it's painted, then yeah. You, you could, I guess, so you could paint it and embellish over the top if you wanted. Yeah, I guess it's tricky, right? And the personal taste is what it's going to come down to. Seven hours in, escapism. <laughs> <laughs> It's really good. It's really, really good. Saki, this is bad. I just love that it just says escapism. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's not good. It's just, there's something about escapism in such beautiful font where it's just like really like detailed, like this glow on it's perfect. Like the 3D effect is really good. <laughs> it says it's escapism. <laughs> it just, it, it's just a vibe. And I very much, I very much like the vibe. I think, it, I think it's great. Uh, seven hours in, it, it's very heck very hecking pretty. Very hecking pretty. And it looked like it's coming along really, really well. Discord crashed on my phone after I joined, and the tablet camera is pooped, so oh no, you're fine. We're still gonna go for a while as Carrie. So you can always post it another day if you want. There's no there's no rush. What do I think should be embroidered? And so patches onto it. Hell yeah! Yeah, I think that'd be really good. It's a song. Oh, I see. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was gonna say it looks really, really good. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't laughing because it looked bad. It looks great. It's just, it's just because it just says escapism in the most detailed, beautiful font. It's like there's something about that that tickles me. I like that. And from Yuri, we've got this is a uh, a picture that I drew and I did an overpaint on. Oh, I see. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, this is the same character that we saw the 3D model of, right? Uh, with the, well, yeah, 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 with the strands. Oh, they're so nice. I love the color palettes you've used as well on both sides. Really, really pretty. Like with the blues and then the warmer colors on this side with the flowers. Yeah, that's really hecking nice. That's, oh yeah, I should use the ones that are already there as well. That's really hecking nice. I really like it. Very hecking cool. And if we go up into cosplay and sewing, oh. <laughs> 
Is this? It is Junkrat. The eyebrows. Oh my god, they're so good. I have seen some Junkrat cosplays before, so this is one I'm familiar with. The eyebrows are so good. You've nailed it. Oh my god. Look at these. Look at these big old eyebrows. These are perfect. Oh my god. If you've not seen Junkrat before, you'll have to Google them to know what the, uh, what Spudsy is doing here. But this is. It is like quite literally spot on. The hairline is perfect. The eyebrows are great. I, I love, you look fantastic. It's stunning, <laughs> stunning. 10 out of 10. Wait, was it 100%? No, 100%. So hey, fluffy, but that's gonna be so good to style as well because you've already got so much volume in it. F you and yeah, I was like writing F you in a lovely script front. Yeah, was it supposed to be in general crafts? Oh, you can put it wherever. If you've got it in general crafts, I can pop, I can check general crafts. Oh dear, yeah, this is really hecking cool, Spudsy. Really, really cool. Ooh, Onion Ninja! The late- oh wait, these are the little beads! These are the, the ironing beads, yeah. I know a couple people that are really, really good at this. This is lovely as well. I love the 3D nature of this bit. Crystal! Oh my god, Crystal! Good morning! We are just doing a little a little Discord art share at the moment. We have some people sharing some of the work they've been doing on, on, on Discord. So some of the works in progress, or some stuff they've recently finished. How was your stream? For anyone who doesn't know- oh, I need to do- wait, I need to put the Y in, otherwise I'm not gonna get you. For anyone who doesn't know Crystal, a very, very talented maker and crafter. We have a few people here right now. Uh, memory- do we- it depends if they're still here. I, I won't- I won't call anyone out specifically. But we have a few people here that are interested in needle felting and getting better at needle felting. Anyone here who is looking to get better at needle felting or looking for someone who does that kind of stuff, you're gonna want to check out Crystal because they do- they do like realistic, they're very, very detailed needle felting and they're very, very good at it. <laughs> so first of all, if you're looking for more makers and crafters in general, definitely check out Crystal. But if you're one of those people that was interested in getting into felt work specifically, because I know we had a few people here that were, you're gonna want to check out Crystal. They're really, really good. <laughs> they have made a lot of really amazing stuff. Oh dear. Uh, Junkrat is my BF. Oh, okay. You're following his hairline. I'll have regret. Oh, I see. All needs to be done for. Wait, you're going to show it insomnia? <gasps> oh my god. Hell yeah. Enjoy yourself. Have an amazing time. I'm sure you will. Put a little heart on there. Put a little heart on there because I like that very much. It's very hecking cool. Uh, and then we have awesome oh, pattern work. Yeah, anime does a lot of pattern making and they are very good at it. God. That's so, that's so good. Anime just draws, they do this on stream sometimes, they'll show you their patterns and stuff. Anime just draws stunning patterns. And it's like, they are like little works of art, every single one of them. And they're so good. I wish, I wish this was me. It's not me, but I wish that it was. Pet portrait this morning, oh lovely, hell yeah. Oh Zash, welcome on in, good morning. We're just doing a little Discord art share. I should say, sorry, just really quickly, before we look at the animal videos, hello, hi, here's my sandwich. Uh, I'm about to have lunch, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyone who's new here, hello, hi, my name is Jelly. I am a maker and crafter based in the UK. I have a specific interest in uh, beading, sequining and embroidery. So sometimes we make embroideries, like our little dinosaurs we made this month, and sometimes we make cosplays, which you can kind of see, kind of shoofed up the edge right now we're doing a lot of smocking today but yeah we're just doing a little discord art chat and i do have some puppers some puppers to show you are you hacking ready for puppy videos i'm probably gonna oh get it, get it, get it. look at this bean look at this look whoa <laughs> that was such a good angle on that oh my god look at this bean he's doing touches they're doing little touches oh my god Little puppers. Anime drawing cosplays are so neat. They are. They're so neat. Oh dear. What a good heckin' papa. This, I, I cannot claim this papa. This papa is not mine. I wish. I wish this papa was mine. They're not mine, unfortunately. They are Ambrosas. That's okay. They're powers. I kind of uh, give up on asking for new behaviors and went to sit down to get the food because she loves the rolly. Look at the go. Look at the go. <laughs> She's just having such a good time. Like the big old smile. She's just having a lovely time. She's trying to learn. Oh yeah, that's a good sit right there. Look at that good sit. See, that's such a good sit. Definitely deserves the toys for that one. That was a good heckin' sit. And then, oh, the little ball. <laughs> <laughs> just pushing it around so hacking cute oh my god thank you thank you for blessing us and there they are there they are by the way in their full glory full box mode if it fits i sits uh yes a very very good bean thank you for blessing us with your hacking good bean i love them 
I love them. I always love them. Uh, yes, thank you. All right, as you can see, I do have a sandwich. What I should say is, Crystal, if you need to go look after yourself, if you need to eat, sleep, do anything post stream, please do. I am in fact going to be taking a little, a little lunch break just to eat this sandwich. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to grab words on stream so that if any of you would like to play some words, you can. Uh, I will just be having a quick sandwich break and I'll be muting myself while I eat just to make sure I don't make any mouth noises that are unpleasant to listen to because I don't wanna be making unpleasant mouth noises. I'll do other unpleasant things, but not, not, not unpleasant mouth noises. So if I grab this on stream for all of you, yeah, there we go. Oh, I do need to take those off, otherwise you're not going to see half the words you're putting in. I love her so much. I love to share. Miss Banya was very excited for a roly ball. She was. Both bit of Oh, we might. Okay, okay. Two seconds then. Well, one more. One more. One more. Uh, if I grab this. We have, because this is done by Crystal, and Crystal might need to pop off in a second. If anyone was interested, when I say that Crystal was very, very good at needle felting, this is the kind of stuff they make. It is exceptionally detailed with a lot of color varying, with like shadow and shading and stuff like that. If you are interested in needle crafting, you should be checking out Crystal because they are very, very, very good at what they do. Uh, and they show you the whole process live on Twitch, which is why I'm like, kind of, just because I know there are a few people in this community that are interested in taking up needle crafting, uh, needle felting at the moment. If you are not following Crystal, yes, you need, you need to be. They're very, very, very good at what they do. And they do like a whole host of animals as well. So it's not just cats. They're very, very good at like displaying a whole host of different things. Uh, you can definitely check that if you go over to their Instagram as well, like they do a lot. So yes, uh, I will, I will, I will take a quick break just to show that because that is important. Um, yeah, if, and Crystal, yeah, if you need to go off now, don't worry. Everyone knows, everyone's seen. We know how good they are. We know how good you are. And yeah, if you need to go, yeah, if you need to go off to school, you're fine. Don't worry, don't worry. In the meantime, I'm gonna eat this sandwich before it goes cold. Uh, if you have never played words before, if you see a word, I'm like, oh my God, I see, speaking of eating, I see a word like taste. So I'm gonna take that. <laughs> So if you see a word, type it in. Unfortunately, I stole taste. I'm so sorry. Uh, once you're locked, you cannot put in a second word and you cannot take a word that somebody else has already taken. So good luck, everyone. You got this. And I will be just having a quick, quick snack and mute. GG's everyone, well done! For a first round, we have Pink in the lead, followed by Clues and Autosaurus, then Ambrose, Yuki, myself, Malice, Spudsy, and Temporary. Good job, everyone! Yeah, do keep an eye on the board, because once someone has already taken a word, you can't have it again. I did see quite a few repeats that time. Just keep a little eye, otherwise you're wasting, uh, you're wasting your brain power. There we go, back muting again.
Honestly, me too. My brain is also dead. I can't see anything. <laughs> GG's everyone that did see something. Well done. Words, 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 words. Also, man, let's have a lovely lunch. In that round, we had Orty in the lead, and we have Orty in the lead overall now, followed by Clues, then Pinkle, then Yuki. Oh, sorry, it's Yuri, not Yuki. Oh my god. Yuri, then Ambrose, Malice, Saki, Cariel, myself, Spudsy, and Temporary. Didn't expect that. You did really well that round. GG's. Yeah, I couldn't see a, a thing, though. Well done. <laughs> well done. I wasn't sure how Miso wasn't one either, but I guess it is not. Uh, oh yeah, thanks Saki. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know that it's in alphabetical order, but well done. People got it. Pink and Saki joint first in that round. Well done. But overall, we still have Orsi in the lead, followed by Pink and then Clue. Then we've got Saki, Yuri. Uh, then we've got Ambrose, Malice, myself, Cariel, Cthulhu, Spudsy, and Temporary. GG's. Well done. Well done, everyone. A hundred percent. Pink is coming from a lead. <laughs> I'm, I'm just happy to get one word around, to be honest. I've nearly finished. Two secs. I'm also feeling like, I'm also feeling like the G might be fake. <laughs> Mary! <laughs> I wasn't sure if Luigi was also a word. Hmm. <laughs> oh, judicial? Nice judicial. Okay, so G is fake. So there's no G, ignore the G. It doesn't, it's not real, but nice judicial. Um. It's clad. Uh. Oh, what about? Yay! 
Hey, do well! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. There's a few five letter ones, Jesus. I have no idea what any of those are though. They're, they're giving us a few. Hmm. Well, I got was acid and I've made my peace with it. Nice acid. <laughs> Judicial, very smart. I, I, yeah, wouldn't have seen that. Listen, it doesn't matter that it was only one star. We got through and that's all that matters. We had Cthulhu leading that round on surprise considering they got the, la the long word. Then we had Orti in the lead. Oh no, wait, Orti includes joint first. Wow, then Pink, then Cthulhu, Saki, Yuri, myself, Ambrose, Maddis, Cariel, Spudsy, and Temporary. I am gonna take a quick break to grab a new uh, bit of drink. I'll be right back because I think I'm gonna get some Coke instead of some, uh, instead of, instead of tea, I might actually go for Coke. Back, back in a mo. I think I missed a round, I'm sorry, but I'm back with a drink now. Also, listen to this. Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear the fizzes? It's so fizzy. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Let's just see if I can help at all. I'm gonna try. Uh, oh, nice United. Nice United. So P is fake. Got you. Okay. Nice dent. I got dine. Nice dent. Nice dune. Nice you untied. Nice untied. Ah oh dear. Hmm. Nice tied. Ah <laughs> oh dear. Un un night. A night. Nice a night. Oh you night. Untie. Nice untie. Is undy a word? No. Uh. Nice tied. Uh, diet, duet, nice. Mm 
Nice tent. Nude. <laughs> nice nude. An edit. Nice edit. Oh my god, so there's only one left. Oh, okay. Is it like timed? No. Mm. I don't know what it is. GG's so well done everyone! Nearly 100%! Heckin'! Well done! Well heckin' done! Alright, we had Clues in the lead that round. Overall, Clues is now in the lead, followed by Orti, then Cthulhu, then you got Yuri, Pinkle, uh, Saki, myself, Ambrose, Cariel, Amazonia, Malice, Kid Angel, Mask! Also, Mask, good morning! Uh, oh, Mask, you so good morning! And then Spudsy, and then Temporary! Well done everyone! Well done everyone! Alright, oh, was it in do? Ah! Okay, five letters only now. Five letters only. Try taking beers. <laughs> hmm. Reads. Nice reads. Oh no, that's not how it works, is it? <laughs> uh, is, is, is there a multiple of dears? No. Work out what the hidden one is. Reset, nice reset. Oh, it's a T then. It's a T. Oh, nice that. There we go. There we go. It's a T. Treed, steed, nice. Steer, desert, nice desert. Rested, nice rested, and nice trees. Oh, Reed's is already on there, my bad. Nice deters! I will steal the deter if I can. Yeah, I, I can! I'm speedy. I'm speedy for stealing. Oh, dear. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised if Deers isn't one. Oh, nice Esther, though. I guess you don't really have multiple deer, do you? It's just deer. Like fish. Delicious. Delicious. Hmm. One more five letter. Oh, terse! Hey! Nice terse! A hundred percent. God, we're gonna go to hard levels really quickly then. We had Malice in the lead that round with clues in the lead over all, followed by Orti and Cthulhu. Then we've got Pinkle. Then we've got Yuri, Saki, myself, Malice, Cariel, Ambrose, Amazonia, Kit, Mask, uh, Spudsy, and Temporary. GG's. Nice pink, nice pink. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. It's it's now gonna be even harder, but that's okay. Oh, Orty got point, nice point. The washing liner has me hooked. Oh, Cariel, I'm sorry. Point. Pinto, nice Pinto. Pinto. <laughs> oh, Malice. Petition, nice petition. What? So it's the second T? It's the second T, and the F is fake. Nice! So it's two T's. <laughs> the sign still can't see anything. <laughs> And the and the F. Oh, malice! Nice tiptoe. Nice tiptoe. Pointy. Nice pointy. Uh, Orty. Nice pint on a nice potent malice. I cannot yet. Me neither, Abros. I am so lost. Very, very lost. But hey, listen, we got through. GGs, everyone. Hmm. 
tight pin. Nice tie pin. Um, I didn't go through. That's fine, fine. Don't know if those are too hard for people to follow. I've been uh, using the un yeah solved world. Yeah, that's what I do, Auntie. When someone has the long word, I use that. Also, well done, Malice, for leading that loud round. We have Auntie, the lead overall, followed by Clues and then Cthulhu. Then Malice, Pink, Yuri, Saki, myself, Cariel, Ambrose, Amazonia, Kit, Mask, Spudsy, and Temporary. Well done. Yeah, this, sh this shuffle is too much. This shuffle is too much. All right, let's see. Hmm... Uh. Oh my god, Alter, you got it. Private. Nice private. Okay, so F is fake again. Private. T is hidden then. Nice private. Is pirate one then? Nice pirate, yeah! Uh... Hmm. I'm heading off to do some garden work. No, you're fine, sleeves. Good luck with your seeds. A nice tape here. Clues. No, good luck with your seeds, sleeves. Thank you so much for popping by. I'll do my best. Uh, nice viper. Oh, nice tripe. Nice tripe. Oh, nice avert. Nice avert. Oh my god, we had Paver and Vite. Nice Vite. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know some of these words. <laughs> uh... Ooh, nice rivet. Nice rivet. There's everything. There's everything we've got so far. I'm trying very hard, but this is really hard. Oh, nice eye rate. Very nice. Um. I got prey! <laughs> I didn't know prey was a word. I was just spamming. <laughs> Gee, jeez! Malice in the lead that round. <laughs> we have Orti in the lead over all four by Malice now and then Clues, then Cthulhu, Yuri, Pink, Saki, myself, Carrier, Ambrose, Kit, Amazonia, Mask, Exponsi, and Temporary. GG's, yeah, just by the skin of our teeth. Is it making people all right? I had a good time with it. Oh, okay. Oh. Night, nice night, Orty. Nice night. That means T is hidden. T is hidden. I got Tinny. <laughs> night, nice night. I'm assuming you can't do nights. Yes, S is fake. S is fake. Uh... Oh, oh, nice thing. Right? Was that thing? Oh wait, temporary got giant. Nice giant. Nice giant, a nice thing. Oh, and Kit got hating. Nice hating. Oh, anything. Nice anything. Hey! And Saki, good tangy. And Orti, good tying. Oh my god, GG's. Well done. You guys, you guys, it's so great. You're doing great. Anything is the long word. Hmm. Hmm. Thingy. <laughs> I wish thingy. Thingy should be a word. Nighty, nice nighty. Uh. 
Oh, I cannot, I cannot see anything this time. How is thingy not a word? Thingy should have been a word. Damn it, if thingy had been a word, which it should have been. <laughs> you know what though, we did good, we did good. GG's everyone, let's look at the final scores on the doors. All right, we had Malice in the lead that round. Overall, we had a tie for first place. Uh, Malice and Orti both tied. GG's, well done to our two winners, followed by Clues. Then we had Cthulhu, Yuri, Pink, Saki, myself, Kit, Cariel, Ambrose, Amazonia, Tempo, uh, then Mask, then Spudzy. Well done, everyone. Well hecking done. And during that time, I have had enough time now to have a quick break and an eat and I'm feeling good and I've got some coke. <laughs> I guess I got some coke this time. Hell yeah, we got it with our pizzas, so we have leftover coke now, which is nice. Oh dear. Well done. Well done, everyone. GG's. And also, if anyone didn't get a chance to go look after themselves post stream, I'm just going to be starting my crafts. We'll, we'll do our next Discord share in about an hour. Um, but if anyone didn't get a chance to go look after themselves, then go, go get yourself some food or some drink or whatever you need. Because uh, I have how, now had the chance to fully look after myself. I hope everyone else here has too. Oh dear. I've had a snack. I've got a new drink. Finished the old drink. Everything is good. Best I've ever done. Carrie, you did great. Everyone did really well, honestly. We were all, even people that were worried they weren't picking up words, were getting them here and there. And it all adds up. It all adds up. It's a very much a team game. So yeah, no, it was really, really good. Well done. We had a few really hard early rounds there, I would say. Like I wasn't seeing anything. I was, of course, a little distracted because I was eating, but I was watching and I, I couldn't see really anything in the first few rounds, which is quite tricky. What's, uh, what's the level we got to? You guys got to level 23, I believe. The record on this channel is 33. We've never got further than that. And I will say, level th once it gets into the 30s, it is exceptionally hard. You have to get really lucky. Oh yeah, 22, sorry, I'm probably adding one 22 uh yeah 33 is 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 very very difficult and we don't get there very often because even getting there like there's a lot of luck involved like people have to have guessed the right word quite quickly and uh yeah so it, it, it gets really hard uh the getting into the, the 20s is, a, is, a, is impressive i'm happy with that uh, i had my iced coffee while arting along will be nice oh lovely hell yeah enjoy your iced coffee uh, 33 suits, 27 highs, and honestly 27. That's how it feels like though when you get to the higher levels. Like there, there is an element of luck that really definitely comes in. And like somebody happens to get what the hidden letters are quickly and then get the long word. And then you happen to be able to use that for the rest of it. Because unless you get lucky, it's really, really hard. Also, I think I need to keep like give the music a little prod, huh? I think the music's... Oh, it's because it's starting halfway through. I want to go from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, from the beginning. Thank you. Oh dear. Ungainly. What's ungainly? Wait, do you think that's what the word was? It's difficult. I've, I've already forgotten. <laughs> Everything that happens in words just stays in words. What happened afterwards? No idea. I have forgotten. Listen, everyone did a really good job. It's all level 77? Oh my god. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine because it is very much a team game, like especially as you get to those last levels, the more people you can have spamming options, the better. Because that's the thing, I, I'm, I'm bad for this as well. I sometimes get nervous, like what if what I'm saying is not a real word? But the real way to play words is if you think you know a word, just spam. Spam, spam any word. Spam any combination of letters you think could be a word. And maybe it'll be a word you've never heard of before. Like, I don't know what prate means, but I got prate today. <laughs> oh dear. And that's the, that's the, the meta there, that's what you're meant to do, but yeah, it's tricky, it's tricky. The earlier levels you can get by because you can normally recognize them, but as it gets later and there's so many fake letters and hidden letters and all that kind of stuff, damn, I'd love to see what a level, like a level 77 look like though. I want to see that. I was out by 20. Oh no, me too. As soon as they start hiding it, the answers, I really struggle because I use other people's answers to work out my own stuff. So as soon as they start hiding the answers, I am also, I, I do the big struggle. Uh, it's a food. Oh, is it? Thank you, temporary. I didn't know that. Crates of food. Hmm. I talk idly and at length chatter. I guess like prattle. Oh, okay. Talk too much to be a lacoustic, to speak for, so you to babble, so to pray. Ah. I know prattle, but I didn't know pray. Huh. Well, there you go. I have learned something new because of words today. That's not bad. I'll take that. There we go. Get that in there. And tie a little knot. 
Hell yeah. Filling in German sausages, but fried and in no casing. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Wait, that sounds delicious. Okay, I was like mildly on board when I didn't know what it was because I'm generally up for trying new foods. Like, I'll try things. I'll try most things once. Now I'm double up for it. Now, now I'm actually up for it. Now that I know that it's like German sausage adjacent. Hell yeah. Delicious. All right, where's the next one? There you are. There you are. We got a few more still in this round. Then we can neaten up the edges. Yeah, we are getting there. We're making very good progress, honestly. Uh, need to use it in my daily life more. Yeah, I, I do feel like because of words, I have learned quite a few new words because I guess when you become an adult, especially if you're doing the same thing over and over again, like, you know, I, I do a lot of embroidery and sewing. So I hear a lot of embroidery and sewing terminology, but like specifics elsewhere, I don't really hear so much of. Words, words introduces me to a lot of words I wouldn't normally ever have the reason to learn. That's cool. The one thing I wish, and I've talked about this before, I'd be really up for if they did words in other languages. Because it would be a really fun challenge, right? You know, for someone, say if you're like learning a language, and then you do words on stream in that other language, like it'd be a really good like memory way of getting, getting the words into your brain because you're like trying to work it out from a, a language you don't normally speak. I'd love that. I'd love it if they did words in other languages. I'm sure it's a lot of programming work is the thing. Uh, because obviously it's a, a, word, a game based on the dictionary. I guess you have to program the whole dictionary in. But, uh, oh man, that would be so cool. I would love that. I would love that. If they ever did that one day, we would definitely play it. Oh dear. It would just be a fun way of like incorporating other language, honestly. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. Uh, you can import a direct dictionary into your code. Oh, can you? Ooh. Okay, so that's probably how they did it, you think? Maybe that would also explain why certain words were omitted as well, if they weren't in the dictionary at the time when they did it. Because I guess there are certain newer words in the dictionary that might not count if they were, weren't in the dictionary, whatever dictionary they submitted. Oh, in that case, then I guess maybe it's more realistic that they might do this one day than I thought. Yeah, I would be really down for like words on stream in other languages, honestly. Uh, I just think it'd be like a really fun challenge and it'd also give people because we have a lot of people in this community that aren't first language intra English It'd give a lot of people in the community a real ch time to shine like, you know, lead the pack If we did it in Spanish and you spoke Spanish You would have like that advantage and you could you could help everyone else out and you could be the one lead the pack And then same if we switched to Dutch because I know we have a lot of Dutch speakers Ah, oh, dear, that'd be cool. Or German. I know we have a few German speakers as well. That'd be really really cool. I'd, lo I'd love that. Okay, I have to find if words on stream can do that. That'd be really cool. Uh, both of them in British. Yeah, I know we've had that with colour before, where like colour comes up twice. And a few other things. Uh, was it possum? Maybe came up twice? Raccoon comes up twice? Because like, there's two spellings of it? Yeah, like ones like that. I'd love to be words on stream in Japanese. That'd be really cool. Would flex with the R letters? Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the thing though. It would, give, it would give people a real chance to flex their own language. And also for people like me who maybe don't speak the language would then give me a chance to learn a few things. Pick a few bits and bobs up. In a way that's more likely to stick, because like, I don't know about you guys, but for me playing games and that sort of stuff tends to make stuff stick in my mind a little bit more. So it helped me, like, not that I'm necessarily looking to learn like a hundred languages, I don't think they'd fit in my brain at this point, but I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't mind learning a little bit. That'd be kind of cool. Good excuse to practice a second language. No, Japanese does have a lot of homophones. Yeah, I guess it might have to be like set up slightly differently depending on the kind of language, but it would be really cool to see. It would be really, really cool to see if they did that. I don't I, I don't know if they have any plans to incorporate other languages, but I'd like it. I'd like it a lot. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep an eye out for it. If they ever do announce that, I'm down. <laughs> I'd be down to do it. We could do, uh, if we're doing like four or five streams a week, we could try a different language each each day. That'd be kind of fun. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Ah. All right, let's neaten up these corners again. Here we go. Get this bit to go into here. And then on the other side, do the same thing. Nice. 
You think we should, babe? No, I kind of want to do the whole thing. I kind of want to do the whole thing and then neaten the whole thing up so that it looks like an absolute mess. Let's get it as messy as we physically can. And I'll take a really good picture of it where I haven't neatened anything up. And then, and then we'll do all the neatening and I'll take a picture afterwards so we have like a proper before and after. It's always so tempting to neaten it as you go, which is what I normally do to be honest, because then you end up seeing like a lot more progress as you go. But I think for once, for once, let's make it as messy as possible first before we meet, meet it up. We'll do the whole thing. Oh dear, yeah, definitely give it some thought for making a program like that, yeah. I only know a bit of other languages, I uh, only fluent in English, but I would love to have a, po I'll be a polyglot someday, yeah! Having my Canadian French ads while talking about English vocabulary lists with my brain. Oh dear, French would be another one where it'd be cool to have it. I know we have a few French speakers, even from Canada, but also just from France as well. Yeah, although I will say already, for some reason, and I don't know why this is, all of the French players, like the people whose first language is French and then they speak English as well, they always do better than us at words. So I don't know if they need the advantage. The French people are already doing really good. They don't, they don't need any extra advantages. They're too good at words already. If anything, we need to nerf them. For some reason, the way that French must work, their understanding of language is just above, above, and I don't understand. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whew. Ah. <coughs> Sorry, so I went in the wrong pipe for a second there. Ah, uh, the only problem I have with making a game like that, be hooking it to Twitch chat. I don't know the net, uh, network programming so much. The French advantage, yeah. They're always really good at words on stream, and I don't know why. Knowing two languages is weird because you kind of have to put your brain in French, uh, English, and then French, and sometimes your brain just merges both. I know a few of my friends, so. I've been lucky that quite a few of my friends are smarter than me and are Duolingo- Duolingo? They speak more than one language, you know? Uh, and they're like brought up speaking more than one language. And I know a couple of them would have this interesting thing where when they were talking amongst themselves, they would be speaking with both languages. I don't know if there's a name for that, but like for instance, a couple of my friends spoke Spanish fluently. When they would talk to each other, like separately from everyone else, they would be doing this interesting mixture of like, yeah, English and Spanish, like within this, like, so for me, as someone who might have been listening, I could hear like the odd English word in there, but I wouldn't be able to put the whole sentence together because it was like a weird mixture of both. But again, they only did that with each other, I would say. I, they weren't like doing that to the rest of us because obviously we wouldn't understand. But yeah, no, I don't know if there's a name for that when you speak in both at the same time. But uh, yeah, heckin' jealous, one day. Oh dear. Well, people who speak multiple languages are better at uh, activation proliferation with other vocab schemes. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. It, that, I can see that code switching. You can do that a lot in the right context. Spanglish! Oh, is it called Spanglish? Oh, okay. It's totally a thing and it's really cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd say both. Yeah, a ton. Or you say an English word in French pronunciation. It's like, no, that's wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Fringlish? Fring Franglish? Is a thing too. There's like a little bit of both. It's called code switching, yeah. As someone who only speaks one language fluently, Spanish is the closest I have to another language. I am a lot more confident reading Spanish though than I am speaking it, which I think makes sense. I think that's generally how it goes with language. Um, but yeah, Spanish is the closest I have to a second, which is not that good. I, like if somebody typed to me I could probably work out but the problem is speaking is so much faster than typing so I need the extra time because it's not quick so like, I can work out what you're saying but you have to give me a while so yeah I tend, I tend to I watch quite a few Spanish streams though I'm trying to get better at like my listening but I find it hard I find it a lot harder to listen to people than I do reading it so like I could read the Twitch chat and kind of understand what they're talking about, but when I listen to the streamer themselves, because they're speaking at a normal rate, I'm there like, oh, it's too quick. I, I can't, my brain can't keep up with translating it. Yeah, I'm sure like when you become fluent in something, you can, you can translate at the same speed so it doesn't feel like you're behind. But yeah, I'm definitely not there. I'd love to get there one day, but I'm not there yet. Oh dear. Wah. 
There we go. To be honest, I'd love to learn just a little bit more about a lot of languages. I don't think I'll ever be able to speak all of them. But if I could just know a little teeny tiny bit of them. A little teeny tiny bit. A morsel. A morsel of information. I wouldn't mind a bit of that. I wouldn't mind a little bit of that. That'd be alright. I just fully immersed myself in fandoms when I was a preteen Hunger Games. I've heard so many English processes extremely really quickly compared to school level. Super grateful that I did that. Yeah. Oh dear. What time are you finishing stream today? We'll probably go for another two hours, but I can't go too much longer than six hours today, unfortunately, because I need to make a lasagna. <laughs> So, so I I am being limited by lasagna. <laughs> uh, so yes, today today will probably be around a six hour on the dot stream if I had to guess, because I must give my time to lasagna. It will be a really good lasagna. I make a good lasagna. We make a vegetable lasagna, and it's oh, I'm very proud of my vegetable lasagna. To, to like this is how proud I am. It's one of the few meals that I will confidently serve my parents and feel like I've done a good job because my parents are both really, really good cooks, to be honest, and so it's kind of intimidating to bring them a recipe that isn't one of their own because they're so good at it. Uh, but lasagna is the one. Lasagna is the one where I'm like, that one, I can make that and I will be proud of it and I know that you'll like it because it's good. Yeah. So yeah, I have to, but I have to make it. <laughs> Oh dear. I've been learning Japanese and my brain still takes long to process spoken Japanese. Yeah, because it's so much quicker than when you can like take your time reading and like working it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, lasagna's a good reason to end stream. Yum! Thank you, anime, for popping into the YouTube. I hope you're doing well. Planning on a gaming stream tonight. I don't want to... Oh, bless you. Listen, if you go live before before we we are we are have ended, I would love to raid into you if you happen to be live. So I feel like if you wanted to start a bit earlier. You could if you wanted to, but only if you wanted to. Oh, because I know I haven't been able to raid into Cthulhu for like over a year, <laughs> a while. Lasagna is a good reason to end stream. Yeah, I must end stream for the lasagna, but it's a good lasagna. Oh dear, lasagna is a good use of energy. I love lasagna, and we yeah we do like a vegetable lasagna. So I spend a long time like cooking the veggies and like chopping them into teeny tiny pieces and like stewing them and lots of spices and herbs and all that kind of stuff so they become really tasty and flavorful i generally use well you couldn't use a lot but i like courgette as my main veggie they're like the bulking up veggie and then obviously you have like onions and peppers and uh, we use spinach because i like putting spinach in it because it kind of ties a lot of it together i don't feel like you'd have to use spinach but i like spinach and the recipe always calls for carrots, but I prefer other things. I prefer to replace the carrots with something else, but the, re the original recipe is like carrots, but carrots are cheap, which is good, but I prefer other things. Ah, oh, dear. Oh my god. Clapping! Good morning! Welcome on in! I hope you're doing well. Feed. Is this unrequited or are you just quiet? I'm stuck here on this one way street. It has been a long week, even though it's only Tuesday. <laughs> Since I was just swimming here, what's on your mind, my dear? I think that we need to speak. Oh, dear. Kocha is so good in the lasagna, right? Because it comes with a really good creamy sauce. It's great. But I'm out of my bed. Onions and carrots are great bulking veggies. They are, they are. Oh, they're clapping. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Ooh, fish. Fish whispers. Well, that's all I can hear. Do, 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 is he whispers to me. Like fish. What is this song from? <laughs> It's from Two Point Hospital. I don't know what that means. That fish whispers are all that you need. Thank you for the hydrate. I do need to hydrate. You're right. I mean, love these onions, spinach, and walnuts. Oh, pine nuts. Pine nuts. I love pine nuts. Pine nuts are fantastic. Mmm. -hmm. Clapping. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, no, I've, been, I've just been talking about lasagna. Yeah, I'm making a lasagna tonight. And the veggie one, so it takes a while to cook it all together. Oh, and like tin tomatoes as well. So I, that that's an important one. Tin tomatoes is also in there. 
And some other bits and bobs that I've probably forgotten, like garlic. Yeah, garlic's in there. I feel like what's the other one? Garlic and something else, and then, yeah, like herb, herb and spices. And you'll cook them together, and it's really good. And yeah, it's just nice. It's just nice. I just like it. I just really like lasagna. It's great, and it's not too difficult to make, it just takes a while. But yeah, hence hence ending stream a little early so I can make the... It's like a substitute meat sauce, but it's just mainly vegetables, right? It just takes a while to cook it all together. Ah, oh, there's no time from No Straight Roads. Oh, nice! Hell yeah. Anchovies are good to add salt. See, if we had those things around more, I probably would use them. But uh, we don't We don't have normally anchovies in the house, unfortunately. Because so. that's the other thing is you can kind of just throw anything into it if you cook it. Like, because of vegetables, you cook them for long enough and they'll all kind of blend, so... Yeah, you can throw anything in, any leftovers, straight into the lasagna. <laughs> Doing okay, just some time off and being an adult, honestly nice. It's important to have little breaks, little little breaks from being an adult. Completely, completely understand, very fair. Leaves called versus in you, I believe, sorry, oh, wrong character, sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear, fair enough. I don't think I know that one, but I'm not, listen, I like mermaids. I think mermaids are cool. You will think uh, I'm not adding anchovies, but stirring them down just breaks down their bones. Yeah, and they're just like little salty things. Just little salty, salty bits and bobs. Yeah, we don't really have them in the house very often. That's the problem. But yeah, what's the source of protein and veggie lasagna? I don't know if there is a source of protein in veggie lasagna. Not, not at least in my one. I think, does the quantity that you can eat count? <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of vegetables. Um, and then you cook them down and make them into like a substitute meat sauce. And then the rest of it's kind of the same. I guess you could substitute vegan cheese if you wanted to, but it's going to be difficult to make a... It's a little more difficult, in my opinion, to make a... What do you call it? The white sauce. Right, what's the real name for it that's not white sauce? It's the bechamel sauce. It's more difficult to make the bechamel sauce uh, if you're using vegan cheese in it, yeah. But you can, but it's just a little hard. <laughs> well, I guess you could make a bechamel sauce with oat milk and then add cheese on over the top, the vegan cheese, and then just not combine them. And then they would just melt in the oven. I don't know what would happen with the oils there, uh, but <laughs> you could try. I'd just take a lactase. <laughs> oh dear. Let's do any bone down and crumble into nothing eventually. The cheese! The cheese is my protein sauce. Lots of cheese, yeah. And some veggies have protein, that's fair. Bechamel, yeah, bechamel is what I was thinking of. Excuse me, it's got cheese in it. Uh, it's a morning. <laughs> oh dear. Lots of cheese, maybe some lentils. Yeah, I like lentils, but we have lentils in so many of our other meals, I've kind of banned them from the lasagna. Sorry, lentils. You're, so, you're in so many of our other meals, it's just like, you're not allowed to touch my lasagna. You're everywhere else. You stay You stay in those recipes, you stay on my lasagna. It's probably delicious in there, but still. It's the principle of the whole thing. Of like, like I'm not just having lentils in every meal. No. Ah, oh dear. So my first, your first cat's gonna be called Bechamel? <gasps> That's a cute hacking name. Ah, oh dear. I remember when we were little, um... Because uh, we used to have, we, we make our own bechamel sauce, even like, we used to have meat lasagna growing up, I now do veggie lasagna, but we used to have meat lasagna growing up. And I would always, I remember going to the kitchen and being like, can I help? And they'd be like, yeah, sure, just stir this, this sauce, it'll be, it'll be fine, it'll take like a minute. And so you'd start, and then you'd have like your mum cackling loudly in the corner as you're like stirring a bechamel sauce for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh dear. We would then be able to claim that we helped make it, so that's that's all I wanted as a kid. Oh my god. Oh, be up, you have a nice burba! Oh, so thank you for the hydrate, Maggie, I see that. Going to have our first mother sauces. Mmm! Vaginal holidays and a, and a dumbass ginger cat called Tomato. Oh. And I get a name by calling her Lipples. This is a cool episode, but I call her Lips. Aww. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, bechamel sauce was the first, one of the first things I ever learned to make in the kitchen. Because, and to be fair, it makes sense because my my mum would also make a bechamel sauce as a base for like mac and cheese and stuff. So, and mac and cheese is my favourite meal and has always been one of my favourite meals. And so <laughs> it was important that I knew how to make a bechamel sauce. I, I can't say that I very much enjoy the process of making a bechamel sauce, to be honest. Even to this day, I find it kind of stressful because like, if it goes wrong and it gets lumpy, it's like, ayy! 
And I, I know all the things that are like, that do it, like I've had enough, t again, I'm very lucky that both my parents are very good at cooking, so I've had enough instruction of like, yeah, the reason that you're doing this is because you haven't cooked the flour enough, or you haven't done this enough, or this is too hot, and it's like, Nyum! it's still annoying. And you're cooking a bechamel sauce and it gets lumpy and you're like, ah, bugger! I've, I've done it now, it's done! So I still get a little stressed with that sort of thing, but it is very delicious. It is very delicious. Ah, oh, dear. He was Pumps and my other cat was Jasmine, so, oh, Pumps and Jazz! That's, oh my god! That's so cute, Pumps and Jazz! It is? Yeah, I love mac and cheese. Do I have to make you mac and cheese? <gasps> yes! I'll have to cut- yes! Oh my god, professional mac and cheese! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'm not against it. I'm definitely not. No, I love mac and cheese. It's it's the main reason that I started taking lactose pills because I am lactose intolerant. But if I take the pills and I don't really notice it, so yeah, it's the it's the, it's what made me go out of my way to start buying these tablets because I was just like I can't eat mac and cheese and it's my favorite meal. Like mac and cheese has always been my comfort meal. Like if I'm not feeling well or if I'm sad, I want to eat mac and cheese. And so yes, I have a. Uh, I literally got into taking lactose pills specifically so that I could still eat mac and cheese. And I don't have any regrets. It's been good for lasagna as well, honestly, because I do whack quite a bit of cheese in it. Oh dear. Oh. Mac and cheese is so good. It's just so good. It's just such a comforting food. That was the other thing, like, my parents used to make me mac and cheese. If there was, like, food that everyone was eating that, that we knew I didn't like, which when I was younger, I'm not picky as an eater now, but when I was younger, I really didn't like onions, and I didn't like the texture of onions, and I didn't like, even if they were cut into small bits, I didn't like onions. And it was, like, to the extent where if somebody put, like, even the smallest amount of onions in my meal, I would, like, gag at the table. Like, I really just couldn't eat it. So my parents were like, well, there's a lot of, you know, who, who cook a lot. They were like, well, there's a lot of onions in a lot of our meals. Uh, we're gonna have to find a way around this. And one of the things that they would do is, if we were having like spaghetti bolognese, they'd make me mac and cheese instead, so that I didn't have to have the bolognese because I would just sit there and gag, like I couldn't eat it, so... <laughs> These days though, I don't know what changed in me. Something changed, something just like snapped into place. And since then I've been... I don't mind onions at all, in fact I, I kind of love them. And I, I love the texture and the taste, and I, I don't know why that changed or how, what changed it per se but it just it just did it just did and the same with most other foods as well like most other foods that i really couldn't eat as a kid just don't bother me anymore i guess i guess i just grew out of it i don't know i got lucky i suppose because a lot of my friends still can't eat the same things that they couldn't eat as a kid whereas i can now for some reason and i don't know why i don't know when it changed either just at some point it just changed Oh, that's it. Because same with mushrooms. I will say, I still don't particularly love mushrooms. They're not my favourite in taste or texture, even when they're done very well. Uh, one of the things I had uh, on Sunday when we were having our, our wedding tasting, I tried a lot of the mushroom stuff because we were looking at a vegan vegetarian menu, right? Because I wanted to make sure that everyone could eat stuff. So I tried some of that, which I will say, one of the things they made, so people that like food in this chat will probably be more impressed with this. They made beef wellington, and instead of having uh, beef in the center, they did it much flatter, and they just had a really big, like, roasted mushroom in the center, and then they wrapped that up and everything. And so it was like a beef wellington with a massive mushroom in it. Also, Sprig, and thank you for the follow, and Bateman! 36 months, Jesus! Welcome on in! I hope you're doing well, it's been a heckin' long time! I hope you're feeling okay today as well. Bateman's been a bit under the weather. I hope you are feeling, feeling better today. I was lurking yesterday. Just being very, very lurky. Oh dear. Fire Nation attack, yeah, when the Fire Nation attacked, I suddenly started liking onions. I just... <laughs> oh, veggies for kids are awful, but as adults you feel okay with them. I, I think as well though, a lot of people don't do a lot with vegetables, right? Like, they just boil them and give them to you, and I feel like that's kind of boring. Like, I got quite lucky in that my family were like, you know, we're not just gonna boil you vegetables, we're gonna roast you vegetables. We're gonna roast you and, and spice the vegetables. The vegetables are gonna be a highlight of the meal. So I grew up not really understanding why people didn't like all vegetables. Like, there were some I didn't like. Again, onions is a great example of ones I just couldn't handle. But like, I didn't really understand why nobody that I was friends with liked vegetables until I had school dinners and realized that the vegetables they were having were like 
that. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, I understand why you don't like vegetables, because this sucks. This is disgusting. I hate this. But like, you know, roast me up some carrots and broccoli or parsnips or something in the oven. Delicious. Really, really good. And like, I couldn't understand why people wouldn't like that. But now, now I do. Now I do. Now I do. Because you make them really, like they're overcooked, sour, bitter, squishy. Like, no, I would have hated that as a kid. Oh my God, Saki, bless you. Thank you so much for the sub as well. Oh my God, that's very heckin' kind of you. Oh my God, all these vegetable lovers, they're popping by. <laughs> Thank you so much. Still kind of rough. My voice was really bad yesterday. God, you, you've been very unlucky, both you and Queenie this year. I feel like you've managed to pick up a lot of it. Oh, and CJ, bless you, you don't have to do that. Thank you for the 100 bits. That's very heckin' kind of you. Oh my God. Oh, and thank you for the hype train. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see what you did. Thank you very much for the hype train. That's very kind of you. You don't have to do that. Um, I hope you get good emotes for anyone who do did take part though. Get a good emote, uh, good fingers crossed. Power. <laughs> Thank you so much for who who got it? Turquoise! Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Turquoise. That's very heckin' kind of you. Oh dear. Oh, and y Yuri, thank you for the one bit. And Maggie, thank you for the 100 bits. Bless you guys. Enjoy. I hope you get good emotes. Th yes, thank you. You don't have to, but thank you very much. It's very heckin' kind of you. <laughs> so much screaming. Oh, dear. I hate overcooked, slimy, smelly cabbage. Exactly. Like, when people give you stuff like that, and then they're like, yeah, that's cabbage. Why don't you like it? It's like, because it's gross. That's why. I'm an adult and I don't want to eat slimy overcooked cabbage. Or, you know, overcooked broccoli gets really like sour and bitter. I don't want that. Overcooked Brussels get chewy. Like a chewy vegetable? No, thank you. I'm good. And it's like, no wonder if, they, if the vegetables that people are eating are like that. Like, God, I'd hate them all too. But yeah, if you... If you give treat vegetables with the same, like, I guess, uh, the same emphasis as you treat meats and stuff like that, God, vegetables can be delicious. Really, really, really good. Ah, oh, dear. One thing that I really, really like that we sometimes make if we have, like, a lot of leftovers in the fridge is, like, a vegetable hash. Where, like, for instance, we had parsnips in it. It's my favourite. Um, when you have, like, parsnips in it, you have, uh... You have the little tiny cubed piece of parsnips that you like caramelize on each side and they end up being crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, and they're sweet. And they're just so good! And like, they don't taste like a vegetable, they taste like a snack. <laughs> like a sweet snack. We put them into the, uh, the, the, we put them in, what do you call it? Hash to have like a, as like a crunchy element in it. It's really good. It's really hecking good. And it's not that difficult either, that one. That one's really easy. I've already got the emote already, probably. I still appreciate it though, Maggie. Thank you very heckin' much. One tiny bitty, I still appreciate it. I love the hype emote. <laughs> yeah, we thank the honest thank you. It's very heckin' kind. Oh dear, I adore Brussels sprouts roasted in an oven. So good. Yeah, and like that's how I had Brussels sprouts. And I was like, damn, yeah, these are great. And then everyone else like, I hate them. And it's like, to be fair, they do have a strong taste, even when they're cooked. Like you can taste Brussels. If you don't like that taste, it's very fair very very fair but i would say yeah a lot of the times places don't give them a proper chance to shine and i think especially if you're getting them mass produced like again like school dinners i think is a really big culprit of it and it's not their fault like that's how it has to be like it's not easy to cook dinner for thousands of kids so stuff is going to be overcooked but i think unfortunately yeah, it does put a lot of people off stuff when it's just slimy and wet and you know not even fully warm and it's like bitter because it's overcooked and it's always chewy and it's like yeah it puts people off but it's it's also like it's a difficult one because it's not really anyone specifically fault it's like it's not the school's fault they're trying to feed thousands of kids ah oh, duh and it's not the parents fault you know you don't if you have parents who work like they're not going to be home to cook for you all the time i got lucky that both my parents are very passionate about foods and that's like that's rubbed off on me but like not everyone has that lots of people have different hobbies it's not always going to be food so yeah it's it, it's tricky it's a tricky one i just have to find a way of cooking vegetables for everyone in chat and see if i can get you to like them <laughs> <laughs> I'm not opening like a cafe, it's just vegetables. It's just cooking vegetables in a variety of ways and seeing if we can encourage people to try it. You like this? It's pretty good. And it's cheap. That's a main thing to be fair. I feel like the main draws of getting into vegetables these days is that it's cheap. They can bulk out meals very quickly if you're cooking for a lot of people. Uh, 
Yeah, like carrots are very cheap. Great bulking. Oh dear, armadillo, armadillo snacks. I don't know if I've ever had an armadillo snack. Uh, aubergine is a big one for me. When you cook the public, it's gorgeous. People hate it because they've had it done badly. The first time I had aubergine, I thought I hated it because I had it in a, like a really overdone ratatouille and it was bitter as hell. And like, it was just like, it gave you the like, a, uh, as soon as you'd have it on your tongue and I just didn't like it at all. Um, but I've had it since and it was lovely. <laughs> Love it in the oven what's melon tomato. Brussels slice made in a cheese bake. My son hates broccoli, but I'll grate them into little moss bits and add them to the meatballs. Hell yeah. Veggies, legume, rice, all cheap foods. Rice is a good one, yeah. As well, legumes, yeah. We eat a lot of rice. We're big rice. We're big into rice here. Because it is, it's cheap. Like, one of the meals you'll see me have quite often for lunch is vegetable fried rice. It's delicious. And we use frozen veg for that as well, so we're not even using, like, fresh vegetables. But because it's going into fried rice, you don't really need it to be fresh vegetables because it takes on the taste of, like, the sauce that you're frying it in. So, yeah, we make veggie fried rice with frozen vegetables, and rice, egg, sauce. Thank you so much for the hype train, guys. Oh, so did you get an emote? I hope all of you got emotes. If you got it, ho I hope you got them. Ah, Den Cat, good morning, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Ah, uh, to add and disguise them in sauces and flavors and stuff. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, if you have the time, there's definitely ways you can disguise them too. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah. yeah. But today I had bacon and that was delicious. Listen, I like vegetables an awful lot. I like meat too. <laughs> I just don't eat a lot of meat. That is the problem as well though, if you go like a long time without eating a lot of meat because we don't eat a lot of meat in this household, it fills you up really quickly. <laughs> like, I can't eat that much anymore without feeling really, really full, which I guess is fine, but when the food is delicious you want to eat more of the food. And so, yeah, I get full up really, really, really quickly now, unfortunately. It is what it is, I guess. But, ah, bang. Oh dear. Also have a lovely work look. Take care of yourself. Good luck. I hope it goes well. I am also sinking, I think. Two seconds. Let me just let me just scooch this up a little bit. Go. <laughs> I only sunk a little bit, but I felt it. I felt myself going. Oh dear. Yeah, I can't eat as much meat anymore. Like that was another thing we were trying this weekend and uh, I was I was getting so full. <laughs> like I had to label a lot of that to shiny because I was like, I'm so sorry, it's delicious. I'm just really filling up really quickly because I'm not used to eating this much meat and they're giving us like, you know, slices of beef and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, it's delicious, but <sighs> I'm full, I'm full. I've got more things to eat. One thing I did have though, which I really liked and I've never had it like this before. This might be quite a polarizing one. Broccoli and Stilton soup. Do we have any broccoli and Stilton soup fans? Because let me tell you, I had such a delicious broccoli and Stilton soup on Sunday. The way that they did it, they just really delicious like broccoli soup, like really, really lovely, but it wasn't very strong of Stilton. So I was having like a, I was having like a little bite of it and I was like, it's really nice, but I can't taste the Stilton, which is odd because Stilton's so strong, right? And then I noticed that it was like underneath my spoon and there was like two layers to the soup. So it was like a broccoli soup on top and a Stilton soup underneath. And the Stilton soup had like melted Stilton in it. So as you stirred it, not only did you have like the two soups mixing together and making a beautiful broccoli and Stilton soup, but you also had these strings of Stilton through it, which were just beautiful. And they added like a real hit every now and again, like every, every few bites you'd be like, oh, so it tastes different every time you, oh, it was so good. I only real, I guess if you like broccoli and Stilton soup, would you really like that? It's great, yee! Oh dear. And you like it too? Hands up! Hell yeah! Bro Stilton? Yes, broccoli? Yeah. Ah, oh, I can't stand it. Fair enough. I like broccoli and Stilton. I love broccoli and Stilton. And this was probably... No, I say this wasn't properly. This was easily, hands down, the best broccoli and Stilton, Stilton soup that I ever had. It's not at the wedding, I will say. We vetoed it because um, we can only have a certain amount of foods and a lot of family don't like st broccoli and Stilton soup. So I got to eat it, but it's not at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> just just me just me got to eat it <laughs> because my, like my family some of them like it but not a lot of shiny's family won't like it so it's like if you don't like stilton unfortunately it's a difficult one to get over because it is quite strong and it's strong in this soup as well so we've had to go for something else instead but i had to bring it up because it was so good Oh dear. Less volume of meat compared to non-meat things which is going back to veggie is such a trans yeah transition again yeah 
I think leeks are underrated. Leeks are delicious. Really good. Because uh, I'm having to come up with a volume of food to get filled up again, yeah. Like, it's 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 odd. It is odd. You just get used to it, and it's like, suddenly you used to have meat again, it's so filling. But then if you're doing it the other way around, you need to eat a lot to get that same feeling. Ah, uh, Liga High Bean and Cheese Stew is my favourite comfort meal, otherwise known in our household as Cheesy Wheezy Beans! <laughs> I oh, listen, that sounds delicious. I love cheese with everything is good. I love fried asparagus with salt too. Yeah, asparagus is great. A bit more expensive on the veggie side of things, but still really, really good. It's just an expensive vegetable, but it's a nice vegetable and I'll go for it. Oh my God, it's out of cactus right? How was your practice today? For anyone who doesn't know Cactus Room, incredibly talented classical guitarist, an absolute joy to listen to. If you're looking for somewhere to chill out, and like have some good vibes for a while, listen to some really beautiful practice and some really beautiful songs. Definitely check out Cactus Room, they're a fantastic musician. How was your stream? I hope you had a good one, welcome on in. Also for anyone new here, hello, hi, my name is Jelly. I am a cosplayer based in the UK. I have a specific interest in beading, sequining and embroidery. And at the moment we're making a bit of a mess, but don't worry about it. It's going to end up looking like this, but bigger. Uh, and it's for a costume we're making for the collector from the Owl House. We also do little embroideries. Here's some dinosaurs we made this month. And um, if you haven't seen any of our cosplays before, we have one somewhere. <laughs> Where did I put it? There it is. Here's a costume we've made previously. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> welcome on in, Yank and Cactus. And then we have Aldenet, welcome on in, and Tex, welcome on in. Practice was really good. Had a super production setting today. Oh my god, congratulations. Hell yeah. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know as well, I also, I am not as skilled as Cactus Room. Cactus Room is honestly a wonderful example of a, a, just an incredibly talented classical guitarist. But I did classical guitar growing up, and I did quite a few competitions and stuff like that. And then I got thoroughly entwined into anime and video games, and I just, now I just play anime and video games on classical guitar and I'm very happy but yeah I, I absolutely love listening to, to Cactus Room because I got into classical guitar for a reason and it's because I love classical guitar <laughs> so being able to listen to Cactus Room always makes me really happy <laughs> Ah oh dear, came in with kind of a Moogle, welcome on in! Well, wait, wait, Moogle, in that case, you are also a Final Fantasy fan, no? Um, yeah, that was from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I've also done Zorn and Fawn from Final Fantasy IX. I've done Ico from Final Fantasy IX. I've done Lakshmi from Final Fantasy XIV, the MMO. We're big Final Fantasy fans here. <laughs> we like them a lot. And I now just play Final Fantasy on classical guitar. <laughs> I married the whole wedding cost 200 that includes venue hire and license I didn't get to do all the fancy fun stuff there's a boss about five wow wow hecking rude hecking rude I would feel a bit hard done by by that as well honestly I I think I I would also be like oi oi how come my wedding was so much what and then the five up what excuse me the crazy girl, I should say as well cactus I'm assuming you've just done a really long practice session if you need to go and eat sleep chill i don't know soak your hands <laughs> if you need to go have some some chill times please do as much as you are very welcome here if you need to go lurk immediately I completely understand and for anyone who else who is sticking around we are doing a really really big piece of smocking right now we've also been talking about vegetables but we're doing a really big piece of smocking we've not done any of the neatening yet but yeah eventually this side will end up looking like this it just it's very early days yet so you've joined right at the beginning and alsnet thank you so much for the follow as well it's very kind of you yes <laughs> impressively cheap yeah it is i naive or is there is there more than one final fantasy is there a penultimate fantasy <laughs> the penultimate fantasy <laughs> like, so far there's not been but we can't say that there isn't so there's final fantasies at the moment 1 to 16 as mainline games you also have strangers of paradise as like an extra prelogue or prologue technically kind of it's a weird one but then you have a lot of spin-offs you have dissidia you have uh, tactics and tactics advance uh, so it's just like, and also a couple of the Final Fantasies, like Final Fantasy XIV, even though it is like a, it's like one of the main line almost, it's an MMO, so it's not quite the same. Same with Eleven. Um, you also have like X and X2, so it's it's a bit confusing. There's just an awful lot of Final Fantasy. You also have Final Fantasy characters turning up in Kingdom Hearts, if you want to get really confusing and go into other games where Final Fantasy characters pop up. That happens. Uh, so yeah, no, it's it's kind of huge, but I don't believe there is actually a Final Fantasy yet. Like, there's not a final one. They're just, they're all final. 
<laughs> or none of them are final, I guess. Separated for eight years, everything was already separated. There's just a cost of the judge signing the paperwork. I'm glad it was at least just that, though. Guess whose tablet died as she sat down for a snack? A vibe. I'm so sorry. You know, the, the real horror is not being able to watch Twitch, YouTube, or other things while eating. That's sad. I always need to watch something while eating these days. That's the catch. They're all final. Yeah, for me personally, I'm big into Final Fantasy IX. That's the one that I started with, and it's my big nostalgia one. We have done speedruns of Final Fantasy IX, but generally I just love IX. I'm still hoping that we get a remake for IX one day. Um, I'm, I'm just a really, really big fan of IX. I really love the story, I love the characters, I, I love everything about it. I do love Seven as well. Ten, I am probably is actually my- is Ten my second favourite? Ten might be my second favourite. I want to play Six. Six is next on the list of ones I wish to play, because I've heard really good things about it. Uh, and yeah, I played Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten, Thirteen, Fourteen, Fifteen. Yeah. But I, I didn't do the earlier one, so I need to go back and play the earlier. Oh dear. Wah. Which I will do at some point. Again, six is six is highest on the list right now, but I'm 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 up for some of the earlier ones on that as well. They've all had pixel remasters as well, so it's much easier to play them than it used to be, which is nice. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no, big Final Fantasy fan. It is interesting though that this costume is not Final Fantasy because normally all of my really big costumes are Final Fantasy based, mainly just because although I love entering cosplay competitions and I like competing, I also just really like meet like the, the meetups, like the fan meetups. And so I normally would make Final Fantasy costumes because I love going to Final Fantasy fan meetups and talking to other people that also love the game. So to spend this long on a, on a costume that is not Final Fantasy is very odd for me. A bit out there but I do still love the Owl House a lot it's much newer and there is less content for the Owl House than f the entirety of Final Fantasy funnily enough but uh yeah no I'm, I'm still happy yeah for anyone who's just popping in for the first time we are making the collector from the Owl House but we are doing it only using techniques that would have been popular in the 16th century specifically like we're looking at more royalty in the 16th century or like the upper class um, so we are doing a lot of hand stitching techniques in particular at the moment we are working on a process called smocking which is the process of like you draw a grid and then you do lots of knots and folds and ties to make it look really pretty at the moment this is how far we've got it is it doesn't look like very much but it, it's quite a slow process but in the end yeah it's gonna end up looking a little bit more like this so once you've gone over it and stitched and painted and, and made everything look pretty it ends up becoming really really detailed and very ornate but we're not there yet. We'll get there. Uh, honestly, we'll, we'll get there in the maybe within the week. That's the thing with them all being hand techniques. It's very slow work, but it's fun work. It's relaxing work. It's a it's a slow brain effort work. Oh dear. What? There we go. All right. Let me get all of this sort of back out again. It's having a bit of a moment there. There we go. That's better. Ooh. Yeah, I'm doing, yeah, I'm, I'm happy we're doing an Hour House cosplay, to be honest. I, I, it is nice being able to talk about the Hour House as well. That's the thing, I think Final Fantasy can be a little intimidating for people if they're a bit newer to it, because there's so much going on in there already, and it's like, if you ask a different person what's the best Final Fantasy to start with, they'll all give you different answers. And obviously, for me, I'm always going to say 9, but I don't, I, I don't know, I don't actually know if I do believe. Nine is a wonderful story for Final Fantasy. If you're if you're someone who is very interested in story, seven though the remake for seven is a probably a pretty good place to start because I haven't played the remake, but I know the story of seven is good, and I imagine with it being remade, it's a bit more accessible to more people. Seven probably. Now we just need a remake of nine so that I can wholeheartedly recommend nine. <laughs> My friend did a great hootie cosplay. Oh no. The thing is, I bet it is great. I bet it's fantastic. Hootie is just very upsetting. Amazonia, have you watched The Owl House? I can't remember. I think it's just probably a very upsetting costume, but it's, it, I'm sure it's great. Hootie is a, it's a character in The Owl House and they are effectively an owl worm, but there's just something, it's difficult to explain why Hootie is disturbing. You have not. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. It's difficult to explain why Hootie is disturbing until you see them interact with the world around them. <laughs> and then it begins, and then, and then. Oh, dear, should I get the Discord? Hell yeah, that means we get to see it in like 10. I've been creating an imaginary wedding in my head because I, I, I would like to get married again and have a good wedding this time. It's just not gonna happen 
Uh, not yet at least, because I want my husband to dance one step with me and no one... Uh, I have ever a relationship with dancers! Aww. Could they not learn for the for the wedding in particular, like go to some dance lessons? Even if it was like a simpler dance, you could, you could learn a simple dance probably a little quickly. Oh, dear. it's on the list. That's fair. That's very fair. Oh, dear. Just a, just a teeny tiny little dance, maybe. Specifically for the wedding day. I mean, I don't dance at all. Then again, we, we need for us dance. I, I, I'm also not particularly good at dancing. I, he's probably, yeah. But we will do like a first dance, but again, it's not going to be a main feature. The main feature of the wedding is just having family and eating Eating with fam, having nice snacks. Oh dear. Hell yeah. Ah, I'm thinking they don't want to, so no, but it's moot anyway. I'm not getting married anytime soon. That's fair, that's fair. Understood, understood. I mean, for us, we've been engaged for four, three years? Three years, I think. It'll be about three and a half years, I think. I got engaged around yeah i think it's around three years ago should remember probably <laughs> um yeah we 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 were getting engaged to say that we were engaged but like we weren't planning to get married anytime soon after that anyway i want to see surprise it's happened as quickly as it has <laughs> we thought we could have been waiting another five ten years honestly uh i seem to have relationship people that are bad picky eaters and hate eat anything a lot of my friends are very picky eaters like it, it, it's i think it's uh, relatively common right yeah a lot of my friends are very very picky the thing is it's nice in some ways for me at least because i'm not a picky eater whatever they fancy eating i will go with them which is nice like as long as not everyone is picky that you can kind of work around like they're my friends if they don't want to eat somewhere i'm not i'm not gonna go out there and make them eat there so yeah for me, it's it's good. Because I'm like, whatever you want to eat, I will eat that too. You want to eat there? Let's go eat there. I don't mind if we eat at the same place every single time. Fine, doesn't bother me at all. I'll eat anything. <laughs> I am a little goat. <laughs> I'll eat anything. Oh, dear. Oh. Being married until recently? I'm not going to marry, uh, I don't think. That's very fair. That's very fair. Yeah, I never imagined myself getting married, to be honest. <laughs> like married to anything else other than my crafts madness i also didn't think i'd find anyone who would care to marry me considering how into my crafts i am but there we are <laughs> what's up dan good afternoon thank you so much for the prime sub thank you for stealing money directly out of jeff bezos pocket and giving it to me i very much appreciate wow. it thank you so much and thank you for the party Audi. hell yeah it's very happy kind of you only one friend i don't wow. like and i'm the opposite of fancy i don't like wow. white cheese is it because they look like the eyeballs because that's what sold me on light cheese i don't like the taste of them that much but i like the idea that i'm eating eyeballs so i that makes me laugh <laughs> rotten eyeballs yeah <laughs> the exact reason you don't like it is the reason that i like it because <laughs> it feels like i'm eating eyeballs <laughs> If you like the party, come on and move your body. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember a friend of mine being like, they're like eyeballs, and I was like instantly interested in them. And so I, don't, I think lychee taste is okay. It doesn't fuss. I'm not that fussed. The, the taste is whatever to me. But I like that they look like tiny eyeballs, and I like eating them while looking people dead in the eyes. It gives me joy. <laughs> If I was on a drug, I was a cute little- Oh, bless you. I appreciate the thought. Hell yeah. I am just a small goat. I plan to marry me, just me and my partner who need to be a witness under the stars and have a big massive dinner party a few days later. So no big table full of food. That's very fair. With all friends and family, that's like, oh, so one- Oh, sorry, not with- No, with one big table full of food and lots of friends and family. That would be heckin' lovely. It reminds me of seeing a dead sheep. With the, uh, okay, well, that's, that's a bit graphic. That's a little graphic there. Oh dear, maybe a bit, a bit too much, a bit too much. Ah, <laughs> oh, French is nice to be each to their own. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'll pretty much eat anything. Is there anything I won't eat? Oh, there's a couple things I don't eat, but that's because I was brought up not eating them. Uh, so I guess it technically, it's not that I don't like them though. I guess per se, it's just as like 
No one in my family eats them, so I don't eat them either. Veal is one of them. People in my family don't eat veal, so I don't eat veal. Lamb's another one. People in my family don't really eat lamb, so I don't eat lamb. Um, but I think that's for more other reasons. I think that's because it's baby animal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think it's because of the taste because I've had I've had lamb and it tastes fine it doesn't bother me but I'm not gonna eat things around my family that make them uncomfortable so and also we just don't really eat meat and lamb's expensive and so I wouldn't wouldn't eat it anyway <laughs> but yeah that's the only one I can think of where I'm like but I guess it's not from being necessarily a picky eater it's I guess a, a choice I don't know I don't know how exactly that counts but it's I guess technically Thing is though, if, if I went around someone's house and they were like, here's lamb, I'm not gonna be like, I won't eat it. Like, I'll eat it, I just won't buy it, I guess? I don't know. I guess it fits into the same with every meat though, because again, I wouldn't buy any meat because it's expensive. <laughs> and I'm a very cheap person. <laughs> and because I'm a goat and I'll eat basically anything, why not eat the cheapest stuff possible, right? Also, here's the little mess that I've been making. There it is. A little mess. This is a little messy thing. I like it though. I, I can there's potential in this mess. Hell yeah. There you go. You wouldn't download a car. <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't download a car. Uh, did how long this? It was like yeah. So I was on in front of a field. So I was over. Yeah. I think probably it's a bit of an intense description for if that's okay for my crafting stream, because uh, that would normally need like a pretty intense trigger warning on it. If that's okay, power. So, uh, yeah, bit, bit too, I can understand why it would have traumatized you because yeah, that's an intense description. But yeah, we also don't want to upset anybody else. I might just delete the original one if that's okay. I know you don't mean any harm, just to be clear, but uh, yeah, that might be, oh no, wait, how do I delete it? There you go, tell me, no, you're fine. I know you don't mean any harm. It's just a bit, a bit too intense for a little crafting stream. Now, if we were playing Resident Evil, Ah, now there, now there, <laughs> that would have been the right stream. But yeah, no, not for a little craft, not for a little crafting one. You have to wait till we next play a gruesome horror game. <laughs> oh dear. Which might not be this week after all. Potential in this mess, perfect phrasing for crafting. There is potential in this mess. I can't wait to take a picture of the before and after though. You will, <laughs> the results will shock you. <laughs> You'll never believe picture number seven. No, you, it, it does look so different before and after. Oh dear. Uh, hello, back- Were you into Hobbycraft? Did you manage to control yourself? Or did you buy all of it? Buy everything? What did you get? I hope you had a nice time. Glad to have met you, but after- No, you're fine. You are absolutely fine. Get some heckin' air, because Cactus goes for a long time. They do. Which is perfect for me, because it means I get to actually watch them. But uh, yes, no, I, I totally understand. As someone who also watches Cactus, <laughs> go go take a nice break, get some air, get some maybe nice, nice new drink and such. Yeah, Cactus practices. God, so long. It's It's very impressive. I get it. You know, I'm the same like that with my crafts, but it's always impressive to see someone so dedicated to like, I don't know, a craft? Whatever the craft is. And again, I'm very biased. I love classical guitar, so. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Oh. Gosh, these warnings at the beginning of movies really freak me out. Now it's funny because now I'm <laughs> genuinely terrified as a kid. Oh dear. I have a from the other day, so it's stuck in my memory. I see. I bought some stuff to frame them out. Like, oh, your mouse hold Pokemon cards and some herringbone tape for the costume. Nice. Hell yeah. Honestly, very reserved of you. It seems like you only bought things you, you actively needed. Wow. I mean, maybe I'm projecting a little bit, but hacking impressive. I find it really hard in Hobbycraft because they have so... The, the thing with Hobbycraft... I don't, is, actually, before I go into this, Hobbycraft is not international, is it? Is it just in the UK that we have Hobbycrafts? Because if I could explain what Hobbycrafts are for anyone who doesn't have one, um, if, if necessary. I think it kind of gives it away in the name a little bit, but Hobbycraft is a really big store normally in the UK. You often find them in like retail parks and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it... <laughs> <laughs> they're really really big and they have like a lot of different crafts in them so you're talking not just sewing it's normally like sewing knitting embroidery crochet cooking baking jam cricket uh, and lots of all the, the laser cutting and bits and bobs like that they have felt they have kits like from start to finish uh, they've stickers journaling papers felts 
like like whatever crafts you could think of there's probably something adjacent in there within hobby craft they they have a lot of different stuff in there which is why queen has been very reserved to go in and only get exactly what they need because it's effectively like a massive often like multi-floor building where they just have craft stuff everywhere for e loads of different crafts lots and lots of different things it's really hard at least for me it's really hard to go into hobbycraft and just buy the one thing that you need when there are hundreds of other like potential hobbies you could pick up for me the sticker section and the journaling section is really hard because i'm interested in journaling but i know that i don't have the space for it so every time i go past it in hobbycraft i'm like hold it together don't go buy it you can't pick up another hobby you're busy right now uh, but it's hard it's hard because they have so much they also do like a lot of craft storage and stuff like that which i also really really like they do airfix model making like a little bit of everything there's so much ah oh, dear very much what i had for looking in mind there's definitely some tempting things yeah okay hobbycraft is uk only they're comparable to michael's in the usa but obviously the usa stores are much bigger yeah for sure they're big for the uk but they're probably not big comparatively to america i don't know what hobbycraft is but i'm guessing it's similar to michael's yeah see look it's uh, similar to michael's don't they do dollhouse miniatures? They do, yes, miniatures. Multi-floored? Yeah. Just, you, uh, John just got five pound off when you spend 15, so I spent 40. <laughs> That's a very typical hobby craft experience. Oh yeah, five could off when I spend 15, 40 quid. <laughs> I've never seen a craft all that big before. Michael's is never that big. It's they're often in retail parks, so they get much bigger spaces. Um, we have a few of them in Wales, even, which is really really nice. Uh, because often, often we don't have everything that England has. But for hobby crafts, we do. We have some really big ones as well, and they're they're all really nice in their own way. Yeah, there's a there's a few, and they're big. Oh, so big! You welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We welcome on in. You've joined a hobby streamer or hobby craft hobby craft streamer. <laughs> Not sponsored by Hobbycraft, unfortunately. But uh making making cosplays and lots of smocking and sewing. Uh, I have to avoid the storage section or I'd buy it all. Yeah, the craft storage is so good. I love it. And it's all pretty and there's lots of like rainbow sets and stuff like that. Pastels. You like colourful storage, it's lovely. Which one of Michael's or a Target? I'd love to try shopping in them. I've never been, so I'm, I don't know much about it, but I've heard about Michael's and I'd like to try. Everyone's ears and chat really perked up at the big one. <laughs> oh dear. I got a head off. Oh no, Karen, I'll say you're fine. Take care of yourself. Have some. Have a lovely rest of your Tuesday. I hope that it goes well. It was lovely to see you. Oh, speaking of, we need to do a Discord art share as well. Let me get this stitch in and then we'll, we'll go do it since the timer has hit zero. Break time. Yeah, I just noticed that as well. I don't know how long it's been at zero for, but it is time that I do a quick Discord art share and see what other people are working on. You have like just a quick minute because I just need to tie a knot. If you are wanting to share any art in the Discord, if you're not already in the Discord, you can exclamation mark Discord and it'll get you the link to join. If you're already in there, you should find all the different categories you can post your arts and crafts into if you do want to share them and I'll pop them up on stream. We can all have a little look at what everyone's been doing. But only if you want to. If you do not want to post your whip, you're completely fine. Don't worry. I get you. You're fine. Oh dear. I just need to get a little knot in so I don't lose this bit. There we go. I recently got myself a crack on an illness cart and it's a game changer to have the tool I need right next to me all the time. You got mine off Amazon, but they do have them at Hobbycraft and they have them in pastel colours and it's it's incredibly rude. How dare they make them look so cute because then I want to buy them every time I go in and I'm only going in for like one piece of embroidery thread, but then I see those and I'm like, I could take 10 maybe. <laughs> Put them in every room in the house. That sounds great. Oh dear. All right, there we go. Okay, we've got it in. Here's how our, our little mess is looking. I love it. It's cute. Let's see how everyone else is doing. All right, we'll pop back over. So we are looking at the Discord. None of this is mine. Credit goes to the people that made it. If we look in cosplay and sewing, oh, I won't be able to show this on stream except for this. Uh, if I remove these too quickly, sorry, sorry, sorry. I can show you the preview, but once I click it, Discord will freeze. So I will probably have a look at it after just so I don't freeze my Discord. But this is, you can see from the little the little preview image, there it is, a heckin' hoodie and hunter, which is really heckin' cool. That is, that's really, that's very heckin' nice. Also, did by any chance, yeah, anime post more pattern pieces? So it's really subtle, but anime is a very, very good pattern drafter. And they, they have drafted on stream many, many patterns and they're very good at it. They're very neat, they're very meticulous. And this is another one of their patterns, but this one's specifically for trousers. 
which is really hacking cool. I mean, it's always a joy to watch them make those things live as well. Like when they're drawing up pans, it's lovely. Really, really nice. Oh dear, I'm saving to buy a car. Nice. I found a car on wheels recently on a walk with Banjo. So I bought a home, cleaned it up and now, yeah, it's a go. Hell yeah. All right, going across to General Crafts. Ooh, this is the, yeah, the Game of Thrones diamond painting. So they're like getting into the throne now I can see. It's getting there, it's getting there. This is huge. <laughs> this is gonna have a few more whips, I think, before it's done. Oh wait, they've been doing this side as well? <gasps> Look at that. They are cre creeping into the center on both sides now. Heckin' impressive, well done, Gina. You've got a heckin' lot of work done. Let me, let me give you some hype and some claps because you have been, you've been doing a heckin' lot. And then we've got, oh wait, is this? <gasps> oh my God, the little the little mushrooms oh my god they're so cute oh heckin lovely i was gonna say was this yours carrie this is really really nice yeah tasty i don't know they're purple so i'm not sure if those are for eating but they're very heckin nice mm. i love mushrooms i love mushrooms and toadstools the, the aesthetic of mushrooms and toadstools and like fairy forests very heckin cool oh wait i want mush mushroom there we go <laughs> and then i can see in live stream chat we have ah oh, yeah so schleaves is actually using this time to plant some seeds right now so wait what a mess we're tidying in the garden we wait did you get a hedgehog <gasps> oh my god heck so yeah schleaves is in the garden doing some pottering around getting some uh some seeds planted for the year there's a hedgehog in their garden oh my god Oh my god, that's that's mad. You just don't really see hedgehogs. If there's something in the day, it's like wrong with it. Well, it's probably that Schleaves has disturbed it from doing the the gardening. To be honest, if it's in a garden, I, it doesn't look. Yeah, I would I would have assumed because every now and again, when our gardeners would be like cutting down stuff, you'd see like a hedgehog move somewhere else. It's probably that it was asleep, and then Schleaves was like, "And I'm gonna cut something down," and the hedgehog was like, "Well, I'm out then." <laughs> Because, yeah, obviously if you see them running around into the in, in the day when there's nothing moving them, then it's concerning. But yeah, if you're if you're pottering around the garden a lot, it makes a lot more sense that they would move around. Don't worry. You literally grew up in a forest. We're very used to seeing hedgehogs. Oh dear. There's very heavy. I think I've caught up with everything, which means I'm going to leave you with the hedgehog. I'm going to take my headset off and I'm going to do another set of ten. Uh, for anyone who's new here, we are trying to get stronger. We're trying to get become buff craftsmen. Oh dear. Yeah, I probably disturbed it with the noise you're making. Yeah, it's only when they're like out in the day with nothing, no reason that it's a problem. If you're like, say someone's like cutting down a hedge and then a hedgehog comes out, it's like, yeah, it's probably good that they moved <laughs> because they shouldn't be in there while you're cutting it down. Oh dear, I have to share the mushroom needle minder. Yes! Oh my god. I have don't use needle minders very often but having seen other people that do like sleeves like other people it makes a it makes me want to start collecting needle minders but i really i shouldn't because if i don't need more collections in my house but it's tempting it's tempting ah uh, if disturbed true yeah i literally i grew up in a forest so we were very used to like we used to have people come round to the schools um, as part of our education and teach us about the animals that were in the woods around us so that kids wouldn't do stuff that would get them in danger because although a lot of people don't know this there are areas in the uk where animals are just free roaming wild uh, like horses cows donkeys pigs like wild ones wild ones not forest ones wild ones like all like not farm ones they be wild which means it's really important for the kids to understand like safe ways to be around these animals because you know, you go up and slap the ass of a horse, you could die. <laughs> Especially when you're a kid. It's it's really important to know how to act around wild animals, and hedgehogs was one of them. Badgers was another. You know, you don't want animals to feel threatened, and you don't want animals to feel like, you know, in a dangerous position. So you'd have people coming around to the school to teach you all about it quite often, to make sure that the kids didn't put themselves in a position where they were in danger. And also so that they weren't putting the wildlife themselves in danger, right? Uh, because that's another thing. Deer was a really, really big one. 
where like you have to be really careful. If you startle a deer, you'd think it would run away, but often they'll actually run directly at you, which is why it's important <laughs> if you see deer to just not go near them. To just not go near them. Because if you scare a deer, or like especially a herd of deer, I think the assumption is that they'll run in the opposite direction, and sometimes they do. But sometimes they run straight at you. And if you're not in a vehicle, even if you are in a vehicle, that's scary. But if you're like on your own and then you have like 30 deer run at you and you're dead. <laughs> that's it for you. <laughs> so, yeah, we had a lot of lot of stuff in schools where they teach us about that. But I think that they only really do that in places where there's like free roaming animals, uh, which is where I grew up. So <laughs> I don't know if that happens elsewhere in the UK or if that's very specific to us. Don't be slapping any animal. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But like, you would often hear stories of tourists come by and stuff, and they would they wouldn't have had that same uh, what you call it. They we don't we don't we they didn't have that same education, and so yeah, they would do stuff like that and silly stuff, and they'd get themselves kicked. And again, like horses can kick much higher, I think, than a lot of people think they can. And yeah, <laughs> if you get kicked in the head, uh, that is kind of it. <laughs> they're they're very bad. Ah oh, dear. I just shared it to General. I think it's Needle Minder. Oh, okay, let's have a look. Oh! Oh my god. Like, oh, a pincushion. A little pincushion, right? Yeah? Oh, it's so turquoise. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the emotes for the month. Welcome on in. I think this pincushion is very cute. I love it very much. I think a lot of people here will really love this one. That is, it's very, it's, it's, it's a very nice aesthetic. I like it. I would, little Woodlands vibes. Hell yeah. Really hecking nice. All right. I've done my workout. We've done our Discord art share. Thank you again so much, everyone, for sharing the arts with us and the bits and bobs as well. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, dear. Now, some of people hand feed squirrels. No, just don't feed wild animals. Like, you put stuff out on your bird tables and stuff like that, but there's no reason to hand feed. I feel like that's an ego trip. If you're trying to hand feed animals outside of a farm, I feel like that's you just you just want to feel like Snow White. <laughs> oh dear, my hype lady! Oh, is that the lady you got from the high train? Hell yeah! We have so many deer where I live and free roaming animals. Lots of drive safe reminders every year and reminders like don't feed them. Yeah. One of my friends. Oh, messenger! Thank you so much for continuing your sub from get. Thank you. That's very heaven kind of you. I see you. I see it, thank you. That's very heckin' kind of you. I appreciate it. If you need to lurk, have a lovely lurk, though. One of my friends uh, got greatly injured due to her stability after walking behind a large black horse and the horse kicking it. Yeah, like, they're really, it's really serious. Um, like, we've had people get kicked off bikes because they've ridden a bike behind a horse, and it's like, that's a wild animal. They don't know not to kick you. There's also, like, you learn about foaling seasons and stuff like that, because this time of year is the worst. Um, because this is when the foals will start to be born in the next month or two and when there are very young foals around with wild animals they will be a lot more uh, not aggressive would maybe be the right way of putting it like they're more likely to kick you they're more likely to come at you one thing that they'll often do is like they'll charge at you but they'll stop before they hit you but even if they did do that they they can still knock you over it's not you know it's not not great a pincushion that's the one Shh, we should try to keep it quiet sorry Mender is eager. No, you're fine. Have a lovely look. Thank you for popping by. Oh, you're fine. Get you. He also made Skyrim rushes because he's a nerd. Resending because missed. Would you mind showing your Twitch cosplay vid? Yeah, yeah. Is your mum there now? Is now is a good time? I'm just letting my shoulders recombobulate after doing the workout, to be honest. So it's not a bad time for me either. I can grab I can grab that now. Uh, Scroosh. There we go. There we go. And also I can reset this. Oh, dear. I think... What would you do if a squirrel bit you? Yeah, and all the germs they have? Yeah, like, it's got big teeth as well. Even though the horse was trained and domesticated, you should never do that. Yeah, you've got to be careful around animals. Like, they don't understand human speak. They don't know that you don't mean them harm. Also, Solemn, I never said, but good morning. I hope you're doing well. If you're thinking of walking through a field of cows, then do, do not. Do not. Oh, no, that was one thing. So, we didn't have the cows or free roaming, but there were a few... What's the boy cows called? Bulls. Bulls. And bulls would have to be within... Uh, electric fences most of the time because they were a bit more aggressive so you wouldn't want to get in the field with them because those aren't cows those are bulls and bulls bulls will charge at you and they won't stop right but um yes it did mean that there were all these electric fences around us and so 
As a kid, I know you're not meant to touch the electric fence, but it's so tempting. It's it's just so tempting. And so I have I have maybe a few times touched the electric touch the electric fence. <laughs> oh dear. It felt very unpleasant every time. Good time, yes! Do you have penny season when the pigs are like loose? Yeah. And it's always when the pigs have small ones, so you don't want to go too near them as well. Because they always have little piglets. Is it Lyme's disease or oh, I don't know. I don't Lyme's disease is, is ticks, I think, right? But maybe you can also get it from something else. Oh, actually delete that? Oh, you don't want me to have that there? I can delete that for you. Oh no, 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 no! Why do they make it so hard? There you go. Oh dear. Bad baby jelly. <laughs> or just like <laughs> oh dear oh I don't know if it's too much oh fair enough it's more the description so like the words themselves are fine it was the description I don't want to say what you described but it was the description <laughs> being a good pup I appreciate it uh, mama cows will also charge yeah if they've got little babies they will as will as will the horses yeah <laughs> oh dear yeah baby jelly was like but what if I did touch the electric fence what if I did hmm <laughs> Oh dear, she didn't expect that being so sane. Oh, she, for the mask singer, that would be a dream. I would absolutely love that. But I think I need to get a bit better first. I need like better, better, what do you call it, core skills before doing something like that. But I love the costumes on mask singer. One day, if I could get to be that good, I would not be against it. Oh dear. Uh, good morning, I'm doing well. I do have, have an in Oh God. <gasps> I'm glad you've got it. Sort like they know what it is. I I have had inner ear infections, and I was I don't think I've ever been so nauseous. <laughs> I I was like the vertigo is oh so yeah. I hope it, I will say if at any point solemn you need to dip, you just need to stop looking at a screen. You need to go vibe somewhere else. Please do. Don't feel like you have to type anything else if you're feeling sick. Like you're all good. I completely get you. That is that is a pain that I can empathize with. I've been there, and it sucks. So yeah, no, look after yourself. And I, I hope with antibiotics that you get better as soon as possible. Because yeah, not fun. Not fun. Ah, oh, dear. Everyone acting like they never licked a badge. <laughs> or swallow. Well, I hope you didn't swallow one. <laughs> I've been caught by electricity a few times. It's never fun. It's such a jolt. Like, I know everyone says electricity is like a jolt. But it really does just feel like a whoa for your whole body. A numbing jolt. I'm always surprised when I'm not around, not everyone can hear electricity. No, but even if I did hear it, I would have still touched it because I wanted to feel the feeling of touching an electric fence. I I knew the fence was electrified and I still touched it because I wanted to touch it. <laughs> I, wa I wanted to be like, I, I want to electrocute myself with that fence. So you, you know, I was fully aware of what was going to happen. Every single time I touched those fences, and I got what I deserved every single time. Yeah. Oh dear. Is the electric fence on? I'm always surprised they can't hear it. Oh, I see, I see. Yes, the tingle. I have a child swallowed a big fat. <gasps> you just surgery. Yeah, batteries are super dangerous to eat. When when I ate my tooth last year, and and a rock at the same time, I did check with the doctors because I was like, you know, is this okay? I've eat they were like, what have you eaten? I was like, I've eaten a rock in my tooth. And they were like, okay, we're just gonna have to go through the checklist. Did you eat anything metal? No. Did you eat a battery? No. Did it hurt on the way down? No, you'd be fine. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, sure. But yeah, those are the only things that they warned against, which was metal batteries and sharp. Anything else? You, fi ah, you, you survive. I feel like Josie, like my phone is charging, like it's fuzzy. Really? Oh, I, I must just be. I might. My, my senses just aren't. I, I wanted to touch it though. I didn't. I wanted to get electrocuted, but um, yeah, no, I was. It, I can't remember whether or not I heard it or not because I wasn't listening for it. I guess I knew it was electric and I knew that it was going to shock me, and so I touched it. <laughs> oh, never in a battery. I neither have either. Very curious, but I've never touched one. It does hurt. <laughs> There's a guy that I'm deaf in one ear, and the oh, it's a good one. How dare! Yeah, you, know, you shake your fist at the universe. How dare you? That's very mean. I was a little baby, and all my oh, I see. Okay, so you were very, very young. Oh, yeah. I, I was not that young when I was touching electric fences. I also did it multiple times. I think that's the real kicker. I did it once, and I was like, that was awful, and then I did it again. <laughs> like a year later, I'd do the same thing again. 
And I'd be like, yeah, that was still awful. And then like a year later, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> but let me just remember how awful it was. Oh yeah, that was awful. And a year later, <laughs> let me do it again. <laughs> I can't actually tell you how many times I've touched the electric pin. <laughs> it, I can tell you that it's a lot more than once. Uh, yeah, every time I just be like, oh, man, was it really that bad? Let me see again. Oh yeah, no, that was horrible. All right, leave it a year. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, you never know if it's as bad as it was in your memory, and it was. I will say, I think, as an adult, I think I've only touched them once. So there we go, that's, if that's not improvement, then uh, I don't know what is. That's a step in the right direction there. Uh, like for, uh, for the Pence paint and batteries, I got really mad at Dr. Nagy for up McDonald's because of the paint. Wow, mean. Maybe you built up a resistance to it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Every single time it felt pretty awful to be honest. <laughs> I don't know, can you build up a resistance to electric shocks? Oh dear. No, it was... Whew. Yeah. But I, I, you know, from a safety perspective, I, I don't recommend touching electric fences. They are there for a reason and you, it is to stop you going inside. So, you know, I'm going to be a responsible Twitch streamer and tell you that you shouldn't touch an electric fence. And to be fair, it's not pleasant. There's really, like, there's no reason to touch an electric fence, honestly. <laughs> it's not nice. So, yes, I'm being a responsible Twitch streamer and I'm telling you, don't touch electric fences. <laughs> it's, de it's definitely not hypocritical at all, you know? <laughs> but you shouldn't, and it is really uncomfortable and doesn't feel nice at all. It feels like a numbness shoots through your whole body and it's like very unpleasant, like a painful numbness, which I know makes no sense, but it's very not nice. So you should not touch an electric fence. It's bad for you. <laughs> oh dear. It's a fly zapper. You always have one of the mate tries to whack you with it. Honestly, if you are generally interested in what an electric shock feels like, that's probably a safer way of doing it. Do it like that. Use the fly zapper, but don't because I'm a responsible elect. I'm a, not a response. I'm in a responsible electric fence, and I'm gonna tell you that you shouldn't get fly zappered either. You know, you definitely avoid getting electric shocks because it's not fun. But if you are going to be forced in a in a life or death situation to get zapped by an electric fence or zapped by a bug zapper, get zapped by the bug zapper instead. <laughs> I would say. In in a survival situation where you will die if you do not get zapped by one or the other, for whatever reason, <laughs> choose the bug zapper. <laughs> Don't choose the electric fence. They're really strong. <laughs> also, also, it could have, you know, bad effects on your heart. Uh, and your general well-being, so you gotta stay safe and don't touch the electric fence. <laughs> touch the bug zapper instead, but don't touch the bug zapper unless you're in a life or death situation where unless you do it, you die. Yeah. Do not touch. <laughs> would you know if you didn't touch it? <laughs> the dude does all fly life. He puts on sending alien beams to space, it's just like really bright. I am an irresponsible electric fence. <laughs> I am. I am a responsible electric fence, and I will tell you, do not touch me. You will not have a good time. Um, instead, in a life or death situation where you have to pick one or the other, pick the fly zapper. <laughs> Stop touching electric fences. I haven't done it for a really long time. Oh, so say good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. It, I haven't. I have been really, really good. I haven't touched an electric fence for ages, and I have seen them. So it's not like I just haven't touched them because I haven't seen them. I have seen them, but I didn't touch them. So that's that's progress, that is. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Then people that make you get shocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like instead of maybe, instead of touching an electric fence, maybe just scuff your feet along the ground and then touch something metal and give yourself a little static shock. Maybe go for that instead. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, there you go. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, then you're back. Welcome back. How you doing, Temporary? I hope you're doing good. We are still, this, we're going to be doing this for a few days. We are still slowly but surely chipping away, getting all of these in. Eventually, actually, for anyone who's popped in more recently, I can show you the pattern, kind of. Uh, eventually, this whole piece of fabric is going to be about this size. 
Uh, it's going to have a little extra around the edge, which makes sense because that's generally how it goes. But it's going to be around this size. And then we're going to be able to cut this piece with like a little bit of allowance around the edge. Um, but it takes a really long time. And all of the squares are all the squares we're currently doing. So yeah, we're getting there. And I hope whatever is tensing your head out chills the heck out because it's only the beginning of the week. You need that head. Oh dear, touch an escalator handle. Yeah, yeah, scuff your feet around and touch the escalator. There you go, that's a, good, that's a good alternative right there. Oh dear. Yeah, I remember a while ago we were having- was it Shifty? I think I was on Shifty stream. And we were having a conversation, yeah, and I brought up like, yeah, it's like the feeling when you touch an electric fence. And Shifty was like, why the hell would I have ever touched the electric fence? And it was at that point that I realised that maybe a lot of people here didn't grow up yearly touching the electric fence. Because I had a Shifty's like community being like, what the hell, Jelly? Why are you doing that? <laughs> I don't know, it's just what people did where I grew up. Why are you judging me? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, is the timer meant to be on it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yearly, yeah, yeah, because we had a few of them nearby. And so every now and again, you just get curious and then you touch it again and be like, ugh, that was horrible. I never want to do it again. And then you'd wait a year, and by that point, the memory's faded enough that you're like, oh, I wonder what that was like. And then you touch it again, and you'd be like, oh, I never want to do that again. <laughs> yes, you're right, the timer does need to be on. I do need this head. It's okay, just dealing with paperwork. Ah, oh, fair enough. Good, good luck with the hacking paperwork. I hope that it goes well. Also, thank you so much for reminding me about the timer. That's my bad. Although, actually, at this point, wait, no, there's no point in me having a timer because I have to finish it at six hours on the dot. So the next one is going to be at the six hour mark so that I can go make a lasagna. <laughs> so I only have one hour of stream left anyway, or less than an hour of stream left anyway, so that I can make lasagna. <laughs> it's very important. Tomorrow, though, I'm thinking we're going to we're going to do a longer stream. So today we'll only go for six hours. But tomorrow, maybe if I plan correctly, I might be able to go for nine, but only if I feel well. That's the difficulty. I might wake up and feel like garbage. And if I wake up and feel like garbage, then I can't promise anything. But I could probably plan to go for about nine hours tomorrow because I don't have anything else I need to do. There's no lasagna waiting for me. Which, uh, yeah. It makes it a little easy to plan when you don't need to plan around a lasagna. We also have lasagna for dinner as well tomorrow because lasagna always tastes better on the second day. I don't know what it is about lasagna, but like you eat lasagna on the day and it's like, oh yeah, that was a good lasagna. But then you put it in the fridge and you heat it up the next day. And I don't know what that process does to it, but it's so much better the second day. <laughs> I don't know why. So we have lasagna today and the lasagna today is going to be okay. The lasagna tomorrow is going to be fantastic. I'm very excited. <laughs> lasagna. Lasagna. <laughs> lasagna. Yeah, lasagna. Oh, dear. Yes, so we have those for two days. Two days of lasagna. This is the problem of only cooking for two, though. You know, you make a big old lasagna and it takes you a couple days. Although, again, second day lasagna is pretty good. Oh, dear. I know some... I don't know if our one is. But I know that there are, like, freezable lasagna recipes. M I don't think my one is freezable. I could be wrong, though. But I don't think that it is. I'm curious about stuff like that because, you know, would that make it taste even better or would it taste worse? I'm not sure. It's difficult to say. It's because the sauce evaporates and gets more rich. <gasps> oh, okay. And then also more starch from the pasta leaks out into the sauce. <gasps> that makes sense. You... <laughs> Bless you. Um... I'm gonna allow it. I will explain temporary. The reason that got held is because your spelling of chicken nuggets was just a little too close to another word that Twitch is like, are you trying to get around saying a slur? <laughs> That's why it got held. That's why I'm, I think it's fine though. I don't think you're that close. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. We'll allow it, we'll allow it, yeah. You have to be really careful when saying chicken. I, I never would. No, no. I know, I know. You just have to be really careful with chicken nuggets. <laughs> You're not even the first person who has misspelt nuggets and been caught up for that exact same thing. Yeah, it's because some people on Twitch try and get around saying certain nasty words uh, by doing stuff like that. It's not your fault. It is, it is the fault of the nasty people on Twitch who, who mean that we have to have those rules in the first place. 
Oh dear. Uh, bolognese and lasagna always taste better 24 hours after cooking. I wholeheartedly agree with you, 100%. It's like you always have to make enough for two days because the first day it's good, don't get me wrong, lasagna today will be delicious, I'm sure it will, but tomorrow, it's, it's like a different ball game. It's just so much nicer. Have you ever seen Snapchat chicken nugget filter? Snapchat chicken nugget filter? I don't think, I don't have Snapchat, so I don't think that I have. I've seen the filter which turns people into a potato. Is it similar to that? Even though I get banned because I'm not an English speaker, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh no, we wouldn't have banned you for it. I just wanted you to know why your message got held. Uh, when people get met, like, especially when it's misspelling, the thing is, when people get held for misspelling, most of the time people are like, what the hell? Why is my message not being posted? What's that about? So whenever that happens, I always tell you why you've been held and like what the reason is so that you don't think that any mod has just started deleting your messages because that's I, th you know i am a big believer unless you tell people things they just don't know and so i will tell you your message got held because you misspelled chicken nuggets and twitch was like that's awfully close to a slur for the n-word and so we're going to not post it that's why not because you did anything wrong but that's why your message got held yeah Otherwise, uh, people are just like, why isn't it posting my messages? What the hell? Yeah, I'm a big believer. We tell people. Not because they've done anything wrong, because <laughs> you haven't, <laughs> but just so people know. Uh, or that this chat works to ban the word nuggets, which is potential as well, but we didn't. We, we, the one that really throws people, which we've had this happen a lot. Actually, would somebody mind calling me jelly by saying, like, you're jelly? Like, you are jelly, like I am jelly. So can you someone that isn't a mod put in chat your jelly and see if it holds it? Because we did have a long, uh, no, you didn't spell it. You have to spell it correctly, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. This is one where the spelling is quite important. You're jelly, you are jelly. No, it's not working. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, so yeah, we had for a long time, people couldn't say that I was jelly, even though my name is jelly because it was seen as harassment and bullying on Twitch's side. Yeah, nah, they're allowing it now. We had did have to allow it quite frequently and we still sometimes get called out. And thank you everyone for calling me Jelly. <laughs> I am in fact Jelly, you're right. I am je you're Jelly, you Jelly, you're Jelly. No, you're Jelly, no you. But do you guys, I think a few guys here will remember it, right? Where like every time someone would say I was Jelly, they would get timed out by Twitch <laughs> because for harassment and bullying. And it's like, no, no, Twitch, you don't understand. My name is Jelly. They're just identifying me. <laughs> they figure like you're jealous. Yeah, yeah. They, it, it was coming back to that. The amount of people we had to explain to like, don't worry, you're not in any trouble. It's just Twitch. Twitch sees your jelly and thinks that you're saying like something rude and bullying me. And uh, yeah, oh my God, it was, it was so funny. <laughs> I had to keep being like, you're fine. Everyone's fine. I am jelly. <laughs> the Twitch just doesn't let you call me that. But uh, yeah, we've had to, I wonder if it's still be in our, um, like uh, we, you have like banned words, but you also have allowed words. I just can't remember where you find that. But for such a long time, the allowed words were like jelly, you're jelly, I'm jelly, I am jelly, you are jelly, we are jelly, they are jelly, they're jelly, they are jelly, they're jelly spelt differently, you know, all that kind of stuff. Just so that people could say my name in this goddamn Twitch chat. Oh dear. Everyone else message shows Asterix, yeah. Peanut butter jelly, yeah. <laughs> Time that person, how dare they <laughs> describe food. Oh my God, could you imagine? But yeah, no, but I say, could you imagine? But like, it kind of was like that for a while. It was, it was quite early into my streaming as well. So like, I had no idea how I was going to fix this. Cause I was like, how are you meant to get? Oh, I can't, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, what was that about? Sorry, did I, did I see something there? Excuse me, did I see something? <laughs> I, surely no, surely nobody would have called me that. Oh dear. I want some Twitch connect me a bread. <laughs> that's a very Twitch. <laughs> Twitch is just like, bread, how dare you? You get that out of here. <laughs> oh dear. No bread in this community. A slug ran across my cheeky bun. Cheeky slug. Very cheeky slug. <laughs> I really like, and there's like a, a section of chat now that just looks like affirmations. 
<laughs> where it's like you're jelly you're jelly you are jelly you are jelly you're jelly you are jelly you are jelly you're jelly i am jelly you jelly you are jelly and it's like oh my god i feel so affirmed thank you everyone <laughs> Twitch has massive celiacs. Yeah, <laughs> just don't like gluten. Like, how dare you bring up gluten? Who is jelly? Why is jelly? Do you want answers to these questions? <laughs> what is jelly? I am a human being. I am a I am a simple human being. Yeah. <laughs> Why is jelly? Uh, because my mother and father loved each other very much, and here I am. And who is jelly? Me. <laughs> There you go. What flavor is jelly? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Spite flavored, I think. I th if I had to guess, the flavor of spite, whatever that is. Oh dear. How is there jelly? I'm okay, thank you. I'm all right. I'm pretty good, honestly. I'm looking forward to lasagna. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm jelly. <laughs> when is jelly? Right now. <laughs> thank you for the hick. What would jelly do? Sewing, probably. Oh, what would Jelly do? Uh, scream. So, uh, laugh till they cry. So, embroider. Final Fantasy Nine. Scream. <laughs> I think. Yeah, there you go. A small select things that I do. I think that's pretty accurate. <laughs> oh dear. Is there anything else I do? Put things in tiny plastic boxes. Scream. Spite. Acidic Sprite without the flavor of- Yeah, exactly. It's just the acidy bit. That's what I would taste like. It wouldn't be very good, honestly. Are you having <laughs> Yeah, are you having a jelly existential crisis? <laughs> no, I just feel very affirmed, honestly. <laughs> very incredibly affirmed. You know, before stream I wasn't sure if I was jelly, but now I am jelly for sure. <laughs> oh dear. No, I'm 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 ha I'm honestly really happy with the amount that we've done today. I know it doesn't look like very much, but it it is such a slow process. It's easy, but it's really really slow. But I'm I'm really really pleased. I mean, what I could do actually, I could count how many we've done. We've still got a few more to do today. Like I've still got some more stuff that left in me, but like genuinely, we've done a really really good job today. Uh, like we've got a lot done, and this this sets us up really well for tomorrow. And I honestly, what I might do after stream, maybe this is a bit cocky. Um, I might get I might get schooled for this, but I might actually draw the grid on the second piece so that if we finish this piece tomorrow, we can just move on to the next one. I mean, again, maybe a bit cocky because these are quite big. Mm, actually, maybe that's way too cocky. I, I just suddenly realized that we've not even neatened up a single one. Oh, no, no, no. That's too cocky. Ignore me. Ignore Jelly from five seconds ago. That's too cocky of me. I completely forgot that I haven't neatened up a single thing. And I've also not done any of the smocking on the back. Jelly's being cocky. I am. Ignore me. Ignore me. I was too cocky. I completely forgot. Get her. Damn it. I'm getting myself. I was wrong. I was wrong. There's. I haven't done any neatening up. And I haven't done any, any of the stuff on the other side. 24 hours walking through. Well, not today, Malice. Because today is lasagna. But tomorrow will go longer. We'll go long tomorrow. We can do a really nice long stream tomorrow. I haven't got any responsibilities. <laughs> Maybe not 24 hours because that might run into... The problem isn't... <laughs> if I do a 24 hour stream, how am I meant to do my Thursday stream? If the day never ends, when is Thursday? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Well, you'll have to do the other piece eventually. I will. That is true. That is true. I can, look at... I can still draw the grid on it, I guess, and just leave it till the end of the week. Zanya is good enough. Yeah, Lon is a good one. I'm impressed you hands for everything, by the way. Well, the kind of idea, Artie, is, is to try and make it as... It's, it's a weird one, right? Where it's like, I'm trying to make it as accessible as possible. Uh, because, well, first of all, spite. Spite's a big one. Um, you know, people saying that I could only do big costumes because of my sewing machines. Uh, <laughs> Bet. But um, also because, you know, as someone myself who has like visual difficulties, can't operate heavy machinery, there's a lot of, lot of bits of cosplay that I can't do. So I'm trying to make it as accessible as possible for anyone who is interested in doing cosplay. All you need for this is literally a needle and thread and some time. <laughs> Needle, thread, and time. I mean, smocking in particular, there are thousands of tutorials for it on YouTube, so you are, you are, there's a huge database for practice. And yeah, you've got a lot of options open to you. And I guess the whole idea is 
yeah, you can if you wanted to give it a go, it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's nice and accessible. It's not too expensive. All you be, need to be able to do is is stitch with a needle and thread. And so yeah, you can keep it pretty cheap. Keep it pretty cheap. You're impressed. We fear the right arm strength. We don't talk. The left arm's getting strong too. A buff jellyfish isn't real, and a buff jellyfish can't hurt you. Looks at jelly. <laughs> I'm not gonna flex because it's still very embarrassingly small, but my right arm is bigger than my left arm. It's chunkier, chunkier, got a bit more Ah, uh, patience, yeah, patience is a big one. For an excuse not to stream. But I like streaming. <laughs> but I like it here. I don't want to leave. Ah, uh, dear, but I've got weights now. I actually, <laughs> I have one on just off camera. These are like the one kilogram weights, and then I have the two kilogram weights downstairs at the moment for the more intense one. But they're just the idea of like doing the repetitive stuff where you put your shoulders back in place again so that they're going into your back. So I'm trying to build that up because it's not my arm that needs more strength. It's my shoulders and my back. So we're trying to get those good. Also, Han Miek, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. I have very ambitious plans for Ariel Hoop. <gasps> oh my God, I love Ariel Hoop. It's so beautiful. It's so, it's stunning. The, the poses, I know a couple of the new costume is so good. Hell yeah, you got this. I 100% support your dreams and ambitions. That sounds amazing. I want the last motion for the project before I can put it all together. Oh my god, you've been zooming then. Jesus, Carrie. Well, well done. I can zoom in. Welcome on in. Hey, Hal, I, Hal, I hope you're doing well. Ah, oh dear. So cute. Yeah, it's an emote that you would like, right, Somni? Ah, oh dear. It's a very cute little note. I usually go camp with my uh, routines, but this one will be more drama. <gasps> lovely, lovely. There's a, oh, I watch a couple cosplayers. I know a couple cosplayers who incorporate uh, like aerial stuff, aerial hoop and a couple of others into their cosplay photography. And it's just stunning. Like truly a work of art. It's, it's so, so cool. I absolutely love it. Oh dear. Yeah, why not? Why not? You have my full support. <laughs> oh, the little jumps. Oh dear. I usually go more ca- Oh sorry, I'm dying. Wait, uh, Auntie, have did you see- So Isisia- Sorry, I don't normally do this, but I'm just very quickly need to show you this. Uh, Isisia is making a, um, a red panda cushion quilt topper. Have you seen this? Here it is. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at what I used to see you is making. Isn't it so cute? You like Red Panda? You're gonna love what I used to see is making at the moment. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Sca a scarred Mewtwo on TikTok does Sai Real Circus Skills and. Oh. That's so cool. That's so cool. I wish. I I mean, I say I wish. I could go out and try and get good at it, but I don't already have the skills. I wish that I have some time to practice something like that one day. That'd be so cool. The ones I already have, I made the other day. I think I just need a little baby mushroom and some more greens to bulk up the base a bit. That's very, very fair. Oh, dear. Ah, cute. That's so cute, right? You have right hand arm strength, yeah. Only right hand and right arm, but yeah, I'm very flexible. That one, you know, we we do have, which I will, I told you about this the day that it happened, but like, yeah, no, my, my physio appointment at one point, because she was bending me around a lot to try and find out what was causing a lot of the problems. She was like, it's interesting because you don't have any muscle buildup. You're clearly quite unfit. And I was like, you know, she is right. I am. But she's like, but you're so flexible. It's like molding jelly. And I was like, it's weird. I don't know if you guys get it as well, but when you hear your usernames outside of outside of Twitch, and like she wasn't referring to me by Jelly, she was just saying Jelly because it's wobbly, and I'm a wobbly lady. <laughs> I'm just made of fat and bones. I have no muscle. Um, but yeah, no, it, it did it did be throwing me off a little bit. Luckily, my face was firmly planted into the table, so uh, yes. <laughs> I, she couldn't see me being flustered. Oh dear. I am jelly. I'm molding jelly. I am. I'm moldable jelly. Uh, are you autistic? My, I am, but I will say my whole family is exceptionally flexible. So in my case, I don't think it comes from anything to do with being autistic. It comes from, I come from a family of goddamn, like, weird contortionists. 
<laughs> like, me, I think pretty much all my family can roll up into a ball and put their legs behind their heads with no, like, backwards or and forwards as well uh, with no training or practice we're just very bendy people we're just very very bendy people so yeah uh, in all of this Henry, it can be oh yeah yeah it can be right but in my case it's not <laughs> i'm the first it starts with me <laughs> but the bendiness doesn't start with me the bendiness goes way back uh yeah 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 the other one it starts with me the bloodline starts with me. You know how you have like the bloodline ends with me? The bloodline might also end with me, but it also started with me. <laughs> I'm both. <laughs> oh, hi the mobile joints. Yeah, I'm very well, it's not too bad, but like yeah, I just I just bendy bendy. Oh dear, she's acoustic. I'm no, I'm a classical guitar, thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Uh your high mobility is genetic too, I think. Yeah, exactly. I, I just don't how to put it i'd rather not say anything that's not true that's why i said it's not caused by the autism it's caused by this because i know my family and i know that's the case yeah sorry i didn't want it to come across as like uh dis diminishing other people's opinions but i also have to be quite careful oh, about people making up stuff about me and then go. other people attaching it as it, it's fact it's you not <laughs> you have to be a little careful as a twitch streamer because if you let things lie people are like oh someone said it and she didn't say that it wasn't true then it must not be it must, it must be the truth and it's Come on. Why so many people here still think I have ADHD? Because I didn't say no one time and every I don't have ADHD. I, I actually kind of at this point hate it when people come in and try and diagnose me with it. <laughs> you have to be a little careful. More than try to attach things. I know, I know. I just have to be careful. It, it's happened once and now I have to be a little bit more careful because I don't want to be fake representation for people. It comes down to that. There are other streamers who are that amazing representation for you that I might not be. I'm afraid I'm just plain autistic, and that's it. That's it. That's the only, the only neurodivergent thing I've got about me. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty chill. Uh, uh, yeah. I just really like sewing. <laughs> Sometimes it really do be simpler than it seems. I just really like sewing. I, I started it when I was really young, and I've never stopped. I'm not that good, considering how many years I've put into it. But it's something that I like a lot. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, dear. You're saying you're not a sentient? I'm not. I might just be a plain old human being. Sometimes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Sleeves. Plain old vanilla. Yeah, I'm just a little vanilla lady. A happy little vanilla lady. Gazing up at the stars, sewing. Oh dear, she lied to us. <laughs> I, I don't remember when I said I was. I probably did though. <laughs> that one, it's like I probably did tell you that I was a sentient jellyfish, a human hybrid monster. That one, I I can imagine that coming out of my mouth. Well, I don't remember it. It's probably true. <laughs> I found myself like my head, but I didn't realize I was pregnant. <gasps> Did I hit the floor? Oh god. Gotta get the dishwasher? Good luck with the dishwasher. You got this. Oh dear, life ruined. Understandably as well. Understandably. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I, I just don't want to steal other people's rep. I think that's the big thing. It, you know, it didn't used to bother me so much, but then I realized if people are watching me and thinking that I was good ADHD rep and then they weren't watching other people that actually have ADHD, then it feels like I'm stealing representation from people. And I don't know what the word for that is, but it makes me feel really bad. <laughs> it makes me feel really guilty. So these days, I apologize if I come across as kind of harsh. I don't mean it to come across as harsh. I just don't want to steal that away from the streamers who are talking about ADHD and how it affects them and giving all of that kind of life advice and, and those real experiences because I can't give that. I've never had it and I never will. So yeah, I, I don't, I, yeah. I, sorry if it comes across as harsh. I don't mean anything to be harsh. I just really don't want to steal that from other people even if it's by accident even if it's by accident if there's one thing about me it's i am a plain old vanilla lady i just really like sewing that's it <laughs> sometimes it really do be that simple and in my case I'm, a, I'm just a simple lady who likes sewing and beads and sparklies and embroidery and sparklies and sequins which are effectively little flat sparklies ah oh, dear uh, if I do have these, it's not hyper mobile one though. There are 30 types, which is just wow. Oh Jesus! 
Speaking of things not being simple, God, I must make it hard to work out exactly what type you are if there's so many. Oh, then, no, no, you haven't put any pressure on me. You're fine. You're fine. I, I was more worried that I suddenly probably came across as quite harsh, and I didn't, I didn't mean to come across as harsh. Um, yeah. So no, no, no. I, you don't need to apologise to me. I'm sorry if I came across badly there, because I, I don't always word myself the best. I wanted to explain why I might have been a bit firm there, but it's no. You don't need to apologise to me. I'm sorry to you <laughs> for maybe snapping or or shutting something down too quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't my intention. No, you don't need to apologise to me. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> you don't apologise to me. I apologise to you. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, I'm a content creator. You have to let me do my my cringy apology videos at least once a week. Otherwise, am I truly a content creator? It's important. Although I didn't do a very good apology stream there. I should have done the... <sighs> Guys, I'm bad. This has been really rough on me. I'm really, really sorry. I'm... <sighs> okay, so I don't have a pet dog, but I do have my, my dinosaur. Guys, I just... <sighs> Yeah, I know. It's been really hard on you too, hasn't it? Yeah. Guys, I just, you know, I, I'm sure you've seen some stuff on social media. If you haven't, I'm really, really, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're just going to get through this nice and quickly. Um, I have had a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Uh, the other day uh, on stream, again, a few of you might have seen this. If you didn't, don't worry about it. Don't go look it up. Don't go look into it. But if you did see it, a few of you might have seen that somebody came into my chat and they made a fair point and I snapped at them. Uh, I, I, I shut that point down really, really kindly and chill and you know that I didn't do anything wrong, but I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if you feel like I upset you because you know, you definitely aren't upset, but if, if it made it feel like I was upsetting you or being mean to you, I'm really sorry, but it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still sorry about it because yeah, you know, and also um, Yeah, I know it's, it's been really hard has it it yeah um, You know f for the sake of myself and for Timothy. I I am never going to apologize again <laughs> Is that a good have we done it? My quota of apology streams for the <laughs> Where you don't apologize at all and you just put all of the the blame on somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think I did it right <laughs> I think, I think that's what's necessary. There was some going around soon for neuroscience. Uh, I was like, so I found out I'm also going to get it longer. Oh, nice. I mean, that's a cool way of doing it, to be fair, Power. Also, nice. You, oh, yeah, no, I don't have my... Damn it, you're right. Ukulele music. Shoot. Gosh, I'm slowly falling asleep while doing crochet for school, but I'm glad I can relax. I'm glad you're feeling relaxed, because don't you have, like... You've had, like, a lot of exams and stuff, right? And and coursework deadlines? And they say wear a towel swimming costume and she turned up like me and I was like, the towel, the towel! <laughs> oh, bless you, power. But like, we've all done something like that at once. And as long as they're good friends, you can look back and laugh at it. Oh dear, having a group hug it out? Hell yeah, Green, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. I did miss the ukulele. Next time, I have a ukulele downstairs. I can play it next time. She, she didn't mean it. Knock it off, guys. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Oh dear. To be fair, if I ever did upset anyone, I would want to apologize properly, not like that. I don't, I don't, you know, there are times where I'll probably say things that will upset people. Like, you know, when I set my boundaries and people don't agree and it's like, if that's the case, I'm probably just not the streamer for you. And that's very fair. But like, yeah, I wouldn't want to actually snap at anyone. <laughs> like if anyone had said anything nasty enough that I should have actually snapped, then I would just ban them and not mention it. That's the way to handle it, in my opinion, for my stream. Oh yeah, no. I don't want to be that kind of person. Free! Welcome on in. <laughs> oh, unless it's Blaffle, or Sonne, or Cthulhu, or Sleeves, or Amazonia, or Shifty, or Dem, or Vile, or George. No, not George. Uh, or a couple of other people, in which case I'm more than happy to sass them on a, on a stream by stream basis. <laughs> then, then it's absolutely allowed. <laughs> I don't want to sass most of my community, but there are a few people that I do want to sass. And this weirdly brings it secularly back to the very beginning of the stream, where we were talking about all the trans people in this community being too goddamn nice, because currently I don't have any beef with any of them, which is like, excuse me, what's the- I need to find- <laughs> Oh dear. Someone I can sass. Heck. Heck. Oh dear. We've just not managed it yet. Soon, soon. It'll happen eventually. <laughs> How's 
the going free. I hope you're doing well. We're doing good. Oh, thank you for the clip. Is that my apology? <laughs> Oh no! Did you clip my Did you clip my content creator apology? I heard my name. Oh yeah, I was. We were still talking about. I was like, I don't want anyone, you know, to like actually be upset in my stream unless it's uh, like starting beef with people. In which case, like that's fine because we already have beef with. And then I listed off a lot of people. <laughs> but it's like it's just silly beef. It's just silly beef. Huh? There's another. <gasps> Wait. Oh, maybe I do then. Yeah, wait, because Hut, Hut, Mori. Mori doesn't know that we have beef, but I have beef with Mori. And I'll tell you why I have beef with Mori. Get ready, this is, a, this is now a call out stream. Mori, um, they should be promoting themselves more. <laughs> and here's why because they are doing something pretty much entirely unique on Twitch. Uh, they do a mixture of 3D modeling, but also they make armor out of leather and metal. So they do metal work, they do blacksmithing, and they make legitimate cosplay armor out of the materials it would have originally been made out of. So you're talking like Hades armor made out of metal and leather, you know? Not made out of foam and looking like metal and leather, like made out of legitimately metal and leather. And I think that's so cool. And uh, I know that they don't post on Twitter a lot and stuff like that, but it's such a cool concept and being able to see people make that live. I don't know, I just feel... <sighs> Hut. <laughs> the name is Hut Armories, by the way. If you exclamation mark Hut with two Ts, H-U-T-T. Their name is Mori, which is why I'm sometimes referring to them as Mori, but their Twitch name is Hut Armories. Actually, I can probably do it, can't I? Because I'm not on any time limit right now. Let's see. There you go, that should be... That's the one. Yeah. Ha, Mari. There you are. Uh, like welding and blacksmithing. Yeah. Yeah. Legitimately. Um, I reposted one of their pieces on Twitter the other day and it made me realize that I've had very few, like I have never really been able to retweet them before. And it's like, damn, I feel like a lot of people here would be genuinely like, if you don't mind, if you don't know who Mori or Hut is already, did what I just say interest you at all? Like somebody making cosplay armor using the realistic materials that those costumes or armors would have been made out of is that interesting people here because maybe maybe i'm biased but i think that's amazing <laughs> i think that's such a unique twist on cosplay and it's not something that other people are really doing and they they do it like in all of the using traditional methods and stuff like that traditional materials and it's just really hecking cool i don't know they're also a very nice person i'm very lucky to have met them in person and they are very very sweet so I can also vouch for like that, which is nice. But yeah, no, I just think it's really, really cool what they do. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, okay, that's my beef with Mori. They don't advertise themselves enough. <laughs> or maybe they do, but maybe it's just on different platforms to what I mean. It's very silly beef, whatever it is, it's not real beef. <laughs> Head to bed, no auto, you're fine. I thank you, I will enjoy my lasagna. It'll be the most delicious lasagne. Well, tomorrow it will be. Today it will be okay. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for popping by. Have a lovely rest of your day. It would be cool to see that in a video format, at least in my opinion. That's fair. That's fair. So today is... We're not doing a driver update right now. Sorry. Excuse me. PC. Why now? Why now? Oh, God. No. Stop that. Oh, please. <laughs> Sorry. Two seconds. My PC is trying to do a driver update in the middle of stream, and like, that's really kind of it and all, but no, yeah, no. Schedule that for later. Thank you. No, not right now. <laughs> you know, there's a time and a place. While live on stream is probably not a good idea. Oh dear. Oh. The day SDV update. Oh, Starting Friday update to drop. Uh, but we don't know what time it was drop. And there's a new farm time. <gasps> Wait, really? There's a new farm type? All I knew was about drinking mayonnaise. Oh my god, that's so much more exciting than drinking mayonnaise. <laughs> Although I'm very hyped about drinking mayonnaise as well. Not real? Is it beyond? <laughs> Could be. Is this a new smocking pattern? This is actually exactly the same smocking as this. So all the smocking we did before, it's the same. This is the side it's going to end up. We've done no neatening stitches, Green. So not a single neatening stitch so far. So if you don't do any neatening, this is what it ends up looking like. So we're gonna do the whole thing without neatening it even once. And then we're gonna go back and do all the neatening in a row and then do the final bits so that it, it looks really, really weird. And then it looks really, really good. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're doing it like that this time, because I normally would neaten it as I go, because, you know, like, that's generally what's most satisfying to me, but this time we're not doing that. Oh, Dick, it's an eight for the new farm. It's called Meadowlands, and we'll come with a coop and two chickens along with chewy blue grass that animals love. Oh, God, I'm so excited. I still love my forest farm. I haven't started a new farm for a really long time, so maybe that's... That's maybe a plan? Maybe? I'm kind of... I'm kind of down. Oh, dear. So that's quite nice just like that. Well, on this side, it makes a really nice square pattern. So I guess if you were looking for, like, a little squishy square pattern, it's kind of nice. And then yeah, on this side, it just makes, like, a... There's, like, little squares within it that you can kind of see, but it's, like, a wiggly kind of line pattern. And this side's just big squares. So, yeah, it, it does still look interesting. It just doesn't have the neatening stuff to make it the sort of mocking pattern that we're following. But it's still cool. Like, you could leave it there, I suppose. It depends what you're looking for, I suppose. If you're looking for something more natural, then this would be better, but I'm, I'm looking for something quite uh, man-made looking. Oh dear, I'm so excited. I'm going to start a new farm with new... We're all going to start new farms. If it comes with chickens automatically as well, that means I can get mayonnaise much quicker, which means I can start wooing Elliot even faster than usual. Honestly? Honestly? I can't wait to see people play it as well. I, I will say, Stardew Valley has become one of those games. I like playing it myself, don't get me wrong, but I love watching people play it. Like, it's just become one of those comfort games where I've just ended up almost enjoying watching other people play it more than I enjoy playing it myself, which is, it's weird for a game to transition like that, because I have, you know, over 100 hours in it. I've played Stardew Valley for quite a long time, so it's weird for it to transition at this stage to a game that I prefer to watch, but I really do, like, I really love watching people play Stardew Valley. I just find it to be really, really relaxing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with trying it again, to be fair. I did, again, I've played quite a lot of it. It's not like I haven't played Stardew Valley at all. I've really got into it before. But, uh, I don't know. I'd also be interested to see how other people work with the new farms and stuff. So, yeah. I've not gotten very far in Stardew Valley. That's very fair. I loved it and it was like one of the first like kind of farmy kind of simulated sort of building games that I ever played and I really really grew very attached to it. Uh, I played it a lot in university like when I had like a lot of deadlines and stuff like that Stardew was a little escape and I really liked it uh, and then at some point I just stopped playing it. I think it was around the time Animal Crossing New Horizons came out because at that point that was my new that like, they kind of replaced each other you know. And so I stopped playing it for a few years, and I've not really got back into it in any other way other than watching other people play it, which I do really like. Yeah. Oh, I got 1,339 hours according to Steam, but I've never done speedrunning or completed perfection. I mean, as long, I think that's fine, right, Ambrose? As long as you've had a good time, I don't think you have to aim for any of those things. Those are goals for people that are interested, but if, if, you're not, if you don't have the interest or the desire to do that, I think that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Me with Fallout 4, yeah, I have so many hours on that game, but seeing different playstyles or seeing someone else is very refreshing. Yeah, that's ex that is exactly the best way of putting it. But yes, it's like seeing other people approach it from a different way, prioritize different things. Uh, yeah, it just something about it is, yeah, very refreshing. And I really, I really like it. Yeah, I am a, oh, I just, oh, I missed one. <laughs> I done i've done something odd here i missed one i enjoy watching other speed runs so i do like watching other do people do speed runs i do want to try some of the challenge runs through the anti-capitalist run is very intriguing to me Ooh! i watch people do the mines and i've watched people do the community center the community center one's really intense so that's a that's a heckin intense speed run right there wait did i miss one no i missed two. Oh my god oh my god <laughs> my brain must be slowing down for the day i missed two I do, why did I do- I guess it doesn't matter. They all need to be done eventually anyway, so if I do them in a weird order, the only thing- it makes it a little more harder for me to remember what I need to do. But it's not like it makes it look any worse or anything. Ah oh dear. Yeah, I've never- I will say, in there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen. Like, I've never supported Jojo Corp. Uh, so in Stardew Valley, for anyone who's not played Stardew Valley, there is like a pretty big split in endings, I guess. And so there's a- there's a choice. You can either support the community center, which is all to do with like filling out bundles, growing your own veg and putting them in there, fishing, getting what people want, and it's to make the town center better. Or you can do the Jojo run, and Jojo is effectively like Amazon, really. It's just like a, it's a supermarket, it's like big bucks, big corporation, low paid employees. And so you can, you can choose to 
to support them instead. And there's not actually really any benefits to supporting them, but you can. You can support them instead. Um, and the ending, I think, for that one is not quite so satisfying. <laughs> Because the game really doesn't encourage you to pick that path, but I'm assuming there are achievements if you do. I did do a JoJo run for the achievement. I got 35 out of 40 of all Steam achievement. That's very impressive, Ambrose. I think you've got way more than me then, because I, I didn't really do any of the achievements. I just played the game, married Elliot, made a farm that I really loved with a lot of like, you know, got all the rare crow stuff like that, and was happy. That's all I kind of did. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with how I played it. Doing Jojo Corp Run is so much easier. Did it only once though, because evil. Well, the game really doesn't, you know, I guess it's almost like it's it's a, a choice you have to make, but the game heavily skews you towards choosing the community center because there's a lot of rewards for that. You get rewards for each bundle and then everything. And so you can choose Jojo, but there's just no benefit to it. So it's, it's very skewed. The game is very skewed towards you picking the community center for anything other than the one achievement kind of thing. Even when looking at the concerned Ace Wikipedia, the most started host, there was 30 million sales. So when you consider that the dev only, uh, the, has the only dev, yeah, that man is making bank. But like, honestly, the thing that's really nice about the Stardew Valley, that, cause I, you know, I think a lot of us are aware the creator is like rolling in it at this point, is that they kept working on it. They didn't just abandon it. So because they could have, you know, like you said, in 2019, they could have been like, what? I've made enough to live off. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm done. But they've continuously released three updates to the game, making things better, expanding the world for people that are still playing. So I have a lot of respect for that, for like making something that you're really proud of and just continuously adding to it. I don't know. I just think that's really, really cool. And again, like these are all free updates. Yeah, like he could have released his DLC, could have, yeah. But instead they release it for free and I think that's really really cool and I think it just goes to show like a testament of love for their for the thing they've made because they keep they keep giving it more <laughs> which is really really cool Jojo percent is only 4.3 percent of players yeah that doesn't surprise me easy for me I made some fat stacks that's fair that's fair uh, I love that he's making bank on it though I really love that he's giving us all the updates for free because yeah he could yeah absolutely I think it's their baby yeah I think it is as well I think Stardew Valley is their baby and yeah, they they love it very much and it's just nice. It's just really, really nice. I mean, Undertale is similar. So Undertale was a game, you know, by Toby Fox with a little help from a couple of people, but generally made entirely by Toby Fox. And they could have just made Undertale and stopped. <laughs> that sold so many. And like, they, they could have just been like, well, I did great and that's it. But instead they've been making, whenever they can, around other work, like they've worked for Pokemon now, they've worked for a lot of other artists. So uh, outside of the work they're doing for other people, they are working on Deltarune chapters and all of those are free. And I believe the way they put it is they always will be, which is content that is similar, adjacent to, to Undertale, but free for fans of the series. And I, again, I think it just goes to show like, as a labor of love for something someone spent a really long time into and I think it's really, really nice. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, I mean, I remember reading some lore about FNAF as well. This was another one. Speaking of creators who care about their IPs and the stuff they've made, uh, you might think that the creator of, what's his name, Scott something? The creator of uh, FNAF, very money hungry, keeps pumping out new games, yada yada yada. But the one time they released a game that felt unfinished, they refunded every single person who bought the game. <laughs> they gave them the money back and they were like, listen, we're going to re-release this for free and you're going to get your money back and that we're going to do it like that. And so that's what they did. And I, I have a lot of respect for people that can do stuff like that. If they make a mistake being like, hey, I made a mistake. This wasn't finished as much as I wanted it to be. I'm not as proud of this. So please click here to apply for your money back so that we can refund you and then release the game for free at a later date when it is completely finished. And it's like, damn, whether you like the games or not, I have a lot of respect for people that can do that sort of thing. I think it's, I think it's very hecking cool. Very hecking cool. All right. I think it is time to do a final Discord check because I am meant to be ending my stream in about five minutes. <laughs> so if anybody has any arts and crafts that they want to share and they'd like to have on stream for a moment and we can have a little look at, please 
pop that in now. This is the time. I'm just going to be neatening up a couple little bits around the edge where I've missed a stitch so I don't forget it later, basically. Uh, and then we're going to keep working on this tomorrow. So for today, this is about as far as we get, which I'll be honest, I'm really happy with. I, I'll count actually. While people are posting any of their last art updates to the, to the Discord, I'm going to count how many of these we've done because I, I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, is this close to ironing? <gasps> Oh no, ironing. <laughs> to be fair, it's a good time of year for ironing, at least here, because it's not that warm. And ironing keeps the room up nicely. All right, all right, this is what we got. So we have done. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 1, 2, 3, 63. <laughs> we did 63 of them today, which when you put it like that, is honestly not bad. This will eventually, by the way, still end up being this front side. I, it looks very messy right now, but it's kind of meant to. This it's it's a it's an organized mess. It, it makes sense in my brain. We'll fix it up probably tomorrow. <laughs> but for now, this is how far we got. And we have shrunk this piece down by quite a lot. Again, this is gonna end up being this pattern piece. It is it is shrinking. It is shrinking down to meet that size. We're getting there. Oh dear, very hecking cool. All right, 63, yeah. Oh dear, what's the Discord link? There it is. All right, let's have a little look, see if any, oh, I can see a few people have posted. All right, let's 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 go and cross into here. We're gonna start with knitting. I'm gonna work our way up. So Anime's been working on, these are little crocheted leaves on like a vine and they've been doing, they did a few others before as well, which were even smaller leaves, but these are all teeny tiny little crochet leaves, which are so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Also, I can, uh, I can, I can, I can stop this, right? Because there you go. We're not, we're not doing that right now. There you go. They're so pretty anime. They're very, very neat. And I, I, yeah, they're just very, very satisfying. Hell yeah. I love them very much. And they look really, really good. And I can't wait to see them as a part of the costume, or costume, the outfit as well. Hell yeah. In the art, we've, so oh my God, Somni! You've, oh my God, backgrounds are work in progress still. This looks, oh my God, and the little, the little moss on the skull. Whoa, and the, the shine on the armor. Jesus, that's so cool, Somni! I love them, I love them. For, for context as well, Somni did post uh, just the line work earlier today. Oh yeah, with a bit of the background. So they did post this earlier today. So this is the progress they've made which is really, really good. You've colored in so much of it. It looks really cool. I love the hands. I love like the slight highlighting on the hands as well. They look really, really good. And the moss on the skull. And yeah, the highlight on the armor just looks fantastic. Really, really nice. And so speedy as well. Very heckin' impressive. That's Somne, Somne art. Then we've got, if we go across to Denver, ooh, so close, but oh well, oh no. I see what you mean when you said they were so close to being iron and then a few of them just poof. Oh, bless you. Heck, heck. But listen, we can maybe see them next stream if you happen to be around. You'd always be welcome to post any finished pieces. I like the carrot. Oh, no, that's not a carrot. That's an ice cream, right? I like that very much. Are you making these into 3D glasses, by the way? I'm assuming that you are because I can see the, the there's that bit there. There's a little bit up there and then the glasses. That's really cool idea. Like making 3D stuff out of the beads. <gasps> Very cool. Listen, I think that's I think that's really cool. I look forward to seeing it done. Hell yeah! Okay, I can see we got some good embroidery done. Whoa! Whoa! That's huge! Jesus Christ! <laughs> what a big piece! Oh my God, that's so detailed. Look, can I zoom in at all? Is that, no, Discord's not gonna let me zoom in. That's okay. We get this size. That's so because this is huge, but that's so detailed as well. Oh my God! Oh my God! Wow! <sighs> It's very satisfying. It's very satisfying. The outlines are super satisfying as well because they're still so clear. Oh my God. Wait, let me, first of all, dig that. And then all sparkles. That's, that's, yeah. Really, really, really nice. Very neat. And you've, you've done a lot. <laughs> you've done a heckin' lot. All right. I can see there's a clip here, but I don't know if I want, it's gonna be the apology clip, isn't it? I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay not seeing the apology clip again. 
And thank you everybody though who did post out in our Discord today. And thank you for sharing. It's always lovely to see what other people are working on and have been working on there. Uh, this is my meeting saver, keeps my hands busy while I zoom. No, honestly, that's really fair. I, I often need something to do as well. And for like, smocking has been a really good one for me just because I can just get on with it without, like it doesn't take thought so I can concentrate on other things, but I get what you mean because I am the same. I need something else to be thinking about while I'm doing stuff. Ah, oh, no, thank you everyone. It's always really nice to see what other people are working on at the same time. Have everyone have a lovely rest of the day. Now, let's see, did Cthulhu go live? What? What? They did! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be raiding into Cthulhu. So Cthulhu is the person who's been making the really, really big uh, snowflake quilt cape, who is planning to enter Crown Champions. Now they're doing a gaming stream today, and they're playing some Elder Scrolls online, so it's gonna be Skyrim vibes kind of going on over there. But they just keep in mind, in the back of your mind, they're also the person that's going to be entering into that, so yes. Also, thank you for the last hydrate! Hmm! So let's send a raid their way, because they are a very, very talented crafter. While they might not be crafting at the moment, a lot of you might have missed them, because they've not been on Twitch for a while, they've only recently come back. So if you haven't followed Cthulhu before, um, this is a good chance. <laughs> it's a good chance! Let's get uh, some raid calls in chat, and then if I also just shout out Cthulhu, just in case any of you get left behind, because that does still happen sometimes. Also, cats will come on in right at the end, but I hope you're doing well. We're just going to be raiding into Cthulhu, a very talented maker and crafting streamer, but who is doing Elder Scrolls Online today. So if you want to ask them about their crafts, do it, but also you can ask them about, uh, you can ask them about their costume and stuff like that. And yeah, that's, they're very, very good. They're very good. And I think a lot of you here would actually really enjoy their crafting streams as well. They kind of are the same sort of chaotic vibe between like a little bit of crafts and then talking about something else and then showing you something they forgot about and then oh let me let me go get that let me see if I can find that going around somewhere and it's like that, that kind of vibe so it's a little bit of everything all at once but it's really really good and again they are a very talented crafter and just a chill streamer to go watch so I hope you all have a lovely time there I've been here for two hours oh, okay cats bless you thank you for liking around so long also welcome back shifty we're about to raid into cthulhu have a lovely rest of your day grab a raid call if you fancy and i'm gonna see you all tomorrow for maybe a longer stream well i'll let you know on that one take care everyone there we go and if you're in the youtube thank you so much for supporting me and helping me get my watch hours up over there really appreciate it. and i'll also see you tomorrow